makers. How are you all? Oh, it's chucking it down outside. Isn't it? Yeah. Wow. That's come April showers, is it? Well, <laughs> actually, yes, it is yeah. almost April. As if it's almost April. It, well, I know. Where I has know. this year gone? It's bad. It sort of went, wow. Gone. Yeah, like... Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's officially summer now, isn't it? Is that right? Do we call it officially summer or officially spring? Spring, I'm, I think. But on my yeah. on my diary, it said... British summertime. Yeah. Uh, well, it's because the clocks have changed, doesn't mm. it? So, oh, I don't know, then. I don't know. It's, I don't know. They'll sure. know. You'll know. Text Somebody will know. <laughs> is it? Is it officially summer now, or is it officially... Spring? What do we call it? I don't know. I think it's I think it's spring at the spring. moment. Season. You can't call this summer, can you? It's, it's summertime with the down. clocks, but it's but spring with the seasons, I think. Like I think. I don't, don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. What a weekend you have. An amazing weekend. What a fantastic Friday. First and foremost, because we've got this beautiful lady, oh, our lovely oh, Hannah Rosborn, which is you. always a joy. <laughs> and secondly, because your kits today are stunning. I, I said to Hannah this morning when she showed this piece of jewellery, I was like, Hannah, that might well be one of my absolute all-time favourite pieces. The, the flumps. Oh, oh, you might need to scoot your earrings a little bit. Oh, just a on, little bit. Little. Just, a, just a smidge. Just so we get other way. There. Oh. Oh, that'll do. You can just about see it. Oh, my goodness me, <laughs> Hannah. I mean, I saw them last night on, on um, social media. Did you see my TikTok? <laughs> I didn't see TikTok because I'll be honest, I'm abstaining from TikTok. Oh, I, 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 well, I always link it through to the You do, um, page, Facebook page, yes. That's where I saw it. And try and share it on the Share Your Makes page uh, as well. It, so. Honestly, these are absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. But these kits are limited, sadly. Um, we have got like, like 58 um, and 78, I think it is. Something like that. 78 yeah. of the Not, silver colour. The slightly rest more of the silver. Yeah, yeah, but they're so limited. So I'm sorry about that. They will sell out. They're absolutely beautiful. I mean. I mean, that literally screams high-end jewellery. Ah, oh, well, I think it's a lot to do with the, like, the fact that it's all parve set and oh. uh, the colour scheme as well. I mean, I've, I've, I've gone big with the tassels as well. Oh, they're so... Oh, yeah, the tassels are immense. Yeah. Well, I, I think just, that might be would be one of my favourite parts is just how you've got that the massive, the massive boosh. tassel. <laughs> um, they're coming up at 12 o'clock. Yes. So um, make sure you don't go anywhere. Don't make sure you don't miss out that opportunity. And also, can I just say, your kits at 9 o'clock are absolutely incredible as well. Oh, yeah. There they they're, are, they're right over on the, on far, the far side. side there. Yeah, these, the, the double loops. I'm, I'm still in awe of these. The fact that I anybody know. can like, actually create that I from know. one solid piece is amazing, isn't it? it? Yeah, out of one solid piece, exactly. Um, and not just doing it with jadeite, which is probably what our expectations would be. We've done it with amazonite, with amethyst, with mookite as well. Yeah. Um, so what was that, Roscoe? Kinga's display is brilliant. Yeah, she has. It looks, she, uh, it looks she lovely. Has. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so they're coming up at nine o'clock, so amazing. And lovely to see that we have other gemstones as well. And then at 10 o'clock, we've got Sir David Troth. No, sorry, I'm officially knighting him here, aren't I? <laughs> um, we have Mas <laughs> Master Sin. Troth. Ma Master Let's call Troth. him Master Troth, shall we? Um, which I'm, I, it feels like ages since I've done a show with Dave. I think it's because I missed the show with him last week. Um, um, he is bringing the most amazing, incredible parcel um, of Eupolite, which is a fantastic phenomena gemstone. I'll allow him to explain all the more. Is it, is it the... Oh, first time ever in towers. So, which are always hugely popular with our lovely audience because, you know, we love, we love adornment for ourselves, of course, but it's nice to actually be able to adorn, say, your home, your workspace, for example. Um, so, yes, launching your Eupolite uh, um, towers as well. We've got the, um, that in different strands. So we've got your rounds and we've got these really beautiful um, rondelles, quite plump rondelles. This is the phenomena that we were talking, uh, that I was just suggesting now. It, it is fascinating. So under normal light is this is beautiful, same, almost oh my malachite S. Yes. Not malachite, what do I Labradorite. Labradorite, that's the word I, I knew was where you were going. For. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Uh, Labradorite S gemstone. But then... Oh, wow. Is that the same stone? It's the same gemstone. That's incredible. It's incredible, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, just amazing. It has that fluorescence that natural so fluorescence cool. it's not treatment it's not coating it's natural fluorescence um so that's launching at 10 o'clock today your early bird this morning which i want to just quickly show you as well Ooh. these are going to absolutely fly because 
quick makes, you know, um, you know, beautiful, simple little drop earrings or simple pendants and things like that. You know, I know you can make the most amazing, technically advanced pieces of jewellery like this. But if you're like me, for example, and you like something very quick, but I still want it to look professional. Oh, yeah. Then your early bird is going to be right up your street. Now, you don't just get the one pair of half drilled pearls. Look at how many you're getting. Two of your beautiful ivory white um one of your natural purple and also you're getting your natural peach pills these are coming up within this hour can we shop ahead and pre-order on these then yes says our roscoe um they're on the website so have a little look all the w's at jewelrymaker.com and um, they're in item number one on the website they are not stopping at that price point so how do you do that like i said all the w's at jewelrymaker.com if you click watch live and then scroll down, you'll see all the items. There they are, the latest deals. Now, some of these, oh, look, we've got sellouts already. Some of these will be going lower than the prices that you see on the website. But even if you make your checkouts right now, um, you will still get that amazing closing early bird deal. So, yes, um, it's worthwhile shopping ahead, actually, because then you are guaranteeing your success, you know, avoiding any disappointment. So, um, look, you've got some beautiful Sleeping Beauty turquoise. You've got, oh, one of the bangles, the hinge bangles there. You've got some Minas Gerais Kunzite. What else? We've got sliders, Brock pearls, more turquoise there. Ah, uh, hello, type A black jadeite carving. How is that in there? I know, those amazing pearls as well. Um, so, like I said, definitely worthwhile having a little little peruse, a little schmooze. A little schmooze. Look at that. The recording is just... I know. Down there. I yeah. know. Oh, my goodness It's fascinating, me. Look at isn't that. it? I literally... I, you know, you just... You'd be like, right, book, check me into the nightclub. I need to wear my Upalite. I need to wear... Um, that's so I need to cool, go partying to wear this amazing gemstone. That is very cool. I love because it. Because that's where you're going to see this beautiful fluorescence. Well, not solely there. There are other places. Other places. Yeah, but <laughs> in, in moody lighting. Moody lighting. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Um, OK, so without further ado, should we get cracking? Yeah. Shall we? It's yeah. the start of the weekend. Well, we'll start the show as we always do with some inspiration from you wonderful viewers, your creations in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Okie dokie, starting us off this morning is number 78, and it's from Trisha. Trisha, this is amazing. Isn't that beautiful? It is silver clay. Wow. Trisha says, hi guys, this week's entry to the WAF is a dragon pendant made a few years ago from silver clay. I hope, uh, have a lovely day. That's incredible. That's so cool. It's like very Game of Thrones, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Sorry. You can't say Game of Thrones without singing <laughs> without the, theme the theme tune. tune. Um, that's amazing, Trisha. Good luck to you, my darling. Uh, number 78 is from Josephine. Good morning, Josephine. Oh, I love the colour oh, choices that. there. Yeah. That's amazing. Love that. Um, and Josephine says, Hi, Waffers. This week's entry is a fun necklace using a wooden hoop, wire wrap, textured rings, copper disc I made, and some seed beads and a larger bead from my stash. Everything from Jewelry Maker, including my metal tools used uh, to create this necklace. Sometimes you just need to have fun and look outside your usual box. Here, here. I, yeah, I think that's brilliant. I can get, I'm one of those that gets stuck in my, my box. Are you? I just yeah. need to break out sometimes, <laughs> sometimes and just go, come on, try something. <laughs> They knew. Try something new, well. I am a creature of habit, most definitely. Yeah, I think a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm quite, I was just, it's comfortable, isn't it? Um, but well done you, Josephine, that's absolutely beautiful. Number 80 is from Lorraine. Good morning, Lorraine. Oh, that's pretty. Um, hello, Lorraine. She says, hi, jewelry maker. My entry this week is a lovely slider bracelet with blue sapphire bead endings and a 925 sterling silver charm, um, which I call Starry Night. All components are from Jewelry Maker, hoping for a win, but good luck, everybody. Well, fingers crossed for you, Lorraine. That's lovely. Really beautiful. Starry nice Night. wearable, isn't it? Easy Anybody else wearable. singing the song in their head right now? Yeah. I am. Uh, <laughs> number 81 is from, what a pretty name, Star. Hello to you, Star. Who is your uh, friend? Speaking of Starry Night, yeah. yeah. Who is your friend? Yes, look at him. He's, he's protecting the jewels, look. Um, hi all, hope this finds you well. Here is, uh, uh, here is my WAF entry for this week. It's a pearl and a venturine bracelet and earring set for my daughter's teacher for the end of the school year. Wow, you're wow, very generous. Cool present. Yeah, um, nice. All parts are from Jewelry Maker. Thank you for keeping me company, especially on my lonely days. Keep happy, Star. That's absolutely beautiful. And can I just say, your 
your daughter's teacher is very, very lucky. Kind of puts my gift into sh to shame, really. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of effort gone into that, isn't there? Absolutely. So. Oh, well done. And thank you for tuning in, Star. Um, number, in fact, let me pass this over to you. Oh, okay, go, go, go. Uh, number 82 is uh, Michelle. Wow. Uh, it says, hi there, JM team. Please find attached my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. This is snakeskin, uh, snakeskin Jasper with antique bronze wire hug. Ah, That's all components cool. from JM, of course. Jasper's one of my favourite gemstones to work with. I just love the variety and patterns. They're always like little works of art in themselves. Yeah, I'd agree with I that. I agree. Uh, good luck to everyone this week and best wishes. Yeah, that was beautiful. Good. That's got a really lovely patination in there, isn't lovely it? Lovely colours. Yeah, amazing. Gorgeous. Uh, and then number 83 is Kim Hopkins. So it says, hi, uh, please find my entry to this week's WAF, uh, a pair of hematite necklaces in silver base metal, all from JM. Good luck to everyone. Great shows and demos. And wow, the two pound sale on the web got some fantastic stuff. Did stay it? Safe. I didn't have a chance to have a look no. at that. It sounded exciting, didn't it? Oh, stay safe, everyone. Well done, Kim. And then one more is Alan Hopkins. Um, says, hi, please find my entry to this week's WAF. It's a pair of paracord macrame bracelets with hematite crosses, all from JM. These are a commission. Good luck to everyone entering and love the shows and demos this week. Stay safe. Amazing, oh, Alan. Oh, yes, you've been working from the same yeah, hematite stash. He's got, he's got the boards as well. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, see that. Boards. Well, I good luck, everybody, in the draw on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it's with me, so I will try and be lucky Yay! for you on Wednesday. Yes. Right then, should we get cracking? Um, a bit of a warning coming. <gasps> I know what he's about to say. It's already very, very busy. Look how many sellouts we have on the website already. So I would definitely encourage you having a little look on the website, uh, checking out anything that your heart desires um, and trusting the fact that we will take them to your early bird deal if they haven't already done so. So um, amazing. And drop us a message. Come and say hello. Tell us what you're up to this weekend. Are you doing anything special? Um, are you planning to be with us the whole weekend? That's special. That's definitely special. You've got a really special weekend. Yeah, well, well, I, I, <laughs> Adam's saying we are special in many ways. <laughs> in many, in ma many, <laughs> many ways are we special. <laughs> right then. What's that? Adam saying he's been special his whole life. <laughs> you are special. Very special. Right then, let's get going, shall we? What shall we start the show with? Start with, ooh, oh, I see some absolutely beautiful goodies here. Cuboids. Cuboids, chuboids. What, I don't know, what's the, uh, I'm going, is chuboid an actual thing? Tis but I think it's more descriptive. No, it's more descriptive though, surely. Surely, because they're elongated. No, cuboids is a thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad. Look how beautiful this is. I did actually think I'd come. <laughs> Ross is saying to me, you said you can't just make up names of new shapes that have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. Oh, we're not going to call that a triangle. Let's call it a three-pointy. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. It just made more sense in my very basic brain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, beautiful hematite here in your lovely, uh, vibrant, buttery yellow gold. Love this. I mean, I'm looking at them like bugle beads. They could be kind of like bugles. It's like gold bullion like that. Oh, it does. Season, doesn't it? It does. It really These does. would be lovely with your um, gold-plated um, heffalum. It really would. It really be, would because it, you get that lovely sort of like flash of, of the light and bouncing back off it as well. Can you pass me a heffalump? Yes. Do you want or, the black one? Yeah, let's, let's, let's grab, grab the necklace if you like. Oh, just Or is it attached, itself. is it? Oh. Um, just so I can drape it over the back of my hand. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 20 available. Okay. But don't you think they'd look absolutely beautiful alongside Hannah's... Um, come on, behave now. <laughs> don't be a naughty heffalump. Oh, they work, they work perfectly. If you've got your eye on the gold-plated heffalump kit, then I think you need to get hold of this beautiful strand as well. Who wants a mega deal? Yes, me, me. We've got 20 available, already multi-buyers. I just think they'd be really nice in, in the tassel. I think they'd be beautiful oh, yeah. in amongst the tassel. You could have them like on the end as, as kind of like a, a little sort of a weighted section. Oh, this kit's gorgeous, Hannah. They it's are, a bit of me. They this. are lush, aren't they? Really yeah. Lovely. Coming up at 12 o'clock. 4 99 only to get hold of your beautiful hematite. Um, an amazing, genuine gemstone that has been used in adornment for over 164,000 years. 
That's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> it is a very long time. Um, just four ninety nine for you today. Hello, Cheryl. Hello to you, Meath. Hello to you, Pauline, Tracy, Mary. Hi, and Michaela. Lovely. I hope you're all well. Um, it is chucking it down here. I don't know about you. I just think the whole of the UK. My mum's... Um, we're in the process of selling my mum's house at the moment. Um, and we've still got the CCTV. And you should have heard my phone last night. Ooh. Mm, mm, because of the rain. Oh. The rain sets off the off the CCTV, which is not ideal, is it? But yeah. That's some serious rain. Serious yeah. rain. <laughs> um, already got sellouts. Well done to you. I tell you what, we're going to step into another favourite here at Jewelry Maker. And that is your beautiful Amazonite. In fact, those two look lovely together. They don't do look they? lovely, don't they? That's nice. You could just literally alternate them, couldn't you? Just alternate the two. How pretty is that? Um, Amazonite, like I said, I think over the past few years, in terms of its popularity, has skyrocketed, hasn't it? It's a member of the Feldspar family. There is an ever so slight graduation to this strand, which is lovely. Oh, so you nice. could just restrand it. You could restrand it, just use spaces in between, or you could do like little beady beads with the smaller sizes, and then have like the bigger ones as the focal point in the middle. Go beautifully. A nice addition yeah. to your Amazonite kit, which you've got coming yeah, up as well. Really so. Lovely. Yeah, if you wanted to make a longer line necklace, then you could add this strand as well. That's coming up. But also with the heffalumps, I'm going to say it again. It'd be lovely with the elephants. Maybe the I'm feeling the silver plated one. The silver with the with the um, the blue. Yeah, the neon beautiful. Like or that. the gold. Yeah, or the gold or the rose for that matter. Um, who wants this under ten pounds this morning? Natural Amazonite, like I said, a member of the Feldspar family that is believed to glow even more during sunrise and sunset. Now we've got thirty five available. Says Ross. We're not even stopping. At nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh, are you feeling a bit? Are you feeling a bit fruity today, Ross? Then, are you? Yeah, with your pricing, I like that. I like that. It's bit. It's bit. It's just caught. Look at him. He's got his nana. He's sorted. Happy bunny. Happy boy. There we go. Feeling fruity with his prices this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Potassium high. Absolutely. I've had my nana as well. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's. Uh, not even stopping there. We have. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that Harry Styles song in my head now, the watermelon sugar high, but it's potassium from a banana high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do, not go too much into no, that no, song. No, no, yeah. no, not too much. I didn't realise <laughs> it. Fructose high. Yes, fructose, yeah, yeah that's so better. Um, <laughs> Harry Styles, you know he's a Redditch boy, he was born in Redditch. Is he really? Yeah, I used that's to work with his mum. I genuinely... Do you know what? I've just had a flashback. I think you've told me that before. Yeah, I used to work with his mum. And then I think, did I offend Adam by saying, how did someone that beautiful <laughs> come from near us? Uh, he said, I'm from here too. Yeah. <laughs> no, he is, he is yeah. very beautiful. Is his very mother's beautiful. very beautiful yeah. too. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Um, there we go. Not 9 99 Speaking of beauty, beautiful Amazonite. This will be lovely with your early bird, don't forget as well. Amazonite and pearls. Oh, it's a match made in heaven. <gasps> 5 99 oh gosh, that, well, it absolutely would go with that kit, wouldn't it? And that, the necklace on the far end. Um, yes. I mean, it, it, it would look fabulous with that. And I think it would look yeah. lovely with the um, am, uh, amethyst. Sorry, Definitely. I couldn't get my words Definitely. out there. Yes, because I've used the, like, the, the teal um, yeah. in there as well. Oh, yes, lovely. So you yeah. can see that colour combination. Yeah, it'd be perfect alongside yeah, the by amethyst. The, by the hoops. We've got 30, and that's an absolute giveaway deal for natural Amazonite. Again, if you love this gemstone, you'll have certainly seen the collection, I think, at Monica Veneda. She's a big, uh, avid uh, um, fan of this gemstone. She's got a beautiful, po very poetic write-up on her website, if you fancy a little read. Um, and you do appreciate just how amazing your deals are here at Jewelry Maker when you see, you know, Amazonite at Monica Veneda. You get a small cabochon, effectively. It's lovely, don't get me wrong, and it is pre-made jewellery, granted, but you're getting a full 115 carat this morning good morning everybody i hope you're well it's friday it's the weekend <laughs> it's done party i'm singing that to you now i sing it to willow every friday and she hates it hates it that's embarrassing mummy stop it mummy is that Hey, you, you, we, we, we have a game. You, you have to see how many embarrassing parent points. Oh, I get game. loads of those. Yeah, yeah. Like, yes! I think I'm doing pretty well on that board. Hundred <laughs> percent. Because I'll stand in the middle of a school playground and school run this afternoon. And I'll be like, Willow, it's the weekend. <laughs> stop it, mummy. Just stop it. It's, a, it's obligatory, though. You've got to it's, embarrass your kids. It's the law, yeah. You've got to embarrass your kids. <laughs> um, 5 99 only. Well done, everybody. No, well, I mean, I don't, I don't bellow it in the middle of the playground, I have to say. I'm, <laughs> I'm not there. It's like, right, everybody with a microphone. Just a willow. Just... <laughs> 
<laughs> but her friends know her friends know what I'm doing. It's like look, it's doing it again. Um, make sure you check out everyone. Hello, Ellen. Hello to you, Diane, Susan, Kim, Margaret, Tina. Nice to see you. Um, we have 35. I definitely do not have anywhere near that quantity now. In fact, I'll leave that with you. Um, let's move on to a big bundle of you have to be talking about this. Is 30 uh, at final price or can you slash more off? Ooh. Or let's see, Jennifer, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, is, Ross is in a bit of a fruity mood this morning. Remember, yeah. he's had his banana already, so quite possibly, quite possibly. Look, there's so much here. We could, Kinga, bless her heart, couldn't even get them all on the same tea bar. Look, here we go. Oh, squeezed. Look at all of that lovely sparkle. Is 30 your final offer, Roscoe? Um, eight millimetres in your AB coated, beautiful one metre long length strands on each of those. So how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight metres in total. So if we just... Uh... Oh, there we go, £10 each. £10 a metre, mind. It's, there's loads of it. I had these for, um, I did some rainbow it's, spiral kits. It's and, a bit of you, this, Han. Yeah, well, I, I, had, I had some kits with them and, and um, graduated sizes and, and just made this, a massive rainbow necklace. But somebody was saying you could do one of the, you know, the old beaded um, curtains. curtains. Yes. You had them in your caravan, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. As well? Or, or in on the door, door to the kitchen so you yeah. can have the doors open into keep the garden. The flies out. Keep the flies out. Yeah, yeah. you can have it like a disco version. <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. Just for aesthetics, never mind the flies, yeah. just because it looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, so you know we're not stopping there. You know we're not stopping at £10 each. Hello, Jennifer, saying forty nine ninety nine. Come on, Ross. Oh, I like it. Egg him on. Go on. I tell you what. Ross says, from this price, he's actually going to half it. But there are 38 minutes to make your confirmations. How many are available then, Roscoe? How many, how many have you got? 14 remain. That's it. In fact, we're going to better than half price it. Better than half price. Where's he going? Hello, can you go? Woo, that's good. There are only 14 though. Um, there are only 14 available. Yeah, I mean, the, the joyous thing is you've got eight metres here, which you're obviously not going to use all in one piece, are you? You're going to like, make oodles of jewellery. It's, it's a fab one. If, you, if you're doing like a, um, a, fa a craft fair or you're doing yeah. like a charity event or, you're, oh, nice. or, you're just, or if you've just got like an Etsy shop or something, you can nice. make loads and loads of just stretchies and you could do like rainbow stretchies. Things like that, there's quite a big trend you, for that. Is it me or my... Th I mean, I'm no expert on this at all, um, but have you got, like, your... What am I thinking about? Chakras. Chakras, thank yeah. you. Um, some of the chakra colours there. Yes, lots of, yeah. I don't know, colour, it's lovely to see colour now in jewellery. You know, it was a period where we didn't see any of it. But I, think, I think there's been a sudden, like, sort surgeons. of colour revolution in the high street as well, because I, I, I was out the other day. It's because 90s they're, fashion's well, back Well, that's in, isn't it. it? Yeah. That, that, this, is, this is why I sort of love it, I think, because yeah. all this, these pops of colour are appearing. 90s fashion. Um, again, sorry to me keep mentioning, but Willow did actually say, Mummy, I think you should wear some cycling shorts. I was like, Willow? No. I am way past cycling <laughs> shorts age. Absolutely not. <laughs> the day my... <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, no. Dear me, no. Did, no. did you the first time round, though? Yes. Oh, I did, as well. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> With the go faster stripes up the side. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And the hot pants. I did the hot pants I had too in the 90s. turquoise ones with lots of swirly, sort of ribbony patterns yes. over them. And I wore it with a big, oversized, baggy t shirt. Yes. And it was like, yeah. Yeah. And do you, do you remember? <laughs> um, I can't remember what they were called, but those t shirts that used to used to change colour where you were hot. I mean, um, pretty grim, yeah. to be fair. Oh, so you'd have all these teenagers turning... Up. bits. <laughs> Their yeah. armpits just a different colour or just under the boobs. <laughs> it's not attractive, is it? 34.99. OK, um, we had 14. Jennifer, you've got yours. Hazel, Conway. I've also got Maker, Beverly, Diane, Denise, Ros and Gloria there. So I'll leave those with you because we've over half that price tag. Um, coming up as your early bird this morning, I'm going to give you a another little sneaky peek perfect for look I'm not going to sit here and tell you that these are going to be the most labor intensive pieces of jewelry that you ever create they're obviously not if you just do a simple be you know uh, pearl pendant um, or pearl pair of earrings
earrings. They're half drilled. Um, all you need to do is put a little dab of your, say, hypo cement glue yes, or yeah. a glue of that ilk. Um, leave it overnight and you've just made professional jewellery. That is no different to what the luxury jewellers actually do. Um, and you get all of them, by the way. So that's two pairs um, of your La Peregrina-esque drop shapes in your white, natural purple and natural apricot. These are coming up within this hour. You can shop ahead and pre-order on yours as well. And I can tell you, yeah, it's a pretty amazing deal. It's a pretty amazing deal, considering you've got, what, two, four, six, eight, eight beautiful pearls of that quality. Um, so they're coming up, but not yet. Right now, we're going to do... Oh, the hinge bangle. Oh, there is these. one available. Um, this is one of my favourite. I, I, I love... We commissioned only a handful. I think there was like 10, 14, I think, of each of the bangles. We had it in um, the black and white. That was the last one I saw, and yeah. I think that sold out. Um, and that had the silver. Um, we had the green. We had the green and white. Um, this one is in the rose gold. It's stunning. Oh, gold it's one. so beautiful. It's I think it might well be one of my favourites. I just love the warmth that it actually brings you. Now, this is solid 925 sterling silver type a Burmese jadeite and the, and the inspiration behind the hinge bangle was basically because we were very aware um, customers were giving us feedback basically saying that they were struggling maybe with some of the bangles maybe they wouldn't fit over your hand or um, it was maybe a little bit uncomfortable to do that yeah, so yeah um, and, and, I, and I get it I totally get that um, so we we're like okay well let's let's commission um, a hinge bangle obviously they're going to be very limited um, the quality on these is truly outstanding so much so and this might sound the most bizarre thing you can hear the quality so are you ready for this you can literally hear that closure yeah. um so it means you haven't got it haven't got to force it over over the hand it literally just snaps around your wrist line type a burmese jadeite you can see how beautifully fine that crystal um actually is so wonderful translucency i mean this is the stuff of you know sotheby's bonhams those kind of auction houses this is the kind of jewelry that i absolutely would expect um, to be considered your uh, legacy or heirloom. There is only one in the world. You've got, what, 20, uh, 33 minutes to make your confirmations. But do remember, you've also got a 30-day money-back guarantee, no questions asked. So um, get a second opinion. I would strongly recommend you doing that. You know, when you're talking about something as rare as Taipei, Burmese jadeite, um, and furthermore commissioned into a work of art like this, you know, Okay, yeah, we are, ignore the graphics, it's just having a funny five minutes. Um, we are at the price tag, we can't go any lower than that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this, I mean, you've got to remember, how many of these were ever commissioned, Ross? Four in the world. Wow. There was four of this, this bangle in the world. Truly exclusive. Yeah, mm. exactly. One of four people that actually owns um, this amazing piece. You know, when Louis Vuitton and when Dolce & Gabbana and Chanel and Piaget, when they all do sort of their limited edition collections, they don't do four. They'll no. still do thousands. I'll leave that one with you because I do understand it's a considered purchase, but not in comparison to what you're actually getting. So worthwhile getting that valued. Um, okay, let's do what, sorry? Gem set Baroque. Oh, that one. I've, actually, I've still got that pendant in my, in my little bag. Um, so this, again, was quite a recent launch. Have you seen these before? Oh, They're beautiful. It. Um, and I've told you the story before about that certain footballer that bought a pearl necklace from me many moons ago. Yes. Um, you know, the one that can bend footballs, you apparently. Can. Yes. Um, yeah, many, many moons ago. Um, the pearl necklace that he bought was actually um, a Tahitian pearls, and it was embedded with diamonds, and they were embedded in exactly the same way as this. Um, we've shown you different examples. This is a huge trend at the moment, um, encrusted pills, um, and you pay a pretty penny for them, often in your thousands upon thousands of pounds. These aren't glued onto the surface. Um, they are, is that a tube setting, isn't it? Uh, well, it looks like they're tube set, but I, I imagine they've got pegs on the back yeah. to so actually, actually like, drill them into the, the Into pearl the itself. actual pearl yeah. itself. Um, but look at the quality of these. So these aren't crystals. This is embedded with sapphire and also your peridot so you've got genuine gemstones been looking at gorgeous pink sapphire there at the top half drilled as well where i'm holding it so all you need to do is literally secure your beautiful uh, bale of choice um i can show, quickly flash through the, the the powerpoint that i presented on the launch these were a previous deal of the day so for example rings like this um earrings like this three fat three thousand two hundred us dollars very very similar granted okay the, the settings might be gold um, what are the gemstones inside? Morganite. 
Oh, what about those? They're literally stuck on the surface. They're not, yeah, they're not set into, they're, I mean, still $178. I love those earrings. I think they're absolutely beautiful, don't you? Um, but again, they'll be, they'll be thousands upon thousands of pounds. Again, stunning, aren't they? $1,606 for those earrings. Beautiful. Uh, Three and a half thousand US dollars for these earrings. And they're diamonds. They're diamonds. Well, yours is sapphire and peridot. Um, so do you think you could create a version of those if you've got the, 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 you know, the right components? Yeah, why not? I think even I could do that. And that's saying something. You, you keep saying that. You're, you're better at making jewellery than you think you are. Uh, I'm not as talented yeah. as, uh, as so many of our lovely viewers. <laughs> 29.99. Adam said, don't, don't talk yourself. It's true though. I'm a very base. I do basic jewellery, but I still love, you know, I make to, I make to wear. I don't sell yeah, but my But when you say basic jewellery, I mean, I mean, putting, putting a, a peg in, into a pearl. It's no different to what they've done, is it? Exactly. There's no different I mean, it's, it's what the high-end jewellers do. Exactly. You know? I, wear, I make jewellery that I would wear, so yes. something like that. Yeah. Uh, 29.99 only. Again, if you've got genuine gemstones set within this beautiful block pearl, um, all that pearl, pearl. <laughs> pearl, all that wonderful nacre thickness, and that's why you're seeing this abundance of, uh, um, of iridescence and luster. I know we won't have many of these left because they were incredibly popular on the initial launch. Lots of people were talking about making sort of matching earrings and a single pennant. So we saw lots of threes and twos um, fly out the door on the launch. When we launched them, Ross, did we have about 200 of them? I think that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, we did. And, and, and how many have we got now? 14, yeah. I didn't think there would be that many. Um, amazing. Well done. Make sure you do check out your basket. So here's an idea. Maybe that's your pendant. And if you wanted to mix it up a little bit... Maybe these Ooh. are your matching earrings. Oh my goodness, they're huge. Are they half drilled as well? Oh no, they're through drilled, these ones. Through drilled, which we don't see that often actually, do we? Um, so through drilled pearls, just pop literally, uh, I don't know, maybe a bit of a head pin feather weight. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. I mean, you, if you used a, a, a double-ended eye pin, then you could have a tassel off the bottom and then, and then your earring nice. hook on the top. Oh, nice. That'd be nice. Now you are getting the two. They're not gem encrusted, but what we will do is match the price because you are getting the pair. Look, it looks like wonderful folds of silk, doesn't it? With a wonderful Let's gold see. overtone. These one, these pearls, it's, it, it's all the rage at the moment. I think on the back of the house of, um, house of Gucci with Lady Gaga, where she was pictured wearing pearls like this and a yeah. full necklace. Heaven knows what that piece of jewellery is actually costs, but I know you could all do versions of that. You get both of them at twenty nine ninety nine. Again, we haven't got a huge quantity of these. These are big pearls, um, sixteen millimeters in their size, sixteen millimeters in their size. So you, it's, the fact they are through drilled, Hannah, has given us opportunities to incorporate them into necklaces, isn't it? it yeah, it does. It, it means it's it's um, well, it can be added to anything. So you can get beading thread through there. You can get um, some of your wires through there. You can get needle and thread through there. So you, yeah. you're open to all kinds of. Imagine, imagine those with your with your elephants and having yes. them kind of on the co on the oh, collarbone. That would be quite nice. That would it? be really quite striking. Just nice I little, think. nice yeah. little detail. And then, and then have like other, well, so if you put it with this, um, the, the, oh, the, the monochrome. The, with the monochrome, and then you could have those either side. Beautiful, you? absolutely beautiful. Um, always yeah. worthwhile having within your stash as well. I use Baroque pearls all the time, all the time, because they are simple makes, aren't they? I mean, they're big pearls. I'm thinking back to those ones that actually had the diamonds on the top. Do they look any different in terms of the quality of the actual pearl? I know the other ones had diamonds, but do they look any different? No, I think they look fabulous. Um, amazing. Make sure you check those out, everybody. Congratulations. Um, it is time for us to bring that incredible black jadeite card this i was going to say have we seen this ross i don't think we have already over allocated on the website um i think a few of you are waiting for us to drop that price it is type a grade completely and utterly natural zero enhancement whatsoever wouldn't these make the most incredible earrings they really can you would. imagine yeah so striking oh my goodness me um when it comes to black jade it's, it takes three times as long to form black jade out to any other color out there so it surpassed that of your your imperial green um on that basis it, yes, it should probably command a much, much higher price tag.
like, or certainly than what you're about to see on your screens. These are master carved. Um, what that basically means is carved by hand as opposed to sort of machine cut. You can see that level of intricacy. So everyone will have a very slight difference and that is because of course they are literally, they've been placed into the hands of an artist. Um, how many do we have then, Ross? Five, five in the vault, that's it. I've never seen this piece before. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm visualizing them and, and I know this is very uh, decadent, but can you imagine them in a pair of earrings, how fabulous they would be? 15 carats, they are double carved as well. So if I show you, you've got these beautiful flowers on the front and then if I pivot it round, there are those flowers on the reverse as well. So even if you wore it in a long line necklace and it flipped over, it doesn't matter. It's still gonna look absolutely beautiful. Here, right now at nine, £999. I'm never going to tell you that that's not a considered price. It is. However, not in comparison to what you're actually getting hold of. Wait, I've just noticed something. This is Guatemalan. Oh. Launched with Dave. And I know that in Guatemala they do have a, a source of black jadeite, but it's so rare. I've only just clocked that. So, and, and look, you have to forgive me, but I'm literally learning about this as, with yourselves today. Well, how often do you see Guatemalan black jade on our, I, on our shows? I've never seen. I've never seen it. I've, I think this might be the first time I've presented it. Yeah, I mean. So, I mean, how, how have we got that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We've just the rarity has just skyrocket, <laughs> has absolutely skyrocketed. Um, and it is literally that piano black, as we call it here in the West. Over um, in the East, they refer to um, it as, as imperial black. But look, you can see that beautiful luster. That's why I'm rocking it back and forth. We've got five available within the vault. Um, we're going to go straight down to your price point because it's already over allocated. There were only ever 47 in the world commissioned. It's been on air once with Dave. We've got the last remaining quantities, lovely uh, flu uh, floral detail. Whether you look at them as your lotus flowers, whether you look at them, um, I don't know, maybe forget-me-not. You might be looking at them in as another flower springs to mind. I think they look a little bit hibiscus-like. Wow, £129 only. Can you imagine, and again, I'm going to, this is, this is incredibly, incredibly uh, decadent, but can you imagine? Oh, wow. Yeah, one pearl and then your black jade eye underneath. Can you imagine that in a pair of earrings or oh a pendant? Gosh. How fabulous they would be. Literally sent like a, an A-lister on the black carpet. Where, where, black on, carpet. On the red carpet. With the, oh, this with should a, be a black, black carpet. Dress on. Yeah, black that carpet. would be beautiful. Oh, I'm tempted by these. Hi, Julie. Hi, Elle, Hannah and crew. I have this flower black jade. It's stunning. So, oh, lucky you, Julie. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you can get it home today for £32.25. and pence. I must admit, Roscoe, I'm tempted to make this. Yeah, as an earring. Yeah, proper, proper glamour. Yeah, and I'd probably Look. go with gold because I prefer gold. But yeah. But I'm tempted to make those. How beautiful are they? Oh, my gosh, you need to do that. I think I might. If there's any of them left, just so you know, I want a snaffle too. How incredible are they? They are phenomenal. They're and those Baroque pearls, mind, they're the perfect combination, aren't they? Gloucestershire, you've got yours. I've got Lanarkshire there, Ellen there, Christine there, and London there. Um, hang on. Yeah, we've got three left. So over allocated already. We've got multi buyers getting involved as well. 22 minutes on this hour um, and then these items will all disappear even if they're in your basket so make sure you check out you still only pay that one postage and packaging all day it would be beautiful with your upolite that's coming up as well what do we think amazing alongside your upolite fabulous alongside your um your early bird as well so we've got some lovely little pearls to bring you uh, later on in the show um, by the way, the bangle, the type A jadeite bangle has sold. Um, hello, Lan uh, Lancashire, sorry. Um, I'm going to make earrings with off-white amber. Oh, oh wow. please make sure you send the photograph into the Wall of Fame. That sounds incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, oh, I look forward to seeing that, Lancashire. It sounds fabulous. They're beautiful, aren't they? I was thinking earrings as well, so we're on the same page there, just because I think they'd be... I mean, they're the kind of jewellery that will get noticed. The kind of jewellery, and I'm thinking to, um, you know, Kate Moss, I remember showing you once upon a time, 
Uh, <coughs> it was in one of the glossy magazines. Kate Moss wearing, and they were jet, so nowhere near as rare as these, but some jet carved earrings. And she had this amazing sort of uh, um, black gown as well, full Gothic inspiration. It was absolutely beautiful. Stunning. But you could do yeah. like a version with something that's altogether rarer, rarer than what, uh, than, what, than what Kate Moss was wearing. So fabulous. Coming up as your early bird today, I think there's some collectors rethinking this and getting a second second one of those pens so how fabulous would that be um coming up as your early birds don't forget lovely jewelry makers we're going to do a mega deal on your beautiful natural pearls um so you're getting two of these gorgeous whites they're half drilled look how perfect that drop is it's perfect isn't it um all you need is a little bale on there and then you've got really beautifully color matched and also uh, size matched um natural purple and of course you've got the natural papaya pearls coming up as well super duper busy this morning lovely to be oh you're up and at it this morning bright and early which is fabulous um look at all these sellouts on the website <clears throat> yeah i'm not surprised i mean ross is a positive maestro isn't he of deals look at it all look at that so that's all that's all that Oh, you took your, your foot off the pedal there, Ross. No sellouts on that line. Oh, there is on this one, though. The Taipei ba bangle's gone. And again, and again, and again, again. Oh, hey! <laughs> You've got to have one sellout on each line. Oh, you, <laughs> you were doing so well, Ross. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, Ross. We've still got 20 minutes, that's the thing. That's the thing. But items are selling out already. Well hey. done. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, OK. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Little things, eh? Little things. There's another one. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> um, let's do some slider bracelets, shall we? Yay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry, there was something selling out. <laughs> Can we... There was another one in my last row. Yeah. There was a triple. Here we yeah. go. Are you ready? Yeah. Everybody, you're going to do it together. Do it with us. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> out, sell out, sell out. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry. We are so easily pleased. Can you imagine if someone's just tuned in to Jewelry Maker and they hear us making well, those noises like, turn this it? racket off. Goodness <laughs> me. Um, right then. Hang on a minute. Ross desperately is trying to be professional and bring it back to the show. Um, <laughs> Hang on. He's gonna. He says, oh, "Can I leave that with you? Because you're better at this than me." What's wrong with it? Um, the the pearls just looped over. That's all. Um, you're gonna do what? See this line on the website. Ross says, "We're gonna take it to such an amazing deal that this bundle is gonna show us sold out imminently." Um, so slider bracelets with beautiful pearls. You've got. Oh, I like it. Not just the, the selection of colours. You've got selection of shapes. You've got some buttons, some drops. Um, in the white, come on, don't be naughty, slider bracelet. Come here. One. Yeah, hang on. Uh, you, you put your Baroque pearl in the middle of these. The oh, those ones are yeah. three Baroque so, pearls. Yeah, Perfect. Fabulous. So you're getting how many? Five. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Ross, I mean, that's a big statement. Yeah, he says, I'm going to make this a sellout imminently. Price per slider, he says, is going to be absolutely crazy. So you can see on the desk here the selection that you're getting. You've got nice little button pink pearls. You've got your drop pink pearls. You've got some really beautiful, um, almost Keshi-esque, aren't they? Would you agree? Um, and then you've got your rounds, and then you've got some more buttons there. So you're getting all of these five 925 sterling silver slider bracelets. Absolute must, I think, to all of our stashes, aren't they? We're at thirty pounds per slider bracelet, which I think is more than reasonable for something of this beauty and this quality, and with with wonderful, genuine pearls. Today and for seventeen remaining minutes, or nine ninety nine per slider bracelet. I mean, you'd absolutely sell them on at thirty pounds each, wouldn't you? Oh, it's less than nine ninety nine. Oh. Oh, Ross says I meant to go $49.95, not $39.95. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so they're $7.99. Oh, my gosh. Even better deal. <laughs> Oops a daisy. Oops. Oops a daisy, Ross. He says I'm only on it for another 10 more seconds because it is a mistake. And he's, he's actually saying, please don't buy it. <laughs> well, that's oh, well, obviously they're going to buy it, Ross. It's $7.99 for a slider bracelet. Oh, look, you've only got 10 seconds until this auction. Oh, you can see, you can tell. You, I mean, <laughs> you only need You like... can tell Ross is edgy by that one. Um, 
I don't think I'll ever, ever be uh, um, <laughs> praised for saying this, but on this occasion, Tracy, Lorna, Linda, Dorothy, <laughs> Deborah, Ch uh, Cheshire, Derbyshire, please don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can, you can. It's Ross is bad. Never mind. Um, never mind, Roscoe. We're only human, aren't we? Um, love, Rhodonite. This would look fab with you. It was with feed, you said he was feeding fruity. Sorry, what was that? You, you're black jade with this. Oh, yes. So that's the pendant on this as a, a long line necklace. Oh, that, like a multi-layer neck. That would look fabulous. So beautiful. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah, because, I mean, you've got, with, with Rhodonite, it's one of those lovely gemstones that brings you raspberry tones, but also your jet blacks. Yes. And yeah. um, we heard, didn't we, reading the Wall of Fame earlier on, um, I forget which, which one of our lovely viewers it was that messaged it saying about the passion for, for gemstones like uh, your jaspers because of the varieties and the colours yes. and, and just how unique they all are. Uh, Road Knight Michelle. is absolutely one of those. There we go, Michelle. Um, it's absolutely one of those gemstones, I think, that just always, always, uh, um, well, they're unique, aren't they? Every single one. It's like fi our fingerprints. This would also look lovely with your showcase at 10 o'clock today with Dave Trost. And yes, um, our announcement, um, Dave's coming on at last minute arrangement. So Dave's coming on not at 10 o'clock, he's coming on at 11 o'clock. So that means your deal of the day is going to be pushed back just a little bit. So at 10 o'clock, we're going to do a little showcase on your tiger's eyes. So don't worry, um, we've still got loads of treats to bring you as well. And by the way, the tiger, a tiger's eye is incredible. So it's catching because Will Willow calls it tiger, tiger, tiger eyes. Tiger so, eyes? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Tiger eyes. Well, I get it. Yeah, though. I do yeah. get it. It's quite sweet. Yes. Uh, Twenty four ninety nine for not one metre, but two metres of your lovely road night. Um, make sure you check out because again, you've got what fourteen minutes left on the um, on the hour. Shall we do some kunzite, Hannah? Oh my gosh, that's this would be lovely with your nine o'clock kits. I think. It, yeah, I mean, goodness me, that's stunning. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. I love kunzite. Kunzite, it just oozes femininity. Um, look, let's it's just... It's got that lovely sort of soft damask rose kind of colour to oh, it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. You, you can almost smell the roses. It's lovely. Pretty, <laughs> pretty. And again, totally and utterly natural. Kunzite is a spodumene gemstone. Oh, say that again. Um, spodumene. It's a good word, It now. is a good word. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also what we call an evening gemstone, so it will retain light and glow. Um, even under the most subtle and subdued of lighting conditions. Nine pounds and 99 pence. It's not, you know, it's not a, an inexpensive gemstone, Kunzai. It is one of those gems that, that Tiffany's & Co launched it to the world. Um, and it has really maintained that high price point, even sort of in your beaded forms. You know, this is this is a gem. When, I think when we first launched it here at Jewelry Maker, it was like 80 odd pounds or something similar to that. It was right up there anyway. One more auction, <coughs> excuse me, until we bring you your early bird, your beautiful pearls. In fact, these look lovely with the Kunz like you just had, don't you think? They would be um, stunning, yes. Am I? Hang on. Yeah, they've, they've gone behind. I was going to say. They've escaped. I had two escapees <laughs> then for a second. Two escapee pearls. Um, you're getting eight half-drilled beautiful drop pearls. These are your early birds coming up in just one auction's time. Don't forget, start thinking about, if I would anyway, uh, start considering checking out your baskets. There are already sellouts. I know what we're going to dive into right now, Roscoe, because I've just seen what you've put up on the, uh, on the monitor. Um, and I'm going to ask lovely Kinga, can I get a white bust, please? Because this, I, I don't want to put this, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting this back over the back of my hand. Um, this is quite possibly one of the most luxurious pieces that we've ever brought to our screens. Um, because the fascination of pearls, and rather than use my words, thank you, lovely, use my words, we'll go to the GIA. The GIA is the Gemological Institute of America and is the largest institution in the gemstone world. And they wrote about this next opportunity, the fascinating, faceted, cultured pearl. The pearl has been shrouded in myth and mystery since antiquity. The ancient Romans imagined they were tears of gods and angels. The ancient Chinese thought they offered protection from fire-breathing dragons. And Europeans believed they symbolized modesty, chastity, and purity. In the 20th century, the classic culture pearl necklace became an essential fashion accessory adorning icons of sophistication like Jackie Kennedy, Audrey Hepburn, and Coco Chanel. 
Pearls have been coveted for thousands of years, and in 1998, pearl lovers were given a new and unique option, a faceted cultured pearl. With up to 200 facets, these miniature marvels were the result of 20 years of experimentation by Komatsu Diamond Industry, who are a Japanese diamond cutting company, and were a dramatic alternative for smoother surface cultured pearls. And you can see those absolute visions. Do you notice that? And I've used this analogy before, but when I look at particularly the color of pearls that you're about to see, when I look at a faceted pearls, or the, I should say this strand, because we've only ever brought, I think, one or two, it looks like, you know when a peony flower is prior to bloom? When it's yes. really totally uh, compacted, compact, yeah, yes. and it almost seems like thousands and thousands yes. of layers of petals. That's what a faceted pearl looks oh, like to me. Um, they are incredible, but they are, there's no doubt about it, the investment. Um, while only the finest cultured pearls were first faceted, cultured pearls of all qualities and colours are now cut and polished. But to facet a cultured pearl, the gem cutter utilised the same cutting equipment that is used to cut gemstones. Designers continue to experiment in pursuit for the perf uh, of perfecting these geometric beauties. Nature makes pearls and faceting brings out their beauty, says award-winning designer Mark Schneider, who has earned a reputation uh, for featuring faceted culture pills in his work. I take what nature creates and I put my fingerprint on it. Um, do you know, in that article, they talk about the quality of the pills. All, all cultured pills um, qualities are actually uh, faceted or polished. I don't know. I, I, there's got to be a certain degree of quality to facet a pill because there has to be a greater investment of time to build the nacre. Because if you're going to cut nacre away, then you can't have it with only like a millimetre or two millimetre. You need it to be much, much thicker if you're going to start faceting and polishing away. So I think there is much more of a time investment, most certainly, in the pearls that you are then in, in endeavour, if you like, to facet. But the end result is quite, you know, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, whether your taste is for a traditional or the avant-garde, you're sure to enjoy these unique creations. And that piece there, Equilibrium Ring, um, has one faceted Tahitian pearl mounted in platinum that's one of mark schneider's pieces you can see just one single pearl you know they are Amazing. they are yeah. at, you know they're a symbol of absolute luxury most, most certainly you know without sounding too blasé lots Ooh, of us wow. have got pearls haven't we i think particularly as jewelry makers lots of us have got pearls within our stash yes. Not many of us can say that we own a faceted pearl. By the way, myself included. Uh, yeah, I, no, don't. I haven't got one. No, I mean, these are on a different level of luxury, as I said in the, uh, in the original launch. Are you ready to see? And I know there's not many of these available. Um, five. There's five available. Imagine not owning one single Mark Schneider pearl. Imagine owning a full 360 necklace. This is the cal. Oh my goodness me! This is the caliber that I would absolutely mm. not with silk, and I would absolutely invest in an 18 karat gold clasp. Oh yes. Um, and I say that knowing that jewelry maker don't stock 18 karat gold clasps. Should we? Yeah, absolutely we should. But you, you know how, my feelings on that. Um, source it elsewhere. Source an 18 karat gold clasp elsewhere. Um, not it. I know you have those capabilities, and then look at getting it valued and insured. Even here at two thousand three hundred and ninety-nine pounds, that's an amazing deal. The reality is, and again, sorry to keep reference it. I don't want to name drop, but you know that necklace that I was talking about earlier on, the gem encrusted necklace that we sold to that footballer. Yes. It wasn't as spe it wasn't as, as rare as this. I mean, there were Tahitian pearls which are rare of yes, course but yeah. they weren't faceted but they weren't faceted they weren't in fact the, the the pearl cabinet that i looked after back at 20 odd years ago there wasn't one single faceted pearl because it hadn't been developed at that point no and there are gosh, it's like the evolution of the pearl isn't it exactly, like, it's like it's, it's exactly. The, the, the next step in into high-end luxury gemstones yeah and, and, and Imagine being able to say that you own You've got a piece one. of that, yeah. that evolution. There are five available opportunities. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to be the most inexpensive pearl strand because it's not. You know, you are looking at, as I said in the beginning, this is probably one of the most luxurious pearl strands that you will ever see on our screens. And at £1,499, that's an amazing deal, but it is no way near where we are closing. 
at, at some point, and I get it costs money, at some point try and get this valued. Um, and I don't just say that for an ego perspective, get it valued for your insurance purposes. Yeah. Because if something, if, if heaven forbid this was to get lost or stolen, you wouldn't be able to replace it, especially at this price point. £499 wow. only. I don't know anywhere else. Um, I know our sister channel does some amazing deals on faceted pearls as well, but I don't know anywhere else that can match what we do here at Gemporia. No, um, it's amazing. It is amazing. Amazing. You get these really beautiful, not only do you get the overtones, the undertones, you notice how you don't lose any of that amazing luster because it's polished, basically. Uh, yeah. But you, you get this wonderful performance of light, and that's the only twinkle. way I can word it. Yeah, yeah you get this. Like, that, that's the first thing that sort of struck me when you put it onto the bus there and the light hits it. Like yeah. you're expecting to get the luster, you're expecting to get that beautiful pearl um, kind of finish. But then, that's you know, smooth. But the, yeah, the smoothness. But then you've also got the, the added twinkle and sparkle yeah. on top. Yeah. And it, for me, it's just like, oh my It's goodness. wow. And it's one of those conversation oh. starters. You know, people are going to notice this, aren't they? They're like, oh my goodness me. And they're going to realize that that's not, your, that's not your normal traditional pearl. You know, that's a pearl with Something a difference. Special. Um, I'll leave that with you. It is time, though. You've got a five minutes heads up, lovely jewellery makers. Make sure you start checking out your baskets to avoid disappointment. There are people with that in your baskets, so good luck. I wish you good luck. There's only five of them in existence. Um, but right now, speaking of beautiful pearls, let's dive into the beauty of the La Peregrina drop shape. Traditional pearls. It said there on the GIA article before we started explaining what, what faceted pearls were, the mythology, the beliefs. Historically, you know, thousands and thousands of years, this is a gemstone that has been hailed as one of the most valuable, in actual fact, um, before the culturing process, before Mickey Moto developed culturing pearls, they were. The, one of the rarest gemstones in existence and these were literally free dived for can we just imagine that for a second you know i'm terrified of the sea i'm absolutely terrified it's one of my greatest fears can you imagine before you had all the sort of diving equipment etc they used to dive to the depths of the sea it's it's phenomenal isn't it it really is to find the oyster to hopefully find a pearl and it's the sea's vast, isn't it? It takes up what percentage of our planet? You know, you, you realise, you fully realise just how rare pearls were. Let's read this article. It talks about the tears of the gods. And you can see that glimmering pearl um, in the centre. The magical and mysterious teardrops of the god. And that's why the, 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 the peregrina drop, I think, is as valuable as it is. It's because it is that teardrop tear shape. shape. Yes. Imagine this. A human discovers a lovely, lustrous pearl inside an oyster. Ever since the, the first pearl was found gleaming inside a shell, pearls have been coveted, cherished and treasured by people across the world. The world's only gemstone found within a living, uh, living creature, oysters and mollusks, the mystique of a pearl has fascinated royalty, merchants, explorers and traders. The Arabs believed that the pearl was a teardrop of God that, ha uh, God that had fallen into the ocean and made its way into the oyster. The Greeks believed that the goddess Aphrodite shed tears of pearls. We're talking thousands and thousands of years. Pearls are symbolic of wisdom um, gained through experience. The gems are believed to offer protection uh, and a magnet for good luck and wealth. They are well known for their calming effects. Pearls have a way of bringing balance to your karma. Pearls also keep children safe and protect while strengthening the wearer's relationship. These lovely gemstones are symbolic of the wearer's loyalty, generosity, integrity, and purity. The Romans adored pearls and decreed that only royalty and aristocracy were eligible to wear them. Later, the British Empire, two reserved pearls exclusively for royalty and nobility, although there was no royal decree to support that policy. Uh, the, the, exorbitant, the exorbitant cost of pearls made it beyond the reach of most people. However, today, thanks to Mickey Moto, the development of the culturing pearl process means that 
us mere mortals can own gemstones like this. We can um, absolutely appreciate these beautiful drop shapes, but consider this is formed in a living organism. Look how perfect those pearls are, Hannah. They, they are phenomenal, aren't they? This and recording, because we're so up close and personal, they are flawless in their surface nacre. They are, aren't they? They really are. Look at them. Really you like can the see the little, ones. there's one little hair. Can you see it? On the, sorry, I beg your pardon. No, 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 Adam, this isn't a criticism. Can you see there's a tiny little, little hair? You, could, start, you yeah. know what oh, magnification yeah. we're at here. So if there were any flaws or ble blemishes, it's actually quite good that we've got that little, little hair there. Um, because that shows how close we are. If there were any imperfections, if there was any thinning of the nacre, if there was, you know, some... Uh, I mean, I quite like the odd little characteristic on the surface of pearl because it does demonstrate that they are totally and utterly natural. But I, and I'm always very hesitant to use the word flawless. Flo these are organic gemstones. Very few pearls are completely flawless. However, I'm look what, what we're looking at under magnification right now is completely blemish-free. Would we all agree? Yes. I mean, they look stunning don't they they're, ju they're just they've got that beautiful sheen to them yeah as, they, as, they, as, they, as you can see all the reflections of all the lights above it as well so I think the fact that you've got that lovely reflective quality in there as well as that lovely sort of satin f feel it's kind of the best of both yeah it's they stunning. are flawless yeah now you get two pairs of white a pair of peach and a pair of purples which are natural in color they are half drilled so all you need to do is either glue your bale your wire your feather weight whichever however you're actually adorning these leave it overnight and you've just made such high-end jewelry and when you consider that you've got what eight perfect pearls in the lapeta greener drop shape often one of the most expensive shapes because of the you think about it you know, how i i can't answer this question i've actually put it to charlie baron in the past how does a pearl determine the shape you know, what makes a pearl drop shape? What makes a pearl spherical? What makes a pearl? I think Baroque pearls we kind of know. But what is it? is it? Is it the movement of the ocean? Is it the direction of the tide? Mm. I don't really know. Yeah, it makes but, you wonder. Yeah, I, I, I just, I, and he said, I don't know the answer. There's no answer to that question. The mollusk, ultimately, it, well, um, yes. yeah. determines, determines the actual shape itself. But they are one of the rarest. Even here, if we were to stop at 99.99, imagine yourselves walking down your local high street or in your uh, your closest city, or and you find um, you know some a lovely high-end pearl boutique jewelers or a jewelers which, which has got high-quality pearls. Imagine seeing that pair. I don't know any pair, whichever it might be, um, finished with a precious metal um, in the window. Would you think for one second that they were going to be 99 pounds? Because I wouldn't given the size of them and given the quality of them 99 pound for me hang on let me cover those is that pair for me if you're lucky as if well. i'm lucky yeah if Honestly, i'm lucky yeah remember you're not just getting one pair you're getting four pairs eight single pearls so this next price crash That makes them ten. You know, so ten pound a pair. I know, I know they're kind of like teardrop, but you could you could also argue they're, they're sort of like almost an egg shape. So maybe yeah. maybe instead of spending ten pound on on like somebody for Easter, you might want to make them oh, that's a, a nice pair idea. of incredible earrings. That's a lovely idea. Which we get to keep forever, and there's no calories. <laughs> Win-win <laughs> scenario. Yeah. Win-win scenario. Do you know that's what you've touched on something there? Because um, um, yeah, my little one's got to, got gifts off one of our, uh, my friend's uh, mum, and instead of giving chocolate, because she was like, they're going to get chocolate. Yeah, they'll get chocolate anyway. Uh, they got they got they got little coloring books and pencils and yeah. things like that, which I was like, love. What a great idea. That's nice. Uh, we could do the same as grown-ups, couldn't we? We could. We could do the same. <laughs> it, we're talking about £10 per pair, and these are genuine cultured pearls. And by the way, we are not... Are we not? No. <gasps> honestly, this deal is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> just to remind everybody, the quantity. We've got 149 of these available. And let's, 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 let's just shock Hannah. I'm going to show you what ta we're taking. Four no pairs. Way. Four pairs of drop cultured pearl earrings oh of this gosh. size of this quality 
Those are natural papayas. Those are natural purple. I think I'm shopping if there's any left now. Yeah. Oh, my goodness that's me. That's for all four. That's ridiculous. It is, isn't it? I so mean, you'd, amazing, you'd, but, you'd but ridiculous. A, you'd make a saving getting these instead of a, uh, yes. a chocolate egg. You would. You, you really that's would. That's the reality. And no crash diet for the summer holiday either. No, no, exactly. So can I just ask a question, Hannah? Is that what I just showed you? No, it's not. No. But there's no way near enough of you on the phone lines, though. Uh, look, I we can bring you we can bring you um, sort of kits and of course demonstrations um, of the most technically advanced pieces of jewellery. Sometimes when they are pearl perfection, you don't need them to be overcomplicated. Just pop a beautiful bale of choice, whatever precious metal if you wish, um, and there's your perfect pearl pendant or pearl earrings. Already multi buyers getting involved on this. Well, in 40 seconds, we're going to shock you. We've got 150 opportunities that might sign seem like loads not on a weekend it's not not when we're as busy as we are today um imagine these and again ultimate bougie imagine these on the bottom of a tassel like the oh wonderful elephant gosh. tassels that we've got coming up imagine putting pearls of this grade that would be amazing it absolutely would. amazing yeah those at the bottom of your tassel then you could have your baroque either side oh. and your elephant in the middle how fabulous oh my gosh i know what well, i didn't think those those, those that, necklaces that, that oh. needs to that needs to be brought to life somewhere, yeah, doesn't it? I think so. Good luck, everybody, is all I can say. Well done to those of you that shopped ahead nice and early. Those beautiful elephant kits are coming up at 12 o'clock, so make sure you're with us on those. But don't miss out on your opportunity to get hold of... The, I mean, look at the quality of them. You know, the nacre is equivalent to our skin. We expect there to be some kind of flaw or blemish. Not the case here. They are as close to perfection, I can positively imagine. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That's not per pair. That's for four pairs. Can we do the maths on that? Six pounds 25 per pair of genuine cultured pearls. I genuinely do not know any other business that will bring you pearls of this ilk, of this calibre, at six pounds 25 each. Yeah, not a uh, Sorry, per pair. Yeah. Not uh, even each. Yeah, I mean, that, that it's it's just, that's that's crazy. I mean, you, you just wouldn't. If you went into a high street and said, I'd like a pair of pearl earrings, I've got this much money. Uh, they'd laugh you out the shop. Of course they would. They really would. Of course they would. But you could make them. You look. You can get inferior quality pearls well, for yeah. an affordable price yeah. tag or yeah. plastic. Do you know what? Even even some of the plastic yeah. jewelry is that kind of price point and more. But there's nothing inferior about these. No. Hannah, Hannah was on. that the price I showed you? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Are we, are we actually going to go that low? Yes. I can't believe it. Yeah, in 60 seconds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the 150 quantity will not hang around. Let's just put it that way. You know, uh, it's simple jewellery making. This is the thing. Just a little bit of your hypo cement glue, a little bit of patience as well. Leave it overnight just so they can really bond it here. And you are making luxury. And all the more, you're making pearl jewellery, um, earrings, pendants, whatever you choose, um, bottoms of tassels, whichever, whatever it is, with the finest quality. We don't see drop pearls that often. And the reason why we don't is because they are rare. I, I know that pearls are effectively farmed. Culturing is farming them effectively. But we can't instigate the shape. We can't say, right then, lovely little mollusk, you amazing little creature that produces beautiful gemstones of the ocean. You, you, yeah, you there, you there, Stanley, the mollusk, you need to form a drop. Stanley? I don't know, I don't know where Stanley <laughs> came from. Stanley, right then, you there, <laughs> Ethel, Ethel. You're on the buttons, okay, lovely? You, this is not how it works. So you can set them to work saying, right, if you could Ethel, just produce that shape. Just the buttons today, lovely, all right? It's not how it works. Oh, Ethel and Stanley. Ethel and Stanley. Oh, I can see I like, them as a little mollusk li pair. Married couple, bless them. $19.99 only for four pairs of genuine cotton oh, pearls. Oh, they did it, they did it. Oh, my goodness me. How amazing is that deal? That, that is phenomenal. It really really is. If I had a bale with me, I would glue it on screen. These are the kind, I make pearl jewellery more than any other piece of jewellery because A, I know it's it's always popular with my friends and family. Yes. You know, it's the it's a kind of jewellery that I'm confident in actually making as well because I can't, generally speaking, fluff it up. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, it's it's professional. It's luxury jewellery. I mean, my, my, my friends and family, all right, they might know. It's going to cost me £6 something to buy these pair. 
Would it cost that if I was to go onto the high street there? Oh my gosh, no. Definitely not. Next time you're in your local Marks and Sparks, you see if you can get you can get plastic pearls for six pound fifty. I bet you can't. In fact, they're not even six fifty now, are they? What are they per pair now, Roscoe? Five pounds. Okay, five pounds. Five pound per pair of culture pills. Um, multi buyers, well done. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm going. I've got. I'm going to show you your early bird deal. I'm going to hide everything else because I don't want to spoil the rest of the show, obviously. So look, this is my star by sheet. This is what I get sent the night before. <laughs> and and Ross is saying genuinely, 19.99 was rock bottom price. He was saying, Al. He's got, I genuinely, generally, he, he thought 29.99 would be an amazing deal. He was comfortable there, but he was willing to take them to 19 pound 99. There's 149. However, we are a live TV show and we're going to be completely transparent and honest. Um, and, oh, I can't believe this. If we close the auction right now, this is going to sound ruthless, isn't it? But. It's almost a waste of airtime. Let me explain. Let me explain. We have 150 and only 45 have gone. Now, that's when we say that we are reactive. If not enough of them go, I mean, with we can do it sometimes. We can't always do it, obviously. Um, sometimes we have to cut our losses. I can't believe we're saying this, though, Ross. I'll be honest. Perhaps, and, and speaking personally, it's my responsibility to show you the items, to explain, you know, the rarity of the gemstones, the quality that you're actually getting. And from this, I would actually maybe, because I always try and sort of uh, um, self-critique, if you like, at the end of each show, maybe I haven't done a good enough job actually presenting them to you. Listen, and I'm not, I, that's not me fishing. Maybe that's the case. Um, generally speaking, maybe I haven't presented them well, well enough to you, because certainly we've delivered on the price i think definitely ross has done his part um but we are reactive that's what we always say we are reactive we kind of have to go lower if we can and by the way if you've checked out don't worry win-win scenario for you because you get this amazing deal as well it'd be pointless as closing the auction only 45 selling so let's go lower but please <laughs> oh my god are we working on like zero percent or something right now <laughs> yeah because we work on oh on, on minuscule <laughs> margins anyway sometimes we will take a loss we can't get it right every single time obviously no. um okay well that was your price we are going lower purely because and i'm being really honest with you purely because not enough of them are gone I can't imagine why you wouldn't want them either. I mean, if, you, if, you're, if you're making to sell, then your absolute best chance of making profit is to make earrings because there's so few components and mm. so little time involved mm. in making them that, that most of it's pure profit. And we tend to, as, as well, we tend to change our earrings more than any other yeah. piece of jewellery. Yeah. Because they're more affordable. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. so you should absolutely jump on it as a... As a, well, as an investment, if, you're, if, you're, if you have a business or if you're making because you want to make things for friends and family mm. or if you're making just because you fancy them yourself. And it's one size fits all. Exactly. Are you ready? We are reactive. That's, this is the thing. We are very different to your standard jeweller. Um, who don't, they don't just go, oh, okay, not a lot for these are sold today. So let's just, let's just <gasps> sell them off for oh, basically oh cost <laughs> effect. <laughs> uh, basically, we are very, very different. We are a live show. It costs us every single, believe it or not, every single word that we speak costs a huge amount of money to broadcast to you all. Um, but there we go. That's what, you know, it, it's all good. It's all good. You're getting one of the best deals ever. And that's, you know, I, I love it when opportunities like this, when we're always honest and always up front. Look, they should have sold out at 19 99 for whatever reason they haven't. Um, hello, Sally. All your pearls are so great. I'm always going to buy from you. And you're great as well, Aww. ladies. Likewise, Sally. You're great too, Sally. You, likewise, Sally. Thank bless you. your heart. I, I, pearls are the one gemstone that I probably buy the most from Jewelry Maker. Yeah. Um, and that has been the case for many and many years. You can see the quality on that recording the fact you can pick up that tiny minute little hair can't you um but that then I think gosh if i can notice that little hair mm -hmm. any yes. imperfection on the skin of the it's pills i would notice too you would 14 pounds and 99 uh, there we go 
I mean, what an amazing deal. Leslie, Rachel, Lorna, Oxfordshire, Karen, Susan. Well done, I can see you there, my darling. Uh, Jane, Pearl in Suffolk. You needed those, Pearl, didn't you? Cardiff, Dorothy, Suzanne, Derbyshire, Su uh, SJ, sorry. Uh, Jenny, Dorothy, Carolyn, Maya, new customers. You disappear off the bottom of the screens. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but do bear with our call centre. I know our Anne was in there earlier. I saw her. Oh, was she? Yeah. yeah she's yeah. probably at the bottom of the screen. So you're, Anne, the oh, there you are, yeah, Anne. Yeah, Tessa's there as well sorry what was that roscoe a minute to close the entire hour and um this auction as well so if you anything we've actually run over quite a bit but it's all good don't worry if we run over next hour it's all good don't worry um so we'll just go faster it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> but make sure you check out hello sj saying all my pearls come from jewelry maker and the quality and prices are fabulous uh, likewise I, yeah Fantastic. thank you for your message yeah i agree i think I, and i've said it so many times before haven't i um sj it's I think it's one of Jewelry Maker's greatest strengths, actually, our pearl buying. Um, prime example on your screens yes, right now. Yes, oh my goodness. 14.99. We had 150. We don't have that quantity anymore, believe me. If you've got a phone in your hand and you haven't been answered, don't abandon those calls just because we dive out of this hour. Um, if you've got a phone in your hand, you will be absolutely fine. Our call centre will get to you, I assure you of that. If they are in your baskets, though, you definitely do need to check out. Um, so, look at, I mean, look at the call screens. They've lit up. We are reactive. That's what we mean, basically. What I was trying to explain earlier on is, you know, if, if it's not going as fast as we had hoped or we envisaged it to go, and sometimes we've got to cut our losses. This is us significantly cutting losses. Well done. After the break, coming up with our lovely hand, we've got the most beautiful kit. We've got those interlocking rings, which is just mind-blowing that they are carved out of one single boulder. But it's not just in your jade. We've got some of your other favourite gemstones as well. Beautiful jewellery, inspiration. Check out your baskets back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa and there are already rumours that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the Quad A grade material and you're not going to want to miss these opportunities. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up. This Sunday, we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. <coughs> Welcome back there. We cough it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one, Mike's live. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> so professional, aren't so we? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, oh, this, uh, Hannah, both hours, your kits are stunning today. They're, they're lovely kits, aren't they? Really, really nice. I'm going to bring your pieces of jewellery over, actually, if okay. that's all right, because then we can take a, a, a closer look at, at each of these. And I know you didn't... We've got four kits. One you're demoing with, obviously. Yeah. Um, but oh, what is it straight away? I know what excites me about these kits. Okay. But I'm fairly sure it's going to be the same answer with you as well. But... Uh, what was it that you love first and foremost about it? Uh, well, I love the fact that you get two of these lovely interlocking ring components. So, I mean, the fact that they're so complicated to create yes. um, is phenomenal um, to have one, but then to have two in a kit, yes. which means we're going to be able to give you like re really good value on, on everything, is, is amazing. I just, I, I just, no matter how many times I see these components, I will never underappreciate the tech you know the, the, just how i don't know the, the correct word but how mind-blowingly difficult it must be to carve two interlocking links in a gemstone from one boulder you know it's different with things like your precious metal where you can open and close jump rings like chainmail can't you um, and solder them together so you can you know effectively cut it link it together and almost stick it back yes. together. Yeah. But when we're talking about a gemstone that forms in, in, in boulders or however they do, um, to actually carve them interlocking just blows my mind. It is amazing, isn't it? And that's why the likes of, uh, I can't remember which, which of the auction houses it was, but when they sold interlocking links, and granted it was 360s uh, all the way around the neckline, and a whole necklace oh, wow. carved out of interlocking links, it was millions, millions of pounds. Um, it just blows my mind how so, uh, you know a, a, a human being can create with that level of skill. Now, you're not just, sorry, you're not just getting, we've seen it in your beautiful jadeite. Guess what? We're going to bring it to you in your beautiful jadeite. But what is relatively new to our portfolio here at Jewelry Maker is actually the other gemstones. We hadn't, I don't think, maybe up until now, you might have seen them previously, I don't know, but not very often, had it in your amethyst, had it in your amazonite, had it in mookite carved interlocking links pretty cool isn't it unbelievable yeah. <laughs> and that becomes the feature of the piece doesn't it? it 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 really does i mean i think that's that's sort of the main focal point it that that is the sort of the bit that sings out as this yeah. this is something special um and then we've been able to team them with with gemstones of of, of the same um family or the same type and mm -hmm. then uh, it just makes the whole thing look really coherent and, and just wearable and uh, there's something sort of um kind of polished about it. Yeah, totally. You know? I, I, I was just trying to get my head around something else. Okay. Say they were man-made, these interlocking links. Mm -hmm. So say we were doing it in something like gold stone. That would even be tricky, wouldn't it? It's, it's still a complicated or a resin. thing to do because you can't, you can't open a, a link. No, a you'd have to do like a mould, wouldn't you? you? Yeah, you'd either have to create a, a, a mould but again, that would be quite a complicated thing. How do you create a mould? Because then how do you get it out of the mould? Yeah. 
if it's interlocking. It would be, it would be quite difficult. It's di I can't get yeah. my head around it. So, um, OK, well, without further ado, all four kits are available. Um, you're getting the strand. You're getting two of those interlocking links that we're just stunned by. And you're getting your silks as well. So I, I, I always love your jewellery, Hannah. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. By the way, says Ross, at the end of the hour, we've got the last remaining quantity of the launch that we brought, had um, uh, last week. The Type A Jadeite Vase carve, uh, Carving, sorry, uh, symbolic of lots of protection and fortitude. We were talking about all those wonderful words. And we've got the last remaining quantity, which there is not many. Um, yeah, and, and by the way, it's probably one of the most affordable master carvings that you've ever seen. So this is, we'll bring you the last quantity, probably the last time you'll see it here on, on Jewelry Maker as a channel. Um, it would be a lovely addition, I think, alongside your kit. So which kit would you like me to start with? Shall we start with the jadeite? Given the fact that this is type A jade and really probably is the first gemstone that certainly I ever saw um, with these interlocking links. Mm. That, that, that was that necklace that I was just referencing a few moments ago. So if I just reach for my tweezers and I'll pick, one, pick them up to show you um, just the fascination. If you haven't seen these before, try and get your head around the fact that this is carved out of one boulder of gemstone and it's done so by hand. You can't cut it and then re-solder gems together, obviously. Um, it has to be sort of done from, well, from, from, from that original rough. Just mind-blowing. You're not just getting the one, though, today. You're actually getting both of these amazing interlocking links. And you're getting your silk, your type, oops, your type A, uh, sorry, type A, sorry, your two meters, 0.7 millimeter, and that lovely emerald green. It's a gorgeous color, isn't it? Or imperial, it? which mm. seems a bit more apt. Um, a beautiful color. And you're getting the full strand of type A jadeite. Now, Ross, remind me, what are we taking this to? Okay, how about if I said this? The price that you might expect for the type A jadeite strand at Jewellery Maker, I need to emphasise, is going to be the price of the entire kit. Never mind the interlocking links, because those on their own, individually, should be more than what this kit's going to. How many do we have, though? Huh? This is probably the most exclusive kit I've ever brought to air. I, would, I was surprised that there were actually that many left because they, they, they absolutely flew but they were very very popular so we've managed to cobble a few together <laughs> there's 10 yeah that's it 10 of the jadeite we've got the amazonite the amethyst we've got i don't know the quantities of those off the top of my head but 10 of type a jadeite why are they exclusive because you've got your master carvings in these interlocking links that they, they are quite possibly and i'm no expert at all one of the most challenging carvings any master carver can embark on. You know, to create a, piece, a work of art, to create a form, if you like, I don't know, a phoenix or a dragon or something like that is amazing. And you have to obviously be an artist in its own, set, uh, in its own right. But there is something so fascinating about these interlocking links, so romantic about these interlocking links. There are 10 of them left in the vault. Once they are gone, they're gone. Sue, Sharon, Jackie, Maker and Sally, you're all there straight away. Amazing. You get two of the interlocking links. Again, if you've got in your head a price point that I... I our usual eight millimeter type A jadeite rounds go to. If you think about that price point, I'm going to tell you that the whole kit is going to that. Um, you know, we are already over allocated. Nobody has checked out yet. I get it. You're waiting for your price point. Here it is. Good luck, Claire. Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Sharon. Good luck, Jackie. Good luck, Maker. Good luck, Sally. Good luck, Lancashire. Good luck, London. I can't, I mean, we've brought eight millimeter type AJ yeah. like round strands at 99 pounds, haven't we? I wish we had more. There are so many of you there. 28 of you on the web want this. It's going to be first come, first serve. We can't say any fairer. Lancashire, the first one to check out. Amazing. I've got Nicolette there, Christine there as well. Um, there are names that I can't see. London, you've just got yours. Congratulations. So we're down to the final eight. There are people on the phone lines as well. There is always a little bit of a delay between uh, sort of real time and what we see here in the studio. Um, the reality is if we had 50 of these, they'd sell out. 
they would still sell out. Um, I can't believe, you know, if, 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 let's do the maths, just dividing it by the jadeite components. That's £33 per component for one of the world's rarest and most valuable gemstones in it, existence. It's amazing. Honestly, I'm, I'm in total awe of the people that can create such wonderful, yeah. uh, you know, interlocking links. And it's not just... Oh, that'll do. They are they are round links Perfectly as well, aren't they? And, and they're curved all the way through. They're not sort of flat on the inside. No. They are completely curved all the way around. And done by hand. They're so, so clever how they by do hand. that. By hand. Not machinery. You know, I, I, mean, I don't even know if a machine could do it, to be truthful. I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things that it's, it's, a, it's a true... Um, artisanal piece of, of 100 percent so the reality is that necklace that we were talking about that full cut of type a jadeite chain that was uh, you know exclusively made up of these type a jadeite links 360 degrees it justifies those the, the, uh, the oh, fortunes absolutely. that it fetched at auctions absolutely. um if we i've got three left london helen christine lancashire claire and sue you've done it there's also muriel angela mary nicolette sharon oh muriel you've just got yours well done angela uh, maker i've got sally have you got your sally's there as well i've got there's names i can't see as well you've got to remember there is always a delay on the um on what i see here on the call screens and what's actually happening in real time um down to the final two opportunities again you get both of those interlocking links it just blow my mind suja hello to you lovely good luck you can do it if you check out nice and early um there's one left you can still do it. Never let that put you off dialing through because the reality is it's going to get, it will only be allocated first come, first serve basis. Margaret, you could leapfrog every single name that I've said, you know, um, if it's in their basket. Um, Suja, you've, you, yeah, we saw your confirmation. So that's that final one. Margaret, you can take it. Angela, you can take it. I've got East Sus Oh, I can't. 31 of you with it in your baskets. Leah's there as well. We think it's sold out. Yeah, gone. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now, don't be too disappointed if you've missed out on that. Because the other kits are available on pre-order. Let, let me just show you first. So you've got... I'm going to show you this, uh, the Amazonite first. Because I love this one. Because it actually has the patterns of... They're fab, aren't they? Yeah. They get all the colour all the way through. That, again, that's very jade -esque, yes, isn't it? Yes, it does look quite jade -esque. Plus you get the strand and you get the silk. Um, that's coming up. If you look in front, just here, you've got your amethyst. Whoop, whoop, look at that strand. I know. <laughs> amethyst with the double um, interlocking rings. And then on this side of the board, you've got your beautiful mookite. Again, interlocking rings. 8 mil strand and also your silk. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those, but we're going to dive into the demonstration. Your type A jadeite has sold out, but there's opportunities uh, coming up. We're going to bring you the amethyst kits onto your screen. Um, oh, no, don't say that. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There's only 10. I'm so sorry. I was really hoping that you'd have a big quantity of these. Oh, my goodness me. Listen, it's ten. Ten's better than nothing. You just have to need to be quick, don't you? Oh, don't, Ross. <laughs> just you say I've got even worse news now, Al. <laughs> three have already checked out. That means we've got seven. I mean, well done to those three people. How amazing. Double figure quantity. Let's take this off the board so you can really appreciate the quality of that amethyst. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness me. 99.99. I'd, I'd be wearing this one with my outfit if it, if it didn't bash the, the mic, but because it's a long line, I can't. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit of you. Yeah, bit. yeah. It's just because I've got a little flash of purple in there. Even my nails are purple today. <laughs> what do you mean? Are we ready for our price? Was that not the price? Oh, oh. what are you okay. doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the quality of that amethyst. You could dive into it. It's so opulent, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, Again, I'm going to say, for me, I think that's the price of the strand and you're getting those two master carvings for free. Um, just literally, on my peripheral vision, I can see the call screens and I don't, ha I have, it's massively over allocated. You, but you need to check them out. Don't let that put you off dialing through. You saw some of the people that were successful in the last kit were actually some of the people that came in later on in the auction. So Susan in South Yorkshire, London, you've just got it. London's just got two. Another London's got it. Well done. So we've got, uh, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Muriel, you've just got yours. Amazing. How many left? One. Oh. Who's going to get the last one? I think it's gone. Okay, we'll do the Mukai. Okay. And then we'll dive into the demo. Okay. And then I'll leave the, um, the Amazonite still to come. Okay, don't you? Okay. So that's them sold out. Amazing. Now, we do have a bigger quantity of the Mukite, which is exciting. Have we ever done this? There's 20. I mean, 20. Let's uh, that's give myself a little bit of a slap on the back of the wrist here. Um, L, that's 20 master carvings here. Let's be honest. <laughs> slap, slap on the wrist, yeah. <laughs> The back of the wrist, well, I don't know where it came from. Um, again, but you know, the fact that we are talking about master carvings here. <laughs> <laughs> it's an L-ism, okay? It's like I always say, I don't say the early bird catches the worm. I always said the early bird catches the early worm. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Um, how beautiful. <laughs> There's 20 of these available. Well, the, well, the, well, let's be honest. The early bird, that, that worm was early as well, wasn't he? Bless him. True. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little worm. Um, so all the way to Western Australia, um, a gemstone which is um, solely found in Western Australia, nowhere else in the world. Um, even mukite, we can carve into these absolutely beautiful. And what I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my mind is that po quite possibly we sent these gemstones to our master carvers um, to see if they could actually... Uh, yeah, I think but because didn't we do it in jade first? Yes. And then it was kind of... What if Can we you do, do this? Yeah. How about you have a go going? with these gems yeah. as well? I love the Mukite one. At £69.99. pence. There's one of the amethysts remaining, by the way. The Mukite is flying also. You do get two of those interlocking links. You get that lovely, uh, like a taupe, isn't it? Or a mushroom uh, silk. And then you get your strand of your Mukite, eight millimetre rounds. I really like this kit. I think it's really lovely. I always think Mukite's one of the gemstones that can carry you through any season. Totally. It's because it's got that kind of sort of slightly boho vibe. Yeah. With it. You, can, you can totally go with kind of like, your, your, your sort of like maxi dresses and things in the summer. Yeah. You can team it with think, things like um, a carnelian or a popper. Oh, nice. or so, something, Ooh, turquoise. something quite striking and then of course you've got your, your autumnal colors then in winter it, it, if you team it with sort of warm sort of cognac -y colors maybe a bit of amber something like that and you get that lovely warm glow oh, you're making my taste buds and then, go and then in springtime I, I think it's kind of like it's sort of like the the evolution right, where, where you're when you're coming out of of sort of um it, you know, it's, it's sort of like the change of season. So you can put it with different types of green and that, mm. and that works really well as well. Mook out for me, I do, this, yeah, I mean, I love the okras. It's one of my yeah. favourite colours. My husband always says, oh, yeah. You know, if we go shopping, which is very rare these days, but if we yeah. go... I, like if I gravitate towards okra colours, yeah. I love it. Like I've got a that's like a, me with my, teals and turquoise. Yeah, and like, like, you, you don't even realise you're <laughs> yeah. doing it. Like I've got a woolly hat that's this colour, you know, and I wear it all the time, all the time. You just gravitate towards it, don't you? Forty nine ninety nine. Only we have what twenty uh, or had twenty. Um, so beautiful, and you are getting the two of those master carvings. You've still got the Amazonite kit to come. You can shop ahead as well on your Type A jadeite uh, vase. Hugely auspicious in Chinese culture. Um, so that's coming up as well, lovely jewellery makers. Make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. Amma's night coming up, but Hannah, over to you. Okay. What are you going to show us? Uh, well, I was going to show you uh, kind of both techniques, if, it, if that's all right. Although I think my colours of what I've got with me might not be as happy as I'd like them. But so okay. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of knotting. Love and thread. then the um, uh, the other one, I've just used um, beading thread and seed beads over the top to, to sort of embellish it. So I, I, if I've got time, I oh, think I see. So the yeah, yeah, of so course. I've, I've, I've doubled it up so you can see both of the loops. But that that. So the, the amethyst is what uh, is, is is beaded. That's beading thread. And yeah. then these are knotted. And then that one's knotted. Yeah. 
and this one's knotted as well. But so there's, so like, you don't have to do the, the pearl knotting if you don't want to, or the or the gemstone knotting. You can just thread it. Um, so I can show you both techniques. Okay. On the same thing, I think. So I've started off. I've taken my cord completely off the um, the piece of card it was on. It comes with a, a needle already on there, which is nice and flexible. Um, and I'm going to start off. I'm going to thread through one of my mukite beads, and then I've got um, some little bicones from my stash, but. You don't have to use these, I just like to have a bit of an alternation. So you thread those almost to the end of your thread. And don't do it that quickly because it will tie itself in a knot, which is not what we want. So thread that down there, leave a bit of a tail. And then you're going to loop this through one of your um, interlocking loops. You could put a little bit of French wire on there if you want to, to protect it. You might want to see the colour of the thread. In this case, I quite like the fact that it's, it's all tonal. Mm. Um, and then I'm going to go back through that bicone that I've put in there. Hopefully. If it'll let me, come on. It's fighting back, but it will fit. I've just got to persuade it. Because you start off with a lot of thread, obviously, you've got to be careful it doesn't um, knot itself as you come through. Just pulling that through and trying to keep this side from turning itself into a knot where you don't want it. Pass that down to there. And then that can be, you don't want it really, really tight. You want a little bit of movement there. And then with this end, without um, unthreading your uh, mukite from there, you want, you want to tie a knot. So if you use your mukite as your threader almost, just a simple overhand knot there. Keeping that on there. Tie that in a little knot. Um, it's a good idea to put a little dab of glue on that knot before you trim away the tail end. And then you're gonna pass your um, needle back through the mukite here. The reason why I've, I've left it on there instead of just threading it on is sometimes um, if you're working with something that's got a smaller drill hole, it's quite difficult to then thread through. Um, so if it's already on the thread, you know it's going to fit. So I'm just going to pull this through. Like that. So you have a little knot there and you have your tail end here. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to use a T-pin. You could, you could use a, a sewing pin if you like, but I just, I just think these are a bit more secure. Um, and then I'm going to put the whole thing as an overhand knot like that and through and onto my T-pin. And then I can pull that gently. So you want the knot as close as you can to um, your gemstone. And then move that tail out of the way and then thread on your next bead. So because I'd be alternating, this would be a bicone going on. So I'm just going to thread that one on. Really, I'm having to be careful that it's not um, making itself a little knot the other side, like that. And then you use your um, bead that you've added on to then push that knot. So you can pull the pin out. You use the, the gemstone or the bead or whatever to push that knot into position. And then again, you might want to add a little dab of glue to that point because those, those two knots are the ones that kind of hold everything together. Um, and then the rest of it is, is alternating and you're, you're adding a bead and you're making a little knot. So you can do a little overhand knot, put everything through it. Use your T-pin again. Put that bead as close as you can. Oh, shall I move that up a little bit? Sorry, I just realised the graphics are hiding it a bit. So you can see it's there. So you're holding on to your... Um, T-pin and your bead at the same time, and then you pull that as close as you can, give it a little wiggle. And then before you take the pin out, you're gonna add your next gemstone. So you've got this gorgeous, classic, kind of deep burgundy red color. That's the next one. And again, you're then gonna hold, I, I, I actually, I would never really say, I, I always loop the, the sort of the thread around my finger as well, so I'm kind of, I'm pulling the thread and pushing the bead at the same time. Mm. And then push the bead as you take the pin out. And then what you'll find is that as long as you keep doing that, that the tension of all of these little knots in between should be about the same. 
um, you'll have a slightly larger knot for the second one because that's where you've, you've doubled it and glued it and then all the rest will be the same as the first one. So again, the next one, you just do your overhand knot, pass everything through it, take your T-pin and again, I like to hold the bead and the top of the T-pin, just, that's just how I find it easy to do it. And then make sure that, that little knot's as close as it can be before you then start to work your next bead on. And again, because I'm alternating, I'm now going for a bicone. You don't have to alternate, you could just use, you just use all the, the mukite, but I like a bit of bling. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop that in there. And again, I'm just gonna push that as I pull the pin out so that the knots are all nice and uniform. So when your glue's dried from there, you can trim that away and you keep knotting until you get the length of, of whatever you like on the one side. Alternatively, you can use some beading thread. So I could probably do that on the other side. I think I've only actually got, oh, actually, hang on, there might be. This is me just being fussy because I was thinking I've got some of the, the beading thread that is in like sort of the sort of goldy color. Whilst you're doing that, Hannah, shall I do the Amazonite kit? Sure, I'm just hunting that for a crimp sense, bead. You're, yes, what yes. Are you looking for? I've, I've, um, I was looking for a crimp bead. I found one. That's ah, great. There and, you go. And a little crimp cover. So don't worry. Well, I tell you what. While you're doing that, I'll bring the Amazonite kit to air. Um, love, and I think this. I think this one's going to be the most popular, or one of. You know, um, they are all colour, natural. Yeah, I adore Amazonite. And then you've got these beautiful, quite Larimar esque, I think. Especially this one, because it actually has some of the other colorations that you see within Amazonite. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it, 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 you can see that wonderful glow that we've uh, referred to previously. Um, so you're getting your eight millimeter strands, you get the two interlocking links, and then you get this lovely cobalt blue um, in your natural silk as well. I should mention, because I haven't done so as of yet, come on, how naughty you are, this one there, um, that these are uh, these are pre-threaded. So for those of you, if you're like me, and threading a needle is a proper Achilles heel, then don't worry, they're pre-threaded. Um, and this silk is your 0 0.6 millimetres. So all of them will go through the drill holes? Um, yeah, so I, I, when I first did these kits, I had a little, I did a knot. Yeah, I had a little play. With that one. Um, and that one, because the, because the silk is um, quite fine, um, I would double it up if you can. So, yeah. so when you're doing the knots, you're using two, two threads at the same time to, to make a slightly bigger knot, um, just because the drill holes in the Amazonite is quite, quite generous. So either that or, or put um, smaller beads in between. Lovely. OK, there you go. £49.99 uh, for, uh, for the Amazonite kit. Amazing. Back to you, Han. OK, so if you don't fancy doing the knotting, but you have got some beading thread, You'll need um, a crimp bead, you'll need a crimp cover. I'm hoping that's an open one. Um, see, this is the bit I was at slightly, it's, it's making my teeth itch. The, I, I, these colors aren't, aren't quite the color I, I would want to go with it, but that's what I've got for the kit that I'm demoing later. So I'm <laughs> using those as my example. Don't worry. So I'll tell you what, I was just thinking, Han, we've got yeah. Tiger's Eye coming up later on. Oh, at the 10 o'clock hour. That How would nice, look amazing. This, there'd be nice additions to this kit. It kits, really would. They? Yeah, Tiger's Eye and Mukai look fabulous together. Um, we have got base metal crimps if you want to put them sure, on the screen. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. We can do that, so just if shall you... I, shall I... Yeah, shall carry you, on, yeah, yeah. Then? So I'm just going to add a crimp um, on first. And then what <coughs> I wanted to do, rather than having the, um, the beading thread showing, um, I don't like the, the beading thread as much as I, I like the, the actual cord, I was just going to add some seed beads on. So I've got some 11 o seed beads that I'm just using as embellishment. So I, I did the same thing on the um, amethyst necklace. Um, and you can just see where it goes through the loops. It, it just adds a little bit of um, detail. I can't remember how many I've put on there, actually. I could probably count them. So Do you want me to pass six. it down? Yeah, just so, just so I get the see. same. So I just want to see how many beads I've got here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is that five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? About twelve, I think. We don't physically have the crimp bead covers um, here in the studio, um, but... They're on your screens right now. So they, there they are. We've got a photograph we can show you. Two ninety nine. That's one hundred. Not not how many you count there. That's oh oh yeah. That I mean they always make me think of Pac Man. Do yeah, you Pac Man. I, 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 I do. I do. I'm showing our age now. Huh? Oh, I know. Or well, Ms. Pac Man. Is she the first? Yes. Yeah. We also have the crimp beads as well. So what you use in the middle. So you yes. have the crimp beads and then the crimp bead couple. Yeah, so so they got, pay attention to the graphics and they'll be on your screen. Yeah, so the crimp bead goes on first, then you put your, your beads on, and then if it's not enough, you can just change it at this point. So you loop this through your 
um, gemstone hoop and you need to make sure that if you fold it over, there's enough um, to join so, mm -hmm. so that the hoop can still move slightly. I think I might add a couple more actually on this one. It's a bit snug. It's a bit snug. You want, you, I just think you want the, the movement because it just shows off the fact that you've got that beautiful chain. So that's better because it's not quite so tight. Um, and then you can pass that through your crimp bead and pull it. And then using crimping pliers, which I've buried under the box here. Hang on. All faithfuls. Um, I'm going to crimp that into place. So you use the crimping pliers. We've got two sort of notches in the jaw. You use the one with the groove in first and then the one without second. And that sandwiches it shut. So you end up with this lo lovely sort of join. Mm -hmm. I think I've probably actually done that too tight to get the crimp cover over it, but I'll try. So then you pop your little Pac-Man, <laughs> your crimp cover, um. over the top. Yeah, I think I've probably done it slightly too tight. So, there, so there's a, a learning curve for you. If you are going to use these, you, you don't want these to be quite so flush. So I think I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna force it because I don't want to break the seed bead. So in this instance, I'll leave that one off. So I see what you mean, do the, do the, the, the crimp a little bit further yeah, away so, from... Yeah, so it's not quite so snug. And, yeah. then, and then you have a little, little bit of a gap for the sort of like the, the sides of the, the crimp bead cover yes. to come a, around the crimp then. I see. So That's there you go. A, I would definitely so make that mistake. This is, it's one of those things. It's like, even if you've done it for years, sometimes you, you just make silly things like that happen. So then you trim away the tail end and then it's just a case of threading. So if you're going to use um, your bicones again, again, you just thread those on and then that can be followed with anything you like. So one of your mukai beads and then another of your bicones and it's, you just alternate until you get to the end. So that's two different ways of getting the same kind of look um, but it just, it's up to you how you want to tackle it, whether, I could probably trim that away, take a risk, because I've not glued it, and just trim that bit away so you can see what it's supposed Ooh, to look like. 199 for your crimps, I need some crimps, I'll be getting some of these today. So, yeah. They're so, essentials, aren't they? They are, they are, absolutely, so you've got, to, yeah, your two options, so, so you're threading or you're knotting, and it's up to you which way you want to go, and they all look fabulous. Beautiful! As per usual, Hannah, oh, nice. absolutely amazing jewellery. And nice to be able, well, to see both actually from a just a, a traditional yeah. beading perspective, but options. also you're knotting yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, fabulous, right then. Um, let me just uh, re remind you, because we obviously were talking about the Yopalite coming as your deal of the day at 10 o'clock. It is still your deal of the day, um, but we've had to delay it one hour. So Yopalite is launching today at 11 o'clock. Um, first time ever in these absolutely beautiful, beautiful Yopalite towers. Um, so there they are. This is a magical gemstone that has this amazing ability to fluoresce yeah. under UV light. You know, I mean, uh, hang on, let me put my hand behind so you can actually see that. How incredible are those towers? So they're launching for the very first time. And we've got your Yopalite in strands of rounds, obviously, that you saw on that recording. But we've also got them in these really lovely... I don't want to describe them as rondelles because they're much larger than your traditional rondelle. More like a drum. Yeah, that's a perfect description. So they're coming up now at 11 o'clock as opposed to um, as opposed to 10 o'clock this morning. Um, but we've got lovely tiger's eye coming up at 10 o'clock. So don't you worry. Now, um, remember, last remaining opportunity for you to get hold of that um, hugely auspicious type A Burmese jadeite vase carving that we launched probably only a few days ago i think it was it was one of our beautiful beautiful early birds we were talking about the meaning and the sentiment behind the vase itself you know um it's all very very positive one of the most auspicious uh, symbols if you like in chinese culture so you can pre-order and shop ahead on yours to guarantee your success that is the last chance saloon on that one but you'll notice yes i do um now it is different. These are these are Kotan. Ooh. One of them's Jadeite, which I'll bring in a second. But the ones I'm about to bring you is Kotan. So the most historic location of source of jade in the world. Now remember, and I've described this many a times before, if you consider like a family tree, you've got Jade as the family surname, and then you've got the two children underneath, one's Jadeite, one's Nephrite. That's the difference. They are gemologically, chemically very different. 
um, but it's that surname, if you like. Um, Nephrite is the original jade. It's the oldest jade, and it was Khotan, the location that, that um, we originally sourced this amazing gemstone. Um, it's my personal favorite. I love Khotan jade. You get this amazing translucency, as you can see. Now, these going back to your interlocking links, I, I mean, oh, seriously, wow. you're not just getting interlocking links here, which is exciting enough on its own. These are interlocking hearts. Uh, I, I just adore this. Oh, I mean, I, for me, even if you make no jewellery whatsoever, can you imagine that just suspended from a chain? I mean, it, that's all you'd need to do, wouldn't it? Just loop a chain it's through. just so beautiful. How lovely for something like an anniversary or oh, a birthday yeah. or a wedding yeah. gift. Jade is a, a, a wedding anniversary, isn't it? I forget which one it is, but it's, it's one either. of the... It's one, it was one of, I think, I want to say 35 years for some reason, married, but to actually give Jade, how beautiful, again, well, wow, I'm amazed I got that right, but yeah, 35 years um, is your, is your 30, yeah, 35th anniversary is Jade. Look at how beautiful that translucency is, the quality of the jade eye. But then I should, I guess we should expect that when you've got master artistry like this. I can't, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I bought these on the first launch that I, I adore them. Haven't worn them as of yet. It's one of those pieces that um, I've sort of put in my, in my special box. We're no way near closing here. It is type A grade. You get that beautiful, beautiful, more of an oily luster to your Kotan jade than you would see in your Burmese jade um, so quite reflective and with the same with sentiments it almost looks physically wet I've got nine available you know we're not stopping at 49 pounds uh, so four, 499 pounds not we could do that's an amazing price for Kotan jade which is which by the way um, there was rumors that the mining the mining was closing within about eight years there is also rumors now that it's done so um, I don't want to say anything definitive as of yet, but there is usually no smoke without fire in the gemstone world. £129 only um, for the final eight opportunities. Valerie, well done, lovely. Multi-buying on this. Sue in Edinburgh, absolutely incredible. Mary, Sharon, and I've got an anonymous maker too. I just love the idea of this as, um, you know, things like, I don't know, Father's Day. Mother's Day. Yeah, I mean... Memorial jewellery. Yeah, I mean... All of those it's, it's things. It's one of those things, isn't it? It's like, because it's a heart, it, it, you, so you can much connect meaning. it to so many different things. You totally you? can, you know. Uh, you know it's, it's, it's what... Or you, I don't know, this is so giftable. Hearts, stars, flowers, we always say it, but hearts in particular are so relatable, aren't they? Yes. And jewellery is sentiment, isn't it, at the yeah. end of the day? So I think this is going to be put, uh, attracting many of us for, for lots of different reasons. Five of these remain. Make sure you check out your baskets. Um, and we've, already, we've always said, you know, whether it be nephrite, whether it be jadeite, it's incredibly difficult to replenish the stock that we once had that we acquired during the pandemic. Um, so to be able to continue to bring you opportunities like this are becoming more and more and more challenging. Those beautiful interlocking hearts. I might have to get another one of these. I, c I can imagine this would be nice just with a slider bracelet either side. It, it would be lovely, actually, like that. Just, just nice just and simple. On the wrist. But then you get, you get to see it all the time as well, yeah. don't you? Because it's, it's sort of in front of you. Oh. Three of them left. Um, good luck. Suja, well done to you. Mary, uh, Durham, I can see you there. Edinburgh, new customers, congratulations. The final three. By the way, when we first launched them, we had over 100 of them available. And this is the only hearts that I have, by the way. I've got the interlocking links, but they're not hearts. So if you want to, the hearts in particular, um, then now is the time, really, to make sure that you uh, secure yours. Oh, I'm already shopping today, so I think it's yeah. one of those. You could add them to the jade eye kit as well. If you if you got oh, the, the one with the jade lips, you, you can have more. You know, more like your multi million pound necklace that you were talking about with oh. it with the multiple links through. Oh. I mean, how wonderful would that be? Amazing, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. I'll leave those final two there. Good luck. Okay. Oh. This colour is 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 unbelievable. And I know the novices talk about colour. Well, I am an I am a novice in jadeite. But this colour is so beautiful. And obviously the translucency in the fine crystal um, enables us to appreciate it all the more. Can I be a little bit unconventional and maybe do this? Ooh, I like it. Imagine those. As earrings. Fabulous. 
I don't know if they've got this in their portfolio, but if you were to pop along to go on online, have a look at somewhere like uh, Pillar and Stone or Mason and Kay or any jadeite specialist, I bet for certified natural type A Cotan jade of this caliber with this translucency, with this intensity of apple blossom green, I... I'm so confident that it wouldn't be anywhere near the price that you're about to see here at Jewelry Maker. These are legacy opportunities. Opportunities that, the East has always treasured this gemstone, hailed it as one of the most valuable commodities, but we are appreciating it now. Aspreys, remember now, it's all about jade, isn't yeah. it, at the moment? Yeah, yeah. You know it's not stopping at £499. Look at that translucency, though. You can almost dive into these beautiful nephrites. Um, it's probably one of the, the most translucent nephrite jades I've actually held here um, with the most incredible natural colour. £129 only. You can get them home today for £43 on your split payment. Again, just looping it onto a chain. You've got such luxury there. Um, so eight carats of just craftsmanship. Um, yeah. Really? How come? Okay, Ross is saying, look, the last of stock, L, there's nine available. Let's just do a closeout deal. Oh, my gosh. Did you actually say that? I did. On Cotan Jade. Mm. <laughs> I remember the first time we ever brought Cotan Jade. Cotan specifically. The Sally Hewer Cotan, yes. do you remember? Yeah. And it was not £129. Lots of money. Lots. Lots. Yeah, of lots. Money. An amazing price, amazing. don't get me yes. wrong. But it was not £129. And it most definitely was not under £100. Ooh, Today, purely because we have a limited quantity. You've got to remember, we're about to, what, tiptoe into April, which I can't believe that, can you? Um, that April, what comes after April? May. What happens in May? Jewelry maker's birthday. Woo -woo. We need, <laughs> we need those vault locations. So eight is not a viable quantity. It is essentially a month away, isn't it? Just shy of... We start it on the 4th of May and we bring you usually, I, I think this is still the case, yeah, it's like, it's like a, a week of celebrations. How amazing. We need those vault locations. So tell you what, you're getting a major closeout deal on one of the most luxurious pieces. That level of translucency, that level of artistry. Remember what, um, what, we, the, what the head jadeite expert over at Sotheby's actually said once upon a time you are looking for that wow factor these are wow wow in so many uh so many levels the final three good luck everybody again super busy this morning remember your upolite is coming up at 11 o'clock now as opposed to 10 o'clock we just had to push that deal of the day back um ever so slightly but believe me it's worth the wait i'll leave the final three there amazing amazing don't forget as well you've got last remaining opportunities to get hold of your beautiful type a jadeite vase um, this is available on pre-order so you can absolutely shop ahead two more auctions one of the most auspicious symbols in chinese history uh, but not yet you can secure yours ahead of that opportunity um, okay let's do i love this one I, I, I think you need to put them all next to each other so you can see the difference in the, we in can the, do in that, the types huh? of jade. We can I think they that. look fabulous together. So yeah, I know it's you know it's a bit fancy to go like it, but but if you can. Oh I mean you just would, wouldn't you? Oh my goodness me, can you imagine? I mean I just think they look fabulous together. Now we're talking about this one right now. Now, have you ever heard the terminology spinach green? Mm, yes. Spinach green to nephrite cotan jade, which is what this is, is what imperial green is to jadeite. It's yes. the most valuable colour. So on that basis, this one here should be 699. Yes, it should. We have had literally a handful of spinach green cotan jades, and that in itself is exciting. When we launch these interlocking links, oh, they look beautiful together, don't they? I think they look fabulous. I really do. Oh, look at that. 
at £149. Ross is saying, L, I launched these. Yeah. At £149. <laughs> oh, I know. I see where this oh, is going. I know where that's going. But Liam <laughs> covered a shift. Yeah. Is Liam in the in the gallery? Hi, Liam. We can't see you can't behind see the graphics. You. Come and say hello. There he is. Is Ross oh. about to throw you under the bus? He says <laughs> he is, but he doesn't care. What did Liam do? Never been lower than 149. Leo, uh, Liam skips in. <laughs> there are eight available. What did he do? What did Liam do? I, I, I'm go? guessing I was part of this as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a third off. Spinach green to your Cotan jade is what Imperial green is to your Burmese jade. Yeah, as long as we appreciate just how... Yeah, that is a naughty price point, to be honest. They look lovely together, and I get yeah. that that's quite an indulgence. You know, that is an investment, but it's an investment on top quality, great yeah. jade. Yeah, um, How beautiful. The final six. Right now, I'm showing you this beautiful one, right? Uh, I mean, at £99. If you want to get the others, they may still be available. I don't know. Um, but make sure you check out nice and early. It's just fascinating to appreciate that these are carved out of one single boulder one single boulder these interlocking links you can't just it's not like chain mail where you open and close them um job done that this is literally carved out that single boulder and the uh, one of the most valuables if not the most valuable material on our planet's existence valerie well done to you air show well done to you i've got maker wanting seven i don't we haven't got seven sharon mary and sue i've got london there as well i mean i'm gonna say something which I wouldn't personally do remember Dave's recommendation is don't sell your jade right now. The market is, it, it, it's skyrocketing. It's growing. So, yeah. yeah, it's growing on a, um, on, on a daily basis. So, um, it's, of course, we're not going to tell you what to do. But at this present moment in time, even if you got this home and sold it immediately straight away on, I'm guessing you could charge more. Well, you should charge more than what's on your screens right now. Should have been 149 before Liam skipped along. <laughs> Ah, it's taken under £100, he says. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well done. Final few. Um, let's bring you the jade out ones because I haven't yet done that. Um, so nice additions again, Hannah, to your yes, kits. Yes, to the kits. <clears throat> Fabulous. The vase is bit. coming up with one um, um, in one auction's time. Yeah, if you wanted another link. So if you want, Well, depending on the budget and things, if you fancied going for the earrings as well as the, as the uh, necklace. Oh. I mean, I, I know it's a bit indulgent, but why not? If you can, then... If you can, why not, indeed? 10 carats of jadeite. So the, the previous ones were, of course, nephrite. Um, I think you either, I don't know, I don't know, that's a generalisation I was about to make. I was like, do you, do, do you either prefer jadeite to nephrite or nephrite to jadeite, or do you just both love, love both? I don't, they don't differentiate between the two over in China. They just call it jade. It's just jade, yeah. yeah. So they don't actually differentiate. I suppose it's if you're drawn to different sort of depths of colour and things like that. And I translucency. Mean, personal preference. How many do we have of these then, Ross? Eight left. Okay, yeah, that's not a quantity that's uh, that works for us. 79.99. Now, hang on a minute. Nephrite... Nephrite is older, but it is more abundant. Not so much Cotan, but Nephrite... Is, is more abundant and it mines, it's mined in a few locations around the world. Jadeite is younger, but it is far rarer. And furthermore, the, the Burmese mine is, is closed. It's closed. It's closed. Yeah. So seriously, how are we doing this at 79.99? Or you can get hold of it on your split payments as well. The final six, um, again, well done, Valerie. Well done to you, Cheshire, multi-buying, Sharon, Maker. Evelyn, hello to you in Suffolk. Nice to see you. Gloucestershire, I can see you there as well. Um, the final four... The final four, we have got some beautiful opportunities still to bring you between now um, and the top of the show. We've got an amazing masterclass, beautiful showcase with Dave. We've got Tiger's Eye. Um, but right now, star by, I loved launching this amazing piece. And um, we are talking about one of the most auspicious symbols in Chinese culture and history. It's Taipei Burmese Jadeite, hand carved. But you would imagine that actually, given something as miniature as this, that maybe the detail wouldn't quite be so perfect as your master carvings. 
not the case. Up next, the final opportunity, final 58, to get the Chinese vase. So, yeah, a couple, mm, beginning of this week, was it? I think it was. Beginning of this week, we launched this amazing, um, uh, this amazing carving. And again, uh, just to touch on it, because I'm blown away by master carvings. This, the level of artistry, the amount of skill that goes into creating these works of art. It's, you know, it's amazing just to see, see artwork on, on a canvas, if you like. But imagine literally creating a work of art in a gemstone that is one of the most valuable materials that exists, one of the world's rarest gemstones that exists. It's physically as hard as steel, and you've got to literally carve it in an abrasive manner. It just blows my mind. So, I mean, I appreciate that on your master carvings, those sort of amazing kind of uh, medallion-like pieces that we bring to you on a regular, well, not, not regular basis, but um, scale that down. Do you think that becomes easier or do you think it becomes harder? Yeah. Hard. It's got it's to be got harder. To be it's harder. More, more fiddly. You've got to be so sure that you're getting it right. More breakages, I should yeah, imagine. I, I would think so. And then the end goal is to actually to carve something that is auspicious in Chinese culture as the vase itself. Let's see if I can hold this. Here we go. Now, there is a drill hole there for you to secure your bale, not directly onto it, yep, if you sure. wish. So what does the symbol of the, the vase mean in Chinese culture? Well, you might have noticed it on uh, um, Chinese silks. You might have seen it in different paintings. You certainly, well, right now, are seeing it in their most treasured and prized uh, of gemstones. Well, like I said, it's hugely symbolic. The Chinese symbol, the vase, yeah, in Chinese symbology um, is robust for peace or safety because the words of vase, ping or for peace, pingang, are pronounced the same. And a vase which holds flowers from all seasons symbolizes peace throughout the year. A treasure vase is also one of the eight auspicious symbols of Buddhism. Gourd-shaped vases take on further meaning. Although they were literally used to contain medicines, in Chinese belief, the word itself mean, uh, holds meaning. The word of gourds, hulu, seems to, uh, to have a relationship with the words for protection and blessings. There were other word, words that we were discussing as well during the launch of this at the beginning of the week, weren't we? We were talking... What was it, Ross? Can you remember? Um, can anyone... No, the other words that we connected to the vase itself, rectitude, blessings. So, you know, this is a new sentiment, hugely, hugely sentimental. So this is a gourd shape, so it has those blessings, rectitude, meanings behind it. We also spoke about, we also spoke about Confucius. Now, Confucius is the first ever teacher, they believe, historically. Philosopher. And, uh, yeah, philosopher, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And they believe that he started the actual profession itself. Um, he spoke about jade. So we've spoken about the meaning of the carving. Let's talk about the meaning of the actual gemstone. Um, so in the second century, a Chinese dictionary, Xu Wen Shi Zhu, excuse my pronunciation, gives the following definition of jade and its believed attributes. Jade is the fairest of stones. It is endowed with five virtues. Charity is typified by its luster, bright yet warm. Rectitude by its translucency, revealing the color and markings within. Wisdom by its purity and penetrating quali quality of its note when the stone is struck. Courage in that it may be broken, but it cannot be bent. Equity in that it has a sharp angles, but yet endures none. And we're going back to the second century talking about this amazing gemstone. Confucius himself, though, and we have his words. Ross? <laughs> There you go, thank you. Um, Chinese people love jade not only because of its aesthetic beauty, but also because of what it represents regarding social value. Um, in the Book of Rites, Confucius said that there are 11 virtues represented in jade, benevolence, justice, propriety, truth, credibility, music, loyalty, heaven, earth, morality, and intelligence. 
The wise have likened jade to virtue. For them, its polish and brilliancy represents the whole of purity. Its perfect compactness and extreme hardness represents the sureness of intelligence. Its angles, which do not cut, although they seem sharp, represent justice. The pure and prolonged sound which it gives forth when one strikes it represents mu music. We are going back centuries I, and centuries ago. ago. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's incredible. And we're about to bring you an opportunity, not just to own the meaning of the auspicious vase, the blessings, the rectitude, you know, all of those, those sentiments, but the meaning behind the gemstone. When we launched this, we had, was it 250 opportunities? Do you want to know how popular these were? And this is only the beginning of the week. I've got less than 50 today. Not everybody wants the big carving yes yeah. and i get it look i've i love big statement jewelry as i know you I do, do as well yeah. hannah but sometimes it's not practical on a day-to-day -day basis yeah yes you yeah. Don't see if, that. <laughs> yeah if you're looking for something that is a little bit smaller well Elegant. you said about it today actually didn't yeah. you then this is prime mm. if you weren't with us at the beginning of the week um i don't think you have any idea what we're about to take this to the meaning behind that beautiful gourd shape the vase itself um, the fact that these are, I mean, you, they could be individual charms, couldn't they? It could be an individual pendant. It could be earrings. Even here, bearing in mind that right now we know, that, you know, what's going on. We know the mine is closed. We know we literally cannot replace our, our, um, our, our jaded opportunities. Um, well, ugh, we may well get an opportunity. We'll always endeavour to, of course. But the price is not going to be reflective. Unfortunately, if we buy jade out right now in the market, we're going to be paying considerably more than what we did with this original yes. parcel. Yes. Considerably more, because we're not exempt from price surgences in price, uh, and, and closure of mines. So even here at 99.99, 99 even, not even the 99. If you weren't with us at the beginning of the week, we are going to surprise you. We're going to show you a price point that you're not going to pay for the sentiment, the meaning behind the beautiful Chinese vase. The meaning behind your Taipei Jadeite. This is not <gasps> your price. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I know. That's not the price. Not the price. Can you understand why over 200 of these went? Wow, yes. The beginning oh, of the week. Me. We've got a bigger audience on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We always do. That, that is... Phenomenal. That is not the price. I'm going to give you a 60 second warning. For 15 carats of type A Burmese jadeite, a hand carved auspicious Chinese vase, auspicious gemstone, jadeite yes. translates to heavens. There is a very good reason why over 200 of these sold, not just because of its beauty, not just because of its history, not just because of its rarity in the gemstone. And it's almost vulgar to say this out loud, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna, over 200 of these flew out the door because it was under 20 pounds for one of the most valuable commodities that exists on our planet. That's the reality. Diamonds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, you know, I could name countless different gemstones, are, are, are more affordable. There's more available. This is one of the top 10 rarest gemstones in the world. And we go, I'll tell you what, just give us 20 quid. <laughs> just, just get some perspective. Today. I'm nervous. Oh, my goodness, me! <laughs> that's a long way under £20. Yeah, and I, I said at the time, Hannah, I was like, this has to be one of the most affordable jadeite carvings we've oh, ever done. Do you know what? But I love By that. hand. Because it makes it... So So there are some people who, who have the means to, to, to get the big master carvings, things like that, and some that don't. This yeah. is lovely because it means everyone has a chance Everybody to, gets to the chance. own that gemstone. And it's it's one of those oh. pieces that you could wear on a regular basis. You, you really know? could, yes. It's, it's, even if it was on, I don't know, as a charm on a bracelet, you could do a little write-up if you like, and we'll quite happily share the slides and the information that we've spoken about today. You know, um, uh, relationships with the word protection, blessings, 
rectitude we said earlier yeah. on but then the meanings behind the gemstone as well but absolutely hannah i totally agree with you not everybody has the means to get the um sort of the more um expensive let's put it that way yeah. master carvings are comparatively they're a great they're a great price point i guess yeah so what yeah. would be outside of these four worlds but if you're looking to get hold of that beautiful gemstone at more in a more affordable manner 14.99 hopefully that's achievable for you amazing oh eight hundred six double four six double five we only had 50 you can absolutely see why over 200 of these flew out at the beginning of the week let me show you the quantity that we have and also so giftable because i was re well, you know when we were presenting this for the very first time i was thinking about ultimately your your circle of family and friends and and, and nearest and dearest you know you want to protect them of course you do you want to yeah. you want to bestow blessings and all of those wonderful attributions that are associated not only with the shape the carving um but also the gemstone itself that's the quantity real time so you're going to remember that this carving has only been available for less than a week and it's probably going to sell out today in fact it's almost definitely they'd, going to sell out today they'd be fabulous as earrings at that at that price lovely point, i mean how lovely would that be just a, a little pearl at the top maybe nice. just a bit extra and and then Use, you know, use a jump ring or shepherd's hook, something like that, and just have that as the drop. They'd look fabulous. Do you know what I'm tempted to do? Going back to that, uh, the, the slide that we showed you here, the vase which holds flowers from all seasons symbolises peace throughout the year. So, you know, if you wanted to do an inspiration and actually take sort of different coloured gemstones to represent colours throughout the year, oh, flowers throughout the year, could. how nice would that be? That That's absolutely fabulous. I mean, oh. if you, yeah, if you made interchangeable... Um, Sort of like if you had, I saw a, a double-ended uh, eye pin with yeah. your other gemstone, yeah, and um, and a, and a jump ring. Then you can keep opening the jump ring to change the gemstone. Oh, so, 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 I mean, you could either have lots of different pairs, or you could have one pair with different interchangeable oh, lovely. connectors, couldn't you? We have nine left. Oh. This is going to be an on-screen sellout. Seven, Gillian, Pamela, Julie, Elaine, Margaret, Sheila, Avril, London, Cheryl, Maker and Five, Sally, Karen, uh, West Midlands, Tracy, Barbara, Leela, hello to you, Gloucestershire. Wow, ladies, thank you so much. Missed it the other day. Oh, I'm so pleased you got it, lovely. Pleased well. So pleased. Great. Yeah, because yeah. I, 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 yeah, that's the thing. Not everybody can watch every single day of the week, can we? Um, I bought two last time and two more today. Amazing. <laughs> I don't blame you, Sue. They are lovely. And I just think it's so, this is the kind of piece that I would, gift i can't afford to gift the ones which are hundreds of pounds as amazing as no, that price I mean, is it'd be lovely too but yes yeah that's i can't afford to do that world. as much as i yeah. would like um hello lancashire saying would the vase match the rings for earrings yes they absolutely would oh, um, um it's gone hasn't it it has uh, absolutely well, well the there's jade the jade necklace. The necklace so yeah so, could, so if you look at that shall we, shall we pull that one hang on oh, i'll tell you what hold that thought who was who asked that question Lancashire, here you go. See if I can go, go gadget arms. Yep, perfect. perfect. Look at that. Perfect. It goes put beautifully. In fact, that would be amazing. Would you go like that? Yeah beautifully oh, nice. um well done on the verge of selling out everybody congratulations to you all um if you want to add these jadeite jump rings that's a great suggestion from lancashire and um, we'll put the details on your screens as well there are literally two of these left so five of you with their uh, with the mini baskets well done we've still got loads to bring you've got tiger's eye coming up um within the 10 o'clock hour you polite coming up at 11 o'clock so we've just we've just pushed back your dealer day ever so slightly and the most amazing masterclass. the kits are beautiful Beautiful. <laughs> Ellie Flumps! Yay! Everybody loves Ellie Flumps, don't they? <laughs> don't go anywhere because Hannah and I are back after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. here just giving you a heads up this Sunday we've only got the amber dragon scales back they're incredible join us on Sunday don't miss out they fly our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I'm not gonna lie, I just had my uh, my malt my malt loaf and it stuck <laughs> to my teeth. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, a gemstone that we've known. It's attractive, isn't it? Oh, so attractive. <laughs> Sorry. A bit of malt loaf stuck to your front teeth. Um, <laughs> okay, now here's a gemstone that we've brought you for pretty much every single year that jewelry maker has been in existence, I think. Um, but, 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 but not just us. Some of the biggest jewellery houses in the world are throwing their weight behind your beautiful tiger's eye. And is it any surprise? It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It has this immediate 
striking appearance that you never mistake. I said earlier on, my six-year-old, you know, she actually said to me, weirdly, she was saying to me um, this weekend, she said, Mummy, will you make me, a, 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 as she calls it, a tiger eyes bracelet? Aww. I said, yes, I can make you a tiger, eye, uh, tiger eyes bracelet, because that gives you courage, doesn't it? I said, yes, um, it does. So that's Aww. what we've got to do this weekend. Um, so cute. Yeah, she is a cutie. <laughs> but, you know, like your Malachi, you know, there are certain gemstones, like, much like your uh, Upalite that's coming up at 12 o'clock, it's distinctive. You know, you, once you've seen it, you never, ever forget this beautiful gemstone. Um, but there is meanings, and we've spoken about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meanings behind this beautiful gemstone, of course. But Tiger's Eye, as we can imagine, is, where did it get its name from? It got its name and from this handsome, beautiful creature. handsome devil. You know, it's like creatures on this planet that walk this planet. Is Phenomenal. there anything yeah. more beautiful than a tiger? It's so it's so stunning, isn't it? So sort of regal and majestic Stealth, and quiet, powerful, protective. Yeah, it's oh, it's fabulous. They're solitary animals as well. Mm. Solitary animals, but. Is there anything more beautiful than the tiger? I, I generally don't think there is. I mean, there's lots of beautiful creatures, don't get me wrong. But there's such... They are immeasurable almost, aren't yeah. they, in their appearance? They are. They are stunning. So to have a, have, have a gemstone with that same association, then of yes, course it's going to cool, be a beautiful isn't it? I like that, yeah. <laughs> But let's read about the actual history of Tiger's Eye. Um, and the meanings behind this amazing gemstone. More than just prize for its beauty and majesty, the tiger bears a great symbolism in Chinese culture. In China, the tiger is considered to be the king of all beasts, as it symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve. It is also known as the king of the mountain. In traditional Chinese culture, the tiger is also a symbol of luck, considered to be an embodiment of yang or positive energy. The tiger is a solar animal in yin and yang philosophy and associated with the sun, summer and fire. They symbolize power, energy, royalty, protection, generosity, illumination and unpredictability. Mm. Fascinating. It is, isn't and I know it? we're talking in particular about the actual tiger here, but you see that beauty in the gemstone. You do. Throughout Chinese history, the tiger has incited a sense of both awe and admiration. Its prowess, its ferocity, its beauty, and the harmony of the opposites. The tiger is full of life and embodies the spirit and drive to achieve and make progress. So here we are, and I've just kind of said about the conversation that I had with my daughter literally last night saying, please, can you make me a tiger eyes bracelet, as she put it, because it gives you courage. We've got that immediate... Even my six-year-old is associating it with this gemstone. Yeah, my, my mum bought me a ring when I was going through exams at school and things like that, and it was tiger's eye, and it was for courage. And, and I genuinely believe that you, you do feel something from that, Absolutely. that gemstone. The first thing I ever bought from jewellery makeup was tiger's eye. It was eye. tiger's eye. Yeah. yeah. And I think Carol says the same. Oh, really? I think really? it's the first oh. piece of jewellery she, she bought as well as tiger's eye. In Chinese folklore beliefs, uh, the Chinese is protecting the good, guarding it from evil. Being a guardian spirit, tiger's eye has often been carved into amulets and worn to ward off bad spirits protecting its wearer. So here is that transition of this beautiful gemstone. Um, I love this fact about, yes, about tiger's eye. Um, did you know that the tiger itself, the markings that it has on the crown of its head, actually is the exact same markings, and it obviously is inspired, the Chinese literature. So to write king in Chinese, you have the same markings that every single tiger has on the top of their head. Um, on the back of this, and it was actually a show that I did alongside Mark, and both of us have got sort of tabby cats. Oh, yes. If you have a tabby cat at home, and Mark drew my attention to this one, if you actually look at the top of our, uh, a domestic tabby cat, they have the M. This is a shape of an M. Oh. So it's almost, I don't know how or why it happens, but they all have the M, and certainly my tabby cat does. But the tiger itself sim means king in Chinese writing. Just fascinating. And then let's just admire these beautiful, Aww, beautiful, beautiful, look at them. 
There's the tiger's eye. There's just there, there, right there. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see why this gemstone is named tiger's eye. It comes in a variety of colors. And just because you don't, uh, um, it's gone, undergone some kind of treatment doesn't mean that you lose that chatoyancy. In actual fact, it can, can enhance it. Now, we're going to be quite fast and pacey on this opportunity because we don't have huge quantities of it. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, I've just seen... These are the star buys that are coming up, so I'm going to show you. If you wanted to use any of Hannah's beautiful techniques that she demonstrated in the nine o'clock hour, you absolutely could, Hannah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, th this would look fabulous if you knotted that Long uh, along, alongside the, like, the mookite as well. Gorgeous. Shall we start, shall we start with this one? Because this is textbook tiger's eye. You know, this is that photograph, isn't it, of the tiger eye yeah. itself. Um, I'm visualising, because ladies, we get quite spoilt, don't we, in beautiful gemstones. Um, can you imagine creating a long line beaded, knotted style necklace, quite Thomas Sabo inspired? You know, this is the kind of thing that certainly my husband would wear. Yeah. yeah a long line necklace. They're all the rage at the moment. My, my brother um, used to do a lot of um, surfing and skating, that kind of thing. Yeah. And he wore tiger's eye as well. So yeah. tiger's eye and turquoise are the two that oh, he Oh, beautiful. Would wear. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with your with your star buy. You get a huge carrot weight, three hundred and eighty seven and a half carats of amazing natural tiger's eye. It's one of the biggest carrot weights of the entire se selection. Um, it's not just a metre long length. You've got 127 centimetres, so more than enough. I'm just going to steal one of Anne and Sue's ma amazing Yopalite pieces that are coming up in the next hour. But if you wanted to create something like this, Anne and Sue, if you've, I, I know they're watching right now. They do Friday, don't they? They, they tend to watch all the time, actually. I think, I are think they upstairs on Friday? Uh, I can't remember. I know they're buying. <laughs> I, I don't Anne, know. And Anne's definitely watching because she's bought something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Name but pop up. I know there's Marla <laughs> necklaces that you've got in beautiful tiger's eye. It just they just work, don't they? It's one of my absolute favourites. I think in a um, in a Marla necklace, not just your standard traditional 38 centimetre strand here. You've got 127 centimetres. So in terms of potential, Hannah, what can I get out of this? Oh my God, it's so so much. I mean, I mean, I don't know how many gemstones that I. Could Equates to, but it's is it is it 108 for a mala you need? I yes, think. I think it is. Um, yeah. Uh, you like if you imagine the stretchy bracelets are probably going to be sort of like maybe six inch to seven inch. Yeah, because the stretchy like where you create a bit smaller, I suppose, yeah, don't slightly, you? Slightly Depending smaller, on your size. Yeah, because it's got to get over your hand and then and then go small enough to to go back to your wrist size. So. Oh my gosh, you've, you've got... It makes masses. You've got a store where... <laughs> masses. Let's look at the jewellery brands that are actually incorporating Tiger's Eye into, um, into their uh, beautiful pieces of jewellery. The likes of Tiffany's & Co. Here we go. Um, diamond and Tiger's Eye Circle Pendant. Look, really simple. And that's like a slice, isn't it, effectively? Um, how about Van Cleef & Arpels? Of course, Van Cleef & Arpels are, are using the, it in the Alhambra design. What about designs like Thomas Sabo? Could you make this piece of jewellery? Oh, yeah. It's a simple, stretchy bracelet. Is our tiger, uh, tiger's eye inferior to that of Thomas Sabo? I'd say it's actually probably better. Um, because they have... To, the, the, Thomas Sabo is mass-produced. It yeah. is mass-produced. Yeah. Whereas you're making artisanal jewellery. Yeah, you could, the quality of the chatoyancy is so much better. £239 for that piece. Well, you can get on, and it's what? That's 70 centimetres. Wow. So we've got almost double, almost double the length. Look at this. North Skull London. Here we go. Really simple, asymmetric, macrame style, £120. How many of those do you reckon you could make out of this amazing strand? Gosh, loads. Lots, yeah. Loads. Way more than I can actually figure out. Yeah, my maths isn't strong enough to do that. But no. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. £20. I tell you what, just for kicks. One sec. How many times are you going to wrap it round? Let's have a go. One, two, three, four, five. It would be six, but I don't want to do it just in case. Hang on, hang on. Let's do it. There you go. I won't, I, won't be able, <laughs> I won't be able to get it off now. How amazing. So seven, even without the addition, uh, additions of any, um, any stretchy bracelets. How awesome is that? That is so cool, isn't it? You could make it as a cuff as well, or you, or you could have it as individuals. They all look amazing, don't they? I mean, I just love the fact that each stone has got its own little sort of story. In yeah, there. they do. That lovely glint. It's like the well, tiger peering through the, the, the forest at you. 
gorgeous. That's chatoyancy, which is totally and utterly natural. Um, how many did we have, Roscoe? I am going to try and slide this off the wrist if I can. How many? Only 50. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, well um, done. <laughs> <laughs> How amazing. I do need to get some of that because I actually haven't got any tiger's eye in my stash at the moment. And like I said, Willow, yeah, Willow, Willow, Willow was like, Mommy, I want, to, I want a tiger's eye bracelet. Over the head a couple oh, of yeah. times, I think, as Maybe well, you know. For that. Simple. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, on the verge of selling out already. We do also have it in the red. We have tiger's eye and your blues, your greens and your pinks. We've got it in all sorts of lovely colours. Um, we've got different sizes if you wanted to create a lovely graduation. Should we dive into the reds? Oh, look at that. When we say red, it's much more of a mahogany colour. So don't... Uh, mahogany. Mahogany. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why there was that pause. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's only 50, so you will need to be quite quick on it. Um, your endless strands, again, this is a meter. There's so much jewelry that can be made out of a meter. I love tiger's eye alongside pearls as well. Mix them up, I think that's a great idea, yeah? That's a great idea. Uh, yeah, they work fabulously with gold tones, don't they? And then anything kind of sort of like fiery, cognac-y, that, that kind of thing. How about some gold hematite? How about <laughs> this then? What do we think to that? Yes. Look at how beautiful they are all together. This is um, part of one of Hannah's kits in the night, um, in the 12 o'clock hour, sorry. Um, that's hematite that's coming up a little bit later on. Um, you know what to do. We're not stopping at 44.99. Don't often do showcases like this. Yeah, make the most of it, because when, when, when we do, they absolutely fly out. But we only got 50. You gotta remember we're competing with the likes of some of the biggest jewelry brands in the world much like your malachite it's become more, yeah. and, more and more difficult for us to actually get hold of, uh, of these gemstones because they are in in the likes of thomas sabo shop art tiffany's and co um and many more piaget yeah piaget van cleef and our pals absolutely not stopping at 44 pounds and 99 pence for the beautiful warm red and it's not an obvious red it's like a deep mahogany color which i absolutely love check out this chatoyancy i don't know if our ethan can get ultra close so we can show it show the chatoyancy you know just look because look just because you have that beautiful color does not mean that you have to sacrifice in the chatoyancy not the case it's tiny microscopic platelets that are within this gemstone that bring you that ama amazing phenomena effect perfectly aligned gives you chatoyancy top quality under 20 pounds for a meter a meter I mean, long it's length just gorgeous isn't it how much was that thomas sabo necklace that was 70 centimeters 239 pounds it's not even knotted i mean you've got you've got you've got a lovely sterling silver components but you know and i get it they've got lots of celebrities to wear this probably send it for free don't they get all these celebrities yes. to wear their pieces of jewelry wow. er er uh, um i don't know name a celebrity <laughs> i don't know name a celebrity that wears lots of beaded jewelry I've shown it before. We've had those gents, haven't we, where they're beaded jewellery. We had Chris Akabusi. <laughs> I mean, really? Okay, right, fair enough. I was going to go someone like Beckham or um, Harry Styles or something like that, but no, we'll go with Chris, Chris Akabusi. Oh, well, maybe he does. I don't maybe, know. maybe he does. Um, Nancy Muriel, well done. Ellen, Mandy, Priscilla, hello to you, Susan. Hello to you, Sue, Maker. Uh, congratulations, there was only 50 of those. Let's move on because we're going to be bringing you all of your different colours. Oh, I love this one. What size? Oh. <gasps> Let me show you the different colours because you've got a royal blue and then Hannah. They've got my name all over them, haven't they? This is this is kind of like the peacock of gemstones, if, if ever there was one. Look at them. And, and by the way, Hannah. It's utterly stunning. We've oh. got them in the graduation as well. Yeah, I need them all. Oh, uh, <laughs> my goodness. Now we're going to start with the royal blue. I know you would choose this one. I would. I would choose this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love, I know, how stunning. Let's get close again, shall we? Because they are beautiful. So beautiful. And I'll be honest, I was very much on the fence when it's when I heard about sort of dying tigers. I was thinking, no, oh, surely that would subdue the um, uh, the appearance of chatoyancy. Most know. definitely not. It actually enhances it in many cases. I love the cobalt blue. I think this one's my favourite of them all. Look at that. 
but the other worldly 12 millimeters in their size you could knot these in the same techniques you bead them in the same way that hannah was uh, um, showcasing and uh, demonstrating in nine o'clock you could use them as your marker beads or your guru beads in you the could, marlin yeah, necklace the if you think they're too tassel. big. You could put it as a, as a chunky um, stretcher if you wanted to, or you could have it just as like little sort of, um, if you did a graduated one, this could be the, the focal point, the larger size in the middle. You know, so you could uh, sort of undulate. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, so the smaller one, then um, the bigger one, then the smaller one, and then other, whoa, that was, that's, that. Is that the price? Twelve ninety nine. Oh, How many have you got really there, Roscoe? Though, aren't they? Fifty available. Oh, oh I'm shocked today. Oops. Look at the. Go on. Put it on. It's got to be. Look at that. Yeah. That's. <laughs> that's lovely, isn't it? As is. That is so. How lovely. Can the and see even from a distance away? Oh, I might have to get this. I've got some of the green tiger's eye at home, but I haven't got the royal blue. Oh yeah. Well, I. I, I Honestly, I this with I your Ellie flumps. Oh, oh, fab with the elephants. But just, even just simply, just little, little spaces or little seed beads in between, you wouldn't have to do very much because no. the, the colour and the size and the gemstone itself is doing all the Absolutely work. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Hannah, are you ready to melt the phone lines? Go on then. Let's do the teal. This is mine. I, this is mine. You can't have this. Oh, you no, tell no, you what, that's put mine. It, you, you put it up to your neckline. <laughs> because that, yeah, no, you definitely should. Oh, I've got the wrong colour on as well. <laughs> She did snatch it, didn't I she? I did snatch that away because it's <laughs> lovely. I should have. <laughs> oh, oh, Hannah, it, so, it, it totally sorts your colour, uh, your skin tones. Uh, I, I just, I love it. Teals and turquoises and purples and... Oh, it suits you. Oh, I just love it. So pretty. What would you do then? Not it. Yeah, I mean, I quite like my seed beads as well. So yeah. I quite like the idea that you could have like a little sort of a seed beaded in, in like a uh, tassel end to something like a long line necklace, or you could go short and have some really fancy spaces there. in between. Don't move, oh, fan. Oh, she's, she's going to put the flump on it. I am. Oh. I am going to flump it. Go on. Ready? Consider myself flumped. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I hello. love that. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? And actually, if the so well, we've got we've got a neon we've got appetite in the, in the silver kit, haven't we? So that would go wonderfully as the tassels at the bottom. Oh, this Ellie Flump's coming up at oh, twelve o'clock. Oh, look at it! That's beautiful, Hannah. It suits so you. That's gorgeous. a need. It's a must for you, in actual Mine. fact. Mine. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. Goodness actually, me. having held it higher up, I'd probably go higher up like a choker. And, oh and yeah, just, I just like it, yeah, especially with twelve mil. Colour. I love them up here. I love, yeah. I love, I love a sort of short line necklace. Yeah. Magnetic clasp. Yeah, so it takes all the fat love out it. of it, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so lovely. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. Lots of multi buyers getting involved with this. Oh, Hannah, you're not alone in loving the teal. It is a pretty colour, though, isn't it? I, my, my, well, I, I don't know if you've ever seen our, our kitchen, but it's pretty yes. much that colour. <laughs> it's, 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 I like which, <laughs> as a paint. Yeah. And how beautiful it is as a paint. Imagine it in a morphing gemstone. Yeah. Um, I've got fabulous. one other teal coloured uh, uh, tiger's eye strand. <laughs> one other. Um, and if you want to create the graduation, you're going to have to be super speedy spa uh, fast. Because they're mine. I'm having them. <laughs> the teeth in so I can actually talk to you. Yeah. Super speedy and fast. Let's do it now. Let's not. Yeah. Oh. oh. Need those. Wait, wait. You know what I'm going to do. them. Han. What are we doing? Can I just lift your board up for one second? Yeah, pop it over there. Mm -hmm. Because we're doing this. Oh, amazing. We're doing the graduation, aren't we? And I know this oh, isn't the most yeah. perfect display. It's on a macrame board, but you get the idea, don't you? How lovely is that? That is amazing. I need that necklace. Ah. Oh. Over the top of your head. Who wants this under under 10 pounds? Oh my god. For 10 <laughs> millimeter teal tiger's eye. What'd you say? Over your head, that's it. Just over the top of your head, you don't even need a clasp. Job done. Simple knotting. You even had, didn't we have that colour silk? Oh. We, we definitely had, um, we've definitely had like a blue, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Decorative yes. gold in between. Hang on a minute. How about another Ellie flam? Little flam. How beautiful. In 24 seconds, this is going under £10, lovely jewellery makers. This is the only other dyed teal tiger's eye strand that we have we had it in the 12 millimeters um the only one that we actually have in the in, in the 10 mine. oh mine oh. <laughs> look how well it goes with perfect oh yeah oh my gosh 
Han, if you had your phone with you, I'm yoiking it now. Well, I, I, I bought yoik. these on air the other day and I think I'll get told off if I do it too yoik, often. Yoik. I really want those. There you go. <laughs> Come on. I know. I'm, I, I'm, don't, I don't want to get in trouble. But I've got an order to pick up as well. Um, but I really I'm, <laughs> amazing. Well, at a tenner. It's the same as I. You can always put logs to Thomas Sabo if you wanted to, and it's not even the teal colour, but £239. I mean, pounds. Yeah. Just think. I'm not sure I've got that much spare. No, not <laughs> me. me. Me either. Ten quid, I could probably get to. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> Michaela, Carol, Sandra, hello to you, Nicolette, Deborah, hello to you, Susan, Linda, Ayrshire, Myra, hello to you, uh, Joanne, Susan, you've got yours. Um, is there 50 of these as well, Ross? Oh, 40. Hang on, do you know what else would be really nice with it? Oh, wow. What do you think to that? It's like a butterscotch colour. Oh, they're 10 colour. mil. Like a butterscotch colour. Mm. Should we do these next? Oh, okay. Ross is just saying, I'll follow you. I like that. I like that, <laughs> Roscoe. Let's, go, let's dive into your golden tiger's eye. Probably one of my favourites. I love it. Look, because you get this, this oh, level of chatoyancy. They're like those um, sweets in the gold wrapper, very original. Oh, I know the ones you mean. <laughs> They're also a little bit yeah. amber-esque, aren't Ooh, they? Yeah. Look at that! Oh, my gosh. Wow. In 51 seconds, how many did you say are available, Ross? 40. Oh, they are limited then. Straight, and this is the only one we actually have in the golden colour. We don't have it in 12 millimetres, we don't have it in 6 millimetres. This is the only strand that we actually have in the golden. Um, so, yeah, now is the time to be dialing through. Um, clearly, you are shopping for your tiger's eye today. I love it, all the meanings behind it. You know, even yeah, everybody tends to, well, not everybody, that's a generalisation, but many people have associations with this gemstone. It's not something that's new, it's something that's been around for centuries. centuries. Absolutely. Centuries yeah. upon centuries, protection, courage. Yeah, it, it's you know, it's 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 just one of those things, isn't it? It's like if you, if you have an affinity with any of those uh, kind of attributes, then yeah. it's it's absolutely the right gemstone to be wearing or yeah. to be gifting if you want to like gift that kind of feeling to somebody. Like like my mum when I had my the, the tiger's eye ring. Yeah, she she wanted to give me courage, and and it did because I, I I genuinely felt sort of connected to it. I like it. Yeah. Even it's just in the message you yeah know, like I said my my, my little one she I, I spoke not it wasn't tiger's eye because I didn't have tiger's eye at the time but um when t Willow was getting bullied a while ago um I'm going oh, thank so, you yeah. do you remember we yeah, having that conversation yeah. and um it, god I was just literally breaking my heart and and she didn't want to go to school and I was trying to you know obviously you do the obvious things like talk to the teachers but I just made her a simple little stretchy bracelet and four mil rounds and a gemstone I said there's your brave and strong bracelet Aww. and uh, and she was all right she was all right even if it just helped her a little bit you don't know but this 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 the sentiments have been alongside this gemstone for for quite literally thousands upon thousands of years and i get it i totally get why well done there's loads of you there um green i thought this would be your favorite it is my favorite yeah, yeah. i actually have this strand i love it <laughs> i love it i haven't 12 mil it's going straight up to the neckline this one you wear green so well i love green. you really do yeah Favourite colour. Look at that. That is oh, so luxurious looking. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's stunning. You know, like um, Wizard of Oz, that emerald green. Oh, colour. yeah. The emerald it's that. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> is this there's something? You've got ruby slippers on. <laughs> I don't. Not but, today. Uh, no, not today. <laughs> it, it, it is that. It's that ooh green. Do you know where it I'm coming ooh. from? That ooh. Yes. <laughs> if it was a velvet, you'd just go ooh. You'd want to sink your fingers into it because it's that. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's that ultra decadent, Lovely. indulgent green. Um, and then team that alongside the beautiful chatoyancy that you get from Tiger's Eye. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. We've gone jump back up to the twelve millimeters now. Again, FYI, this is the only green. Is that right? Yeah, I think this is the only green strand that we actually have available. Love it, Hannah. This would go perfectly with your outfit. It really would. It would. Perfect. I, it's hard to choose a favourite, to be honest, isn't it? Well, at that kind of price point, you can buy every colour, can't you? Mm. I mean, I just. Why not? If you can, do. Can I steal if this? You can't pick a favourite, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. She's making kits again, isn't gosh. she? Oh gosh. Wait, wait. Flump. Wait, hang on, hang on. Oh. She's done it. 
She's done it. I've peaked, haven't I? That's beautiful. I've peaked. There you go. There you are. That's coming up. I can up. see the jewellery when you do that. I can see what it would look like in my head. And yeah. Like, oh, I, I need can't. that necklace. Oh, my word. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. Which one next hand? You take a pick. Uh, oh, sh shocking pink. Shocking pink. Yeah. Um, ooh, yeah, again, only pink that we actually have. Oh, that's beautiful. Do you know, at first I had my reservations and then it's like, oh no, Ella. And then you put it well, on. It matches my lippy. It does match your lippy. <laughs> oh, I love it. And this one would go Hannah with your outfit. Yeah, perfectly. I yeah, think. yeah. I definitely. love this one. Fuchsia pink, hot fuchsia pink. Oh, that's lovely. Would you just simply knot it? Would you? Well, uh, so whenever I see hot pink, I want to put sort of tropical colours with it. So like something like orange and lime green and turquoise and really nice. make a kind of think sort of Club Tropicana I cocktails. Knew you were thinking that. Yeah, that I'm kind singing of thing. the song in my head. Yeah, the, the little parasols. And it just it makes me think of holidays. Yeah, and sunshine and, and in sunshine. Yeah, just fun. It's a yes. fun colour. Absolutely. And also, I'm going to say it a little bit seductive. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It is a bit saucy, isn't it? I think so. Um, I have got a multicoloured strand. Back to the ten mils. Yes. Yes. Eight mils, I beg your pardon, they are eight mils. Um, okay, so if you can't choose, then don't worry, we might be able to help you out. This is the only strand of multicolored tiger's eye that we actually have. So this includes your traditional tiger's eye. It includes the mahogany reds. It includes your cobalt blue. Um, so you've got three of the colors in this one gorgeous strand. Love it. Absolutely love, love, love it. You know, normally we would have to buy three different strands to be able to make this combination. Yes, yeah, you would. And we do, don't yeah, we? Or we'll buy yeah. three strands and then we alternate it. You don't have to. It's all there. This is this is very like the first strand I ever bought. I think I think it's I think I had more greens in there yeah. than, than blues. But yeah, that like I had that and I I just put simple spaces between it and a, a nice chunky gold clasp. Beautiful. And, and I, I, I I love it. Sorry, flump's coming flump's back. Flump's coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. Look at him. How gorgeous is this jewellery? Stunning. They would be... Hang on, see if I can hold it. Imagine that, go on, Han. And drape that in there. Oh, well. my yeah. goodness, mate. How beautiful are these? They just work perfectly with Hannah's Masterclass. It's coming at 12. Don't they? Um, OK, who wants this under £10? Me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me. Um, well... It's happening. I've said it out loud now. Eight millimetres. All that beautiful chatoyan see that wonderful migration of light seems to travel across literally around the beautiful globes of Tiger's Eye. All the steeped in uh, historic meaning behind Tiger's Eye as a gemstone, which I'll just I'll repeat in a few moments for those people that have just tuned in. Um, and the majestic tiger, prized for its beauty and majesty. The tiger bears symbolism in Chinese culture. It's considered the king of all beasts and symbolizes power and a great deal of nerve. Known also as the king of the mountain. Um, in Chinese tradition, the tiger is a symbol of luck, considered the embodiment of yang or positive energy. The tiger is a solar animal in yin and yang philosophy and associated with the sun, summer and fire. Um, they symbolize power, energy, royalty, protection, generosity, illumination and unpredictability. Under £10 only. And the gemstone, it carries those meanings across. Courage. Uh, you know, courage is often associated with this gem. Looking for the one with the, actually about the here we go that one sorry uh, in Chinese folklore belief the Chinese uh, sorry the tiger is protecting the good guarding it from evil being a guardian spirit tiger's eye has often been carved into amulets and worn to ward off bad spirits protecting its wearer love that and we can do this for what a tenner I know it's fab isn't it but also if if you're um, if you're sharing the the cost of something and you've got something like that you could have three different colourways yeah. couldn't you so you could share that with two other people. And, and just just have the one colour so that have you like little like. parcels. So, yeah, so yeah, you could nice separate idea. it, or you could all like one person could have blue, one could have the the red, and one could have the the um, the sort of yellow, the traditional. Colour. Nice, I love that idea. Now, is it this one? It doesn't Ooh. say on there. 
this. It says plain rounds. It's not plain rounds. I'm really confused. Is it right? This is anything but plain rounds. We'll amend the graphics if need be. These are actually high goose. Donuts or high goose, yeah. Of tiger's eye. Yeah, amazing. How, I mean, that's a fantastic error, if you like, for our viewers. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because if they were high goose, then I would imagine they would have, carry a much higher price point. Tiger's eye, I mean, these are, look at them as individual. We used to call them donuts, didn't we? But that's long before we actually knew the meaning behind the high goo yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the amlet, we spoke about amlets a few moments ago, um, that they mean, uh, they've, they've always been popular here at Jewelry Maker, I think, but even more so now. Um, it is this strand that you're getting. 29 pounds and 99 pence. But we're not stopping there. Have we got quantity, did you say? 50 available. They're three drilled also, so that if you want to use that drill hole, you absolutely can. If you don't, you don't have to. Who would like these under £20 today? Oh, yeah. You can create like an illusion, can't you, Hanno? So um, almost that instead of taking your beading thread right the way through, where it'll be visible in the centre. Yeah. You could do like a, use them as little connectors, turn them into little connectors. Yeah, yeah, if you if you use them, you could use like a little um, head pin. You could probably you could probably push it in from the inside outward, yeah. and, the, and then the, the 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 ball or the flat bit of the the head pin would hold it into the centre, and then you make your little loops on the outside. But it would leave the the centre of the high goo clear. Mm -hmm. um, or you could use like sort of a, an illusion cord, something that you can't nice. really see. Or you could put a smaller gemstone inside or a seed bead inside the high goo. I was just thinking that, especially and, yeah. this photograph that's alongside it. This is the perfect tiger's it, eye, it, isn't it? Absolutely the because tiger's eye. Because you eyes. have got that colour. You've really literally is. got that colour all the way yeah. around. Maybe you could turn these into individual uh, sort of tiger eye amulets, I suppose, yeah. that we spoke yeah. about. Oh, it's not just a little bit under £20, though, is it? £14.99, <laughs> so we've got 50 of these available. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. And there's no other high goose. This is the only high goose strand that we actually have available. I, I, ignore the graphics. They're not plain rounds. They're anything but plain rounds. This is what you're actually getting, a full strand of high goose. They are skyrocketing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, if I can. I'm just going to lay this on the desk and count them, because you could treat these as individual components for sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 29. So you've got 29 standalone pendants or charms if you wanted to. Amazing at £14.99. Joanne, Helen, Carol, Linda, Muriel, hello to Sarah, Sylvia, Valerie, Derbyshire, Alwyn, well don't you, uh, Joanne, uh, make, I can't keep up with you. Half the stock's already gone. You will need to check out nice and early be, uh, to be successful. 50 does not hang around when you've got a gemstone of popularity like your tiger's eye. I love it. I absolutely love it. But it is, I, I'm being really honest, it's so difficult to get hold of at the moment because of obviously Shopard. Langley for our pals, Thomas Sabo, they're all working with this gemstone as well. Um, let's bring you what colour? Multicoloured six mil. Oh yeah. Spotted, Ross. Eagle eyes. Or oh, tiger. <laughs> so hang on, if you got the multicoloured strand earlier on, I'll bring that back. This would work perfectly with it. There it is. Ah. Uh, do you know what? How about this? Let's not forget these beautiful rose. How about with the rose colour? Or, or the silver colour? Yeah. Right now for the six mil. Whenever we bring a six mil, Mark was talking about this the other day, Han. Um, whatever the gem, gemstone, whenever we bring six mil to air, straight away immediately the, 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 the call screens light up, they're don't they? They're hugely popular. It's just because they're so easy to use. You know, they're, they're, they're bold enough to be a statement, but they're not so big that they couldn't be a spacer as well. No. So it, it literally, it can lend itself to any design, anything yeah. you want to do. I mean, again, using Anne and Sue's uh, Marlon necklace as an example for the uh, Upolite uh, um, deal of the day that's coming up, it is coming up. You know, they've got six millimetres in here. 
Um, and Anne and Sue actually do a reverse Marla. I quite like that. It's become one of their traits. It's a trademark. Like. Of, um, I think it's Sue. It doesn't. Is it like Sue? That, I think. Yes. Yeah, so you have a, have the smaller size at the front there. So those are the six millimeters. So they're incredibly, incredibly versatile. Hundred carats that you're getting here. Um, straight away lots you're getting about seven pounds and ninety nine pence. That's I, amazing. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, make sure you do check out your baskets. Your deal of the day is coming up. It won't be long. Dave is uh, he's, he's, he's in the background. We're getting ready for this amazing opportunity. First time ever to get hold of you polite in your um, beautiful towers. They're coming up. Make sure you check out your baskets, everyone. But um, I'm going to give you a second opportunity to get hold of today's early bird because the price that we brought took this to was so ridiculous that um, we need it to sell out, quite frankly. Um, we're going to go straight into it. Now, it's very unconventional for us to repeat our early bird because normally it's disappeared from the system. We are going to give you another opportunity because we did, and I was very honest, I sort of said to you, look, this is way lower than we were expecting to go. Um, for the quality of these pills, you're getting four pairs of drop pearls, the La Peregrina drop shape. Um, and they are, they are very hesitantly, uh, hesitantly, that's not a word, is it? Cautious, hesitantly, sorry. Yeah. He hesitantly actually use the word flawless when we're talking about pills. But I genuinely cannot find a single fault on the surface of those nacres. Now, we started here at 99.99 and we said, oh, let's be realistic. If you were to pop into a high-end jewellers, it wouldn't be unusual to find some pills of high caliber, which obviously these are, in a pair of earrings for more than what's on your screens. Um, I've got less than 60 opportunities remain. But, but look, our target price was way more than what we actually ended up closing these, um, closing these two. We didn't stop here, which is absolutely where we should have stopped. That's us yeah. working off minuscule <laughs> margins. How often do you know us repeat our early bird? The only reason we're repeating it, so if you weren't able to uh, join us, if you missed out, um, if you were out and about, whatever it is, doing that, so things like the school run, I totally get it. Um, but this, we needed to sell out today, frankly, because yes. we took it far too low. Yeah, it's too low, so we need to hide the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Effectively, yes. Um, so, 60 opportunities. You get four pairs. Those are natural purple pearls. And I probably should have spoken about that at greater length. I almost assumed our audience know the rarity of natural colour pearls. They know that, you know, there was a single pearl, purple pearl pendant sold on um, online somewhere. And I've shown you the photograph. What was it for $1,100? Um, you know about how the GIA have written about natural intense um, colours like this. We know about the, the, the global tr uh, craze, if you like, for your beautiful papayas. And the fact that all those things is pushing the price of these natural pearls up dramatically. Oh, it's so bad, isn't it? Goodness it's just, me. It, yeah, it's like, oh, it's so yeah, low. We, we take a plaster off really quick because it just it's a bit ouchy. It's like, oh, did we really do that? <laughs> and I've just, I mean, I am so bad at maths. You know, we just break it down. Oh, goodness me, you're talking about for a pair. What is it? Three, six, nine, twelve. You're talking about what? Uh, three pound fifty. Three pound fifty, yeah. Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five yeah. for a pair. If you're not thinking about earrings, and we've just Kingish brought this in earlier on, and then obviously we haven't glued it, but look at that. Does that look like three pound fifty? No, I mean that looks beautiful, doesn't it? A, sing a single one as a as a drop pendant, or you can use it like like earring um, fixings as well. You have like the I've forgotten the name of the, what they're called, but the, um, what are they call? What are you talking about now? When you get a stud earring and then a little loop underneath and, and then it's got, it's got the little um, connector. It's just, it's just a peg bail, isn't it? But yeah. It's, but, it, but, it, but earring stud peg bail. Yeah. Just call it that. That sounded too, like too many words to describe I know. the thing. And we know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know. Or I might be being a bit dim as well, Hannah, but um, £3.50 per pair so wait hang on a minute wait i've done that wrong so this isn't three pound fifty it's half of that because we were talking about pairs weren't we yeah so it's one pound 87 for that pearl for a pearl for a, for a cultured pearl Maybe. in a drop shape how unbelievable and that's not even the rarest of colors 
These are the rarest of colours, your beautiful purples. They should, again, I've shown you before, uh, many a times we've shown you um, cabinets that were displayed at Tucson. We've shown you Yoko of London, you know, for purple pearls, their ast astronomical prices. You could easily research natural coloured pearls particularly in your purples and your peachy, any of the, the, the you know, the, the warmer colours in particular, command astronomical prices in many cases. One pound eighty five today, please. Goodness me, that's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Um, sorry, it was, it's almost like I just, it just all dawned on me all at once. It came flooding towards me all at once. Yeah, yeah, it happens, it happens. I was a bit slow, digesting. You know, it's what, how many hours on? Three hours on. That's all right. And That's all right. <laughs> and I'm only just really <laughs> digesting that deal. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, so many of you multi-buying. Congratulations. Thank goodness this is sold out today. It was launched this morning, selling out today. Well done, everybody. Don't go anywhere because the time is now. We are going to be joined by the fantastic Dave Tross launching this incredible gemstone, just filled with excitement and phenomena, Dave Troth joins us to launch the beautiful, the magnificent Eupolite. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa and there are already rumours that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the Quad A grade material and you're not going to want to miss these opportunities. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. 
catch up on Jewelry Maker. How exciting is this next showcase? And I tell you what, just when you think gemstones can't be fascinating enough, they throw a phenomena like this. Yeah. To introduce it to you, there can only be one person, the fantastic Dave Trough. Oh, thank you, Al. Uh, it's wonderful to be here. It's wonderful to be here with you guys as well, the whole team. Uh, we've been excited about this for some weeks now, mm. haven't we? Knowing that we've got this kind of second part of this incredible, glorious, you said it right, phenomenal collection. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there are many gemstones around the world that we see, like rubies and emeralds, and there's big commercial deposits. This is, these are found by what we call rock hounds, okay? And rock hounds? Yeah, like people who go searching for something. This isn't a commercial mine. There's no, you know, huge machinery. There, there, there is no commercial production. So this is why these showcases are always a bit ad hoc. They arrive at strange times. It's only been on once before. This is the second part. It takes a long time to get this material. And I found the, the gentleman who discovered this, that had the Discovery Channel documentary, mm. and it is mind-blowing. And the excitement for this, and it, I don't know uh, previously, but certainly in 2023, being at his booth at Tucson, yeah. just seeing s him selling, like, you know, huge, vast amounts of this material and for the prices, you're getting a better deal than this was at the wholesale point. Wow. You'll find a lot of information about this incredible uh, gemstone out there because it has caught the zeitgeist of the, 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 the attention of the mineral community. Um, and, you know, they call it the eupolite. That will become uh, apparent uh, you know, very soon. But what is eupolite? The mysterious glowing rocks. And this was written in 2021. It's such a new, exciting find. And what I find even more remarkable, you know, we talk about... Let's think about like a really famous discovery that we all kind of might know, Tanzanite. Yeah. You know, we think about this chance discovery, right? So Manuel de Souza, who was a tailor, who had these grandiose dreams of changing his life, was, you know, moving through uh, Africa in a taxi, uh, wanted to go to this certain area to go begin prospecting, because like this, there was a gem rush on at this point in the late mm. 60s in, in uh, Tanzania in particular, and the other locations, East Africa, the Rift Valley. And the taxi, I mean, there was no roads, zero roads, you know, um, it was, it, you're out in the bush. And the taxi driver eventually was like, no, get out, I'm not going any further, you know, there was <laughs> rains coming, it was like a nightmare, battered like through the Sahara, essentially. Mamma de Souza gets out, and one of the stories is, one of the romantic versions of the story is that in these rains, the lightning hit a rock in the ground and uh, it turned it blue because of the heat. I don't think that happened realistically. I think what happened is, they dropped him off and he just started prospecting. He had his pickaxe and he found this incredible gemstone. Now he thought it was sapphire originally. And the, yep. the beautiful thing about that is that that was for millions of years. You think about the tribes, the people, the civilizations that have existed in East Africa, you know, this is where humanity, you know, um, began. We've walked over Tanzania. Yeah. Which never knew, right? Because it's buried. The most incredible thing about this is this wasn't buried. This was washed up on the shores of Lake Superior in North America, right? Wow. And the beautiful thing is they'd seen these rocks, right? These weather-worn rocks, and you can see them right now, and they're great, and they're you know, interesting. It was only when one gentleman decided to go down there with his UV torch, okay? And he had an ultra-strong uh, UV torch, with a huge beam on it, like a laser almost, extremely powerful. I met the guy. And he goes, and he was walking along Lake Superior, walking his dog, and it was essentially a torch, a really strong torch, uh, because it has very little light pollution out in Lake Superior, so it's really dark, but amazing starry night. Mm -hmm. And he had a torch like we do sometimes, where you, it switches between the different, mm -hmm. you know, you can have incandescent, you can have daylight, and then yep. you have UV, right? Today we've got a specific UV, uh, but you, there are many torches out there, as you know, that you can just buy. They have all the different light sources on them. And he was walking his dog out in Lake Superior, and he had this really long beam on it because his dog's out there, and he just switched the UV accidentally, and he said it scared him to death. Everything just glue orange. Oh my god! And, he and he's right on the shores, and he didn't know if something had washed up. He's like, I didn't know if there'd been some kind of pollution spill or something because I was just surrounded <laughs> by this almost like phosphorescence, this glowing, unbelievable. But it looked like lava. Yeah, I was going to say like lava. And, um, and that is what he found the secret that for millions of years, people have you know walked through that landmass. You know, recent years, you know, Lake, Sup Lake Superior is so beautiful. It's a tourist destination, boating, mm. kayaking, fishing. No one ever knew 
that this secret was locked inside these wow. really unique metamorphic rocks. You can see it there, so on the left, people have just seen those rocks and they were beautiful and they were unique. But what he managed to capture is what you're seeing on the right. Amazing. And the, the, uh, I want to explain what this um, combination is because it is extremely rare. It's a cyanite rock, but it's rich with fluorescent sodalite. Now, not all sodalite is fluorescent, but this variety is. And if you're unsure on exactly what we're talking about here, a eupolite, in short, is a special kind of fluorescent rock that you can find predominantly along the shores of Lake Superior. That, as the trademark name suggests, can glow when subjected to specific light, uh, lighting conditions. And this fascinating discovery is owed to Michigan man um, Eric uh, Rintamaki. Strolling into the shoreline at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. one fateful morning back in 2017, using his new UV light, he saw these stones that were emitting a now distinguishable teal, yellowish, luminescent glow. The discovery would garnish a staggering amount of national media attention and has since inspired Eric to pursue a mentorship role within his community. Wow. He, and I met him and you know, he's got this incredible team of people like in his local community that he's employing and teaching them how to cut and carve because he's himself is a rock hound, so he knows the rudimentary carvings. And um, he's got a very small team that are doing this. And because it's not commercial, because they have to go to Lake Superior and collect these rocks, bring them back, it's a very small production. Mm. So you get an opportunity today, but it is extremely limited. It's far easier for me to get any other gemstone than this, believe really? it or not. Yeah. <coughs> and bless me. you. Uh, and then again, just to try and explain what this is, Eupolite, which uh, this analysis has shown, is a cyanide class containing fluorescent sodalite. At this point, it's reportedly specific to the shorts, uh, the shores of Lake Superior. Okay. okay. Um, in the the Kinwa uh, Peninsula, in the first verified and documented sodalite from Michigan State. Geologically, it is thought to have formed in Canada before being carried by glacier from the Canadian Shield to Michigan. And you can see these galaxy patterns that you find now. A lot of people wow. think that this is unique, that it only exists in Michigan that was carried down from Canada. But we have found other sources of this material. Okay. okay so the material that I'm bringing you today is from either Madagascar or Guatemala. Okay, exactly the same scientifically, gemologically, mineralogically, you know, it's a cyanite rock with that fluorescent soda light. But the interesting thing is, and if we'd have bought this from Lake Superior, the prices you'd see today, for instance, I'll show you actually. In fact, I've got um, a picture, like this material, this is the same as what we have, okay, this incredible material. And um, they say, look, one example of this came about in 2018 when the online sale of some of Eric's Eupolite, so if you got it from Lake Superior, you've got to get it from Eric, attracted the attention of geologist Raymond uh, Lachlan and Sean McCarlson, a geologist and mineralogist, respectively, both from Michigan. They purchased some of Eric's rocks and began to technically analyze the specimens. And you can see some of the large ones are like wow. 15 and a half thousand pounds, okay? Because it's from th that incredible discovery. It literally so looks this, like almost a bead of lava, doesn't it? Yeah, and I saw these because Eric's got everything there he, on his booth. I was there with Jake um, just a few months ago. And uh, his booth is really, really clever because it's dark. You go in there, it's dark. And then he just hands out UV lights, right? I think yeah, I remember. You've been there as well, Al, yeah? Yeah, I yeah, remember exactly. it. So this is the booth we're talking about. So, so he has pieces exactly identical to this yes. from Lake Michigan. They're about $1,500. As soon as you said it's dark, yeah, it's I remember. Black, remember. Okay, yeah. there you go. So something like this, and we'll show you with the UV a little bit later on, but it would be about $1,500 wholesale, which means we'd have to sell it for above £1,500. But by working with mineralogists and geologists around the world, we have found these other incredible pockets, these tiny discoveries usually occurring again on these incredible lake shorelines. And it means today, well, we're going to save you thousands yeah. on this collection. We are going to save you thousands. It's incredible. We are bringing you Gemological Eupolite, if that is the trademark name, and we're going to give you an incredible deal. Because it is thought many, remember it's only been discovered in 2017, so it's really, really early days. And so it is thought collectively that it only exists in this one place on Earth. It's a tiny place here, North America, expensive gems, but they're specimens, they're, they're you know, acquired to be seen um, as, as specimens in cabinets. But we're finding them in these other locations. Manama also has a few pockets, Guatemala, uh, Madagascar, and of course, um, the, the original site, which is right up there in Michigan. And there are other people that are creating jewelry out of this material from these other locations, the same as us. And I want you to see this, Ross, because you know the deal that we're going to do on, for instance, the towers. Pieces like this sell for, you know, with the pitting, we're not bringing you the pitting. We're very strict about our grading for £150. Wow. Which, again, is a great deal. Hmm. When you factor in the deals that we're going to bring our collectors today, it is night and day. 
but I'm not saying we'll never get this again. I'm just saying that it's very difficult to get. And for us to replace this collection might take us some time. So is this one... Uh, when you I'll see it, get it. Is, is this on the back of your recent trip to Tucson? You know, well, I mean, no, no, because I didn't buy it from Eric. From, I went to speak to Eric. We wanted to see if we could bring Eric's material from Lake Michigan, from Lake Superior here. The prices are just too high. Yeah. I'm not saying they're tens of thousands. I mean, obviously, for the big pieces, they're like 15 grand. But like I said, if you, here you go. And you can decide, because we listen to you. It's live. It's interactive. You can message in the studio. You can message Ross, whatever. I'm telling you right now, that tower... You've seen it yourself out mm -hmm. in Tucson. Mm. If you want to pay fifteen hundred pounds for it, I'm happy to bring the material from Lake Superior here. I'd love yeah. to. Yeah. Because then you get to meet Eric and you get to hear that story of how he found it. But we've gone a different route, and we've gone, like I said, to these other tiny satellite locations around the world, wow. namely Madagascar. Really, is where this material is being found, and it's not going to be long before they climb up to the prices of the Michigan material because that is leading the market. Yeah. It's a. It's, I guess the difference here is, Pereira. There's Brazilian Pereba, the original True. site yeah. from uh, you know, Mr. Barbosa, that incredible material that is like $60,000 a carat at the top. And then there's Mozambique, there's East Africa. Same material gemologically. There was an argument whether it could even be called Pereba because it's not from Pereba. Yep. This is the same argument that's going on right now. And you get the opportunity to acquire the best deal ever on this cocktail composition of this fluorescent, beautiful rock. I wish you the best of luck. It is, of course, very limited by its very nature, but you're going to get a gemstone that can't help but put a smile on your face and at the best incredible deals. It's fascinating. It really Do you is. know what? That, that story, it, it, can you imagine, though? You, put, you literally flick your torch and all of a sudden the floor literally looks it's like, like lava. It's like lava, yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> How it's terrifying. amazing. In the middle of nowhere as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What do you do? Um, I've just heard how limited these are, Dave. Yeah, so I do apologise for that. Um, this isn't like us bringing you uh, even Mozambique ruby, because that's a commercial mine. This is a very rare occurrence, mineralogically, and uh, we have very limited opportunities for those of you that want to join us today. I wish you the best of luck. Wow. Look. Yeah, every single piece will have these unique patterns within. It is just the coolest stone yeah. Ever, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Flecks of gold almost within. Oh, wow. Every single one, like you said. How amazing. Yeah. How Now, we do only amazing. have 50. It's going to just say, Hannah, you're a genius over there, because we just switch off the lights, and she's there doing her masterclass, like crafting incredible jewelry in the dark. <laughs> You know, like, yeah. no, no consideration. Let's show this. Let's switch off all the lights. And she does something really intricate and uh, carries on. Just not a yeah. bother. Like, just okay. unbelievable. That shows you how talented Hannah is. That is incredible. Uh, like trying to, thread, oh, trying to just... thread the eye of a needle in pitch black, you know? I know. Amazing. I know, I know. Um, I mean, our lovely Alan Sue have created this beautiful marlin necklace. I love it. I really do it's... love it. It has such a beautiful colour in daylight anyway. Yeah. You know, that oh, it's wonderful like imperial grey uh, uh, colour. Yeah, like yeah. labradorite. Yeah. And um, so we're going to start with this very small quantity, 50 of these available. I'm going to start at 199. Okay, you're going to start there. You wouldn't even get that, as you know, first hand out mm -hmm. for 199 at wholesale. No. If this was from Lake Superior. No, absolutely not. I, you can you see know, that lava that glow. It was like the the pitch in darkness, I remember so vividly, because it's like really bizarre. Yeah, he's, well, a, he's a very interesting character, is Eric? Yeah. Very interesting. Fabulous. Right. Who wants crazy deals this morning? Yes, please. Who wants the wildest deals across the whole collection? Then I'm going to urge you to get on the phone. I'm going to urge you probably to multi-buy on this collection. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds, if that's okay with you, Adam. We'll give everyone 30 seconds, and we'll get a one crazy low deal on this significant 210 carats of natural eupolite with wow. that wonderful lava-like glow emanating from within the body of the gem. Susan, you're in, in yeah. Lancashire. We already have multi-buyers that are trusting us. I'm going double figures on this, just so you know. Double, figure double figures on 210 points. carats on something that we know has an established price already yeah. into three or four figures for a piece like this. And it's so different, that's the thing. Yeah. It's, you know, you know, I love the big five, of course I do, but it's so cool to yeah. have such a story behind yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 a hidden secret. Right, Ross, I'm going to do one crazy deal. I hope the contact centre are primed and ready for this. Yours today, 
$49.99. Wow. That's what I'm doing on 210 carats of natural upalite with that incredible burning embers locked within the it's body so of the gem. Unlock, unlocking those with the UV torch. Um, absolutely, it is a divine kind of secret that is locked away. You're all jumping on the finance. You're all multi-buying. It is extremely busy. We are going to be continuing these incredible deals throughout the whole showcase. Just make sure you're early. Make sure you're on the phone lines. Make sure you're first. But but they're limited, obviously. So you've limited. Got, you've got, what, two strands of round? Yep. No, three strands of round, I beg your pardon. The drums. Yes. The two towers. The towers are insane. They are The insane. deals that we're going to do on the towers. Um, how many of the towers do we have, Ross? 50. Oh, my five, God. Nowhere near enough. Five, yeah. Nowhere near enough. And likewise, there's only 55 of this strand as yep. well, so... Check out as soon as you can. Yeah, Worcestershire, Tyne and Weir, Wiltshire, Lancashire, Worcestershire. Um, we've got bidders, uh, anonymous bidders, maker, 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 multi buyers. Good luck. Forty nine ninety nine. It's twenty four ninety nine on your interest free split payments. Do you know what, Dave? I, I mean, I love the fact that it's got that hidden secret. As you I said. do too. Um, but this is is a way of wearing almost your monochromes without that. Yeah, really well, it reminds me of the ultra rare imperial grey jade. Yeah. Yeah, you know, by day, and then to know that within, locked away in this extremely rare. Uh, cocktail composition gemstone is this burning, wonderful lava swirls of colour. I think there's something really magical about it. Tyne and Weir, you've just multi bought. Well done. Richard, you're there. Well done. Yeah. This is, um, it's going to be on and gone. Everything in this show, we are about just giving you the craziest deals. It also reminds me a little bit, you know, like what, the attraction to Alexandrite. Mm. You know, Alexandrite. Ruby by day, emerald by exactly. night. Exactly. Yeah. You've got that wonderful transformation, yeah. haven't you? Rock by day, lava by night. How this cool. This is what we have. It's, it's, it's a special gemstone. I knew the collectors that would be there that would love this. I got you polite last time. I can't tell you how mesmerizing this stone is. Get it and see for yourself. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Margo. That's so kind. I love the community that we have here. Yeah. You're trying to breed confidence to everyone else that's maybe sitting on the fence saying, I don't know. Margo's there going, I've got it. It's mesmerizing. Yeah, it is. And, it. and there will be people, obviously, who have never heard of Upalite before. Yeah, for sure. Is, I was one of them not too long ago. Yeah, because it is one of those gemstones that it's not It's not on your uh, average high Because street. there's not enough of them. No. You know, they're, 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 they can't create the demand for something that is far too rare. No, exactly. And, but it's exciting, isn't it? So exciting. And it does. It's, I love that. Rock by day, lava by under UV light. Um, you know what, let's amazing. do, let, uh, you want to do a mega close out on this? Who's just, talking? I'm, I'm just saying to, to Ross and the team, do you want me to oh. do a mega close out? Because I can. I can go absolutely crazy. I'll give you um, an incredible 30 second clock. Now, I will say, by the way, I don't expect these deals going forward. This was part of an incredible deal where we were trialing this gemstone. Okay. It's been wildly successful. And to honor that incredible deal, I'm prepared to take this to a ridiculous low price. For those of you that have got this before, you know where we should be. It is an incredible deal at 49.99. There's 210 carats. I'm about to take it even lower, but remember this is a mega closeout, okay? That's what it is. Um, this won't be the case moving forward. If we acquire more of this material, we will be at a slightly elevated deal, but today we're prepared to do something really, really special for you. So yours today, 34.99, take it and Honestly, run. Honestly, that is, do you know, in preparation for today's show, one mm -hmm. of the things that Ross and I did discuss was that smaller stones than what's on your screens right now, they sold on it for much higher. Oh, for time. sure, yeah, I know. Much, they should much, do, much. they should do. And if they were actually the, the material from Lake Superior, like I said, this piece here wouldn't be too far away from a thousand pounds. We're at 35 right. quid. Who makes you savings like this? I know. This is what we do all the time, every single day. That's why it's extremely busy. That's why you're in a queue. I'd love for you to use our app or our website because it's seamless, it's easy, yeah. and you can avoid yes. those lengthy queues on the phone lines. We're at 35 pounds. 17 pound right 49. You know we've gone too low if we've got split payment on it. Oh yeah. We do. Yeah, to, we should. We should, anything under fifty pounds should not be on split payment. Wayne's going to well burst done. in on me. He's going to swing the door off the hinges. I tell you what, he's going to look like a upalite, isn't he? He is going to look literally like a glowing red. He will be glowing red. He'll be hot <laughs> like lava, won't he? How you doing, Wayne? You're alright. Is he in there? He's very quiet. Uh, I think. It's unnerving that's the, when that's Wayne goes the, quiet. I don't mind too much when he's angry. I prefer him to go quiet than when he goes the other way and he's like. Yeah. Going nuts, bit, jumping bit, up and down, just a bit shouting. Stompy. Yeah, a just bit stompy, stomp. slamming doors. You know, he gives you all that treatment, doesn't he? Yeah. But 34.99, take advantage, get involved. Stomps involved. around the place. Stomps around like a toddler. <laughs> I'm Lovely joking, Wayne. of course. Don't, please keep Wayne's on board for these deals. He loves it. Um, oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I show you this, look, simple. So simple. Yeah, beautiful. Everybody could make that. Yeah. How cool. Now, whenever we start working towards these kind of sizes, Dave, mm. 
you well you've you know you've been here multiple times the the popularity of uh, oh uh, this is the, the more usable sizes for yeah. our jewelry makers isn't it? it's what you love i'm going to do a close out deal on these as well how many do we have ross um pardon we've got 160. oh then we're going wild we're going to go amazing. wild I'm going to urge you to get on the phone lines now. You saw what I just did. This is even more popular, but fortunately we have a bigger quantity. So yeah. I've got 161. I'm going to make 161 disappear this morning. So I'm going to do an absolutely ridiculous, phenomenal deal on this legendary parcel of Upalite. 130 carats, frees you up to be able to create a multitude of different styles and different designs, whether you want to create the long look, the, the mala, whatever it may be. Mm. We're about to take this to an unbelievable deal for every single one of you. I'm going to give you a minute clock to get on the phone lines. You don't actually need it. I can see you there already on the phone lines. Mm. But I'm going to give you a minute before I give you the final price. It's going to get crazy. And this is the penultimate strand on the round. Yeah, You've got absolutely. eight and six millimetres, which again, Alan Sue, one of the, it, it's become a little bit of their trademark, I mm, guess, I to create it. this really yeah. beautiful graduation. So yeah. Simple, but also effective. You know, I love the spacing. Yeah. I love the different usage of the sizes. And I love that tassel uh, that, that we see. I can see you wearing this, Dave. Yeah, thank you. I Maybe, but maybe I will one day. Maybe well, I will. When I'm at Ghetto be Golf be and it glows yeah. and, and <laughs> the UV lights. Yeah. Um, we're at 26 seconds. Yeah, on the face too. Oh yeah, nice yeah. bit of face paint. Absolutely. As I do. No, but I can genuinely see you wearing like a long line marlin. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, okay. I think you could pull that. I think, I think you think I'm a lot cooler than I am. You are cool. Yeah, I, I think cool. you've got a lot more faith in me than I have in myself. Well. I don't know if I could pull that off, but you know, willing to try. Um, good luck. You're in a queue and you're going to see why you're in that queue. It's going to pay dividends for you that got in early. Everyone's going to pay the final low deal and that final low deal right now, I'm going to do it. 29.99, good luck. Take it and run again. 161 of these, so I would recommend multi-buying. I would absolutely push for you guys to multi-buy on this. You have that epic, incredible lava-like flame from within the gem. You can see that wonderfully on the recording there. Um, and you can see the piece by daylight as well, showing those m the multitude of uh, understated and elegant tri-colors. And you know, you'll be wearing this and you'll probably forget that it does it. Yeah, for you'll sure. You'll probably wearing forget. it just because it's beautiful. And then you go, oh yeah, one day, you know, you catch yourself you in a certain light. You fluorescent lighting. Yeah. Which you do on a regular basis. Oh, of course, yeah. You know, there's fluorescent lighting around. There is. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden, these amazing deep cashmere greys. Yeah, for sure. Turn into this wonderful... Yeah, glowing lava. Oh, it's just cool. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of gemstone. So they get, and again... You, I mean, like, you, you might love this gemstone so much that you just change the lighting in your house. Yeah. Just UV bulbs, <laughs> just in the living room, in the kitchen, wherever it may be, just because you want to feel it, you're vibing yeah. it. You got this. Just get the old school strips back. <laughs> yeah, the, the fluorescent them? tubes, yeah. The big, big, big when you turn it on. Yeah, um, yeah. I do remember that. <laughs> $29.99, we had 160 opportunities. This is your eight mil. Still an opportunity because we had such a huge quantity of these, which means you get such a huge deal. I'm Make to, sure you're there. I'm trying to think back, because obviously I'm going back a year now, but um, that booth, it was only the one, wasn't it? I yeah, yeah, there was no more of the Upalite vendors there. No, no one else had this material. It is relatively, well, it's a very new gemstone, an extremely new gemstone. Um, and you get the opportunity right now to get this for an incredible deal. That you're looking at it right now with that glowing, incredible flex of those yeah. lava colors coming through. You know what? Forget it. You want a mega, mega, mega deal? 20 oh. quid. What are we doing now? 20 pounds. 19.99, let's do it. Let's do it. It's my final deal with you. Um, apologies, Al. Al is going to continue with this incredible show. Yeah. So I always like to go out with a bang. So this one, I probably screwed your whole show, so I'm sorry, Ross, but I'm going to go to 19 <laughs> It's all good. So the towers are still to come. We've got the drums still to come. 130 carats. 19.99. He did. He said that. He said that. Got an amazing deal. Then they part, we passed that deal on. We did get an amazing deal, but it wasn't this good. We're probably losing money here, but it is what it is. £19.99. Yeah, Caroline, it, Beverly, Justin, Multibuys. I'd recommend everyone Multibuy this price. It's insane. But, you know, we will be introducing you polite to people for the first time oh, today Oh, for sure, well. yeah. I know never never associate it with this price, though. No. no. Don't think, oh, you polite. Yeah, you can get like 100 carats of that for £20. You can't. No. This is just what we're doing right now as part of this incredible offering, this very special showcase that I was so thrilled to see so many of you joining us on. We know it's busy. When you do deals like this on gemstones mm -hmm. like this, it is always going to be 
busy. Paula, Maker, Catherine, Cheryl, Daniel's got two, Satvia, Caroline, Beverly, Justin's got two, Angela, Gillian, Paula, uh, Fran Francesca, David, Maker, Glenda, Mary, Jerry, Lena, Kerry, Janet, Angela. Just jump on in. It couldn't be easier. Yeah. It's 19 pounds and 99 pence on this unbelievable collection of natural eupolites. There's a cyanite rock with wonderful fluorescent sodalite -like buried within that crystal structure that is offering us this wonderful uh, distinctive patterning that one can only see with the help of a UV torch. And Mary, you've just bought two as well, well done. Just, just the coolest, isn't it? It's yeah. so, so cool. And even like I said, without that UV presence, it's a really beautiful gemstone. And we oh, love yeah. here at Jewelry Maker, we absolutely adore Labradorite. Oh, yeah. Labradorite has always been a very pop, uh, a firm sure. favorite. You can understand um, it has that appearance too. Yeah, for Not sure. necessarily. We're gonna leave that with you. It doesn't color. mean you've missed out, it just no. means I'm going to do one more deal with you, if you want okay. me to, but it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. So apologize for that. This one, if you want to do it, I've got a 300 quantity. So Which you know how one? good the deal is going to be. The, si the six mil? Yeah. 300 quantity. <gasps> Huge deal. And I'm going to do something very, very special for every single one of you. For that, I justified it by saying, well, I've got 161. I've got 300 of these. And you're going to be able to create whatever you want to create with this incredible, sensational gemstone. I would get the graphics in now, and I would urge you to get on the phone lines. Now, I would, the price I'm going to do, you're probably all going to buy three. So realistically, it's 100 opportunities. So, I mean, if saying three makes me think that you can immediately do your Marla necklaces. You've got enough there to do I launched this. And do you want me to show you where I launched it at? Yeah. 29.99. Okay. So I'm going to put that on the screen right now. Does that mean you're not... Oh, I'm nowhere near. You're I'm not going to do, do some. I'm telling. Percent. I said everyone will want to buy three, so we have a hundred opportunities. I would urge you to buy three. Okay. I'm going to do something absolutely unbelievable. Three hundred of these. This what? size, six between six and seven mil, and you've got three. Susan, you've got two. Janice, you've got two. Oh, lots of trust there. Yeah, well, you're going to see why. I'm going to pay you back. Don't worry. I'll ask for just the thirty-second clock. It's my final deal with you. Um, you still have the incredible towers to come, yeah. which are going to and be ridiculous deals, and the drums as well. But here, 300 quantity, and you're going to see, this is the price it's always ever been. So when I mean that we are just in the business of doing the greatest deals ever today, that's what we're going to do. Maker in Fife, you've got three, well done. Beverly, you've got two, well done. Another bidder's got three, well done. Belinda, you've got two. Susan, you've now got three. You've got like 10 seconds. Good luck, everybody. Six mils are our favourite. Look, you, we can see it immediately with the call screens. Mm -hmm. And plus, of course, everything Ross, that you've uh, said. Uh, sorry, you, you want me to do one more deal? I said I'll do it, but it's my last deal. And I, I said to you, I always like to go out with a bang, so I have <laughs> to do something crazy. And the craziest thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to half the price. I'm going to go to fourteen ninety nine. You launched Told it. You and what's on your screen? Thirty right pounds, now. yeah, which was incredible. But right now, we managed to get some more of these, and I'm going to do this. Unbelievable. So wait, those three strands that you were suggesting, I'm rubbish at maths, but even I can work that one out, 45 pounds. You got it. And you are looking at, what is that, uh, 860, about 250 carats, mm -hmm. just under. How amazing is that? Yeah, and if you'd have bought three of these before, it'd have been 90 pounds. Yeah. And you get to buy Big three today for 45 pounds, half the price. We're half price today. Big difference. Um, we have 300. Sounds like a lot, but when a deal's this good, you're going to find out how yeah. limited this is going to become very, very soon. No, I'm going to say probably about 40%, maybe even more, yeah. um, have actually chosen to multi-buy, and I don't blame you for mm -hmm. that. Um, do you know what I am also thinking, Dave? Um, this would look, be, look absolutely incredible with tomorrow's. Well, tomorrow launch. I am absolutely thrilled to introduce you to the world of a gemstone that has taken the Far East by storm. It comes from Madagascar, but the Chinese have oh. bought the mine. Um, we have, we're very lucky to have great connections in China, so we've managed to get some of this material. We're going to be bringing you the, the unbelievable Sakura agate. It's the stunning. cherry tree blossom agate that has these petal-like inclusions, plume inclusions, which means that it's within the body of a translucent gem. Usually with agate, it's layers, so it's all surface, okay. surface, surface. These are translucent and they have these incredible kind of cherry tree petals locked within. It is absolutely divine. We're dealing with quad A grade as well. Wow. So the best colours yeah. you can get. Because you can get it in green, you can get it in other colours. <gasps> you can see it here. We'll show you one piece. This is coming up tomorrow at 10am, right? Do you know, it's weird, oh, my word. Dave, the other day I popped to our local, your, your, the local supermarket to you and I, yeah. and 
Um, the cherry blossoms are out right now, oh, aren't they? Sure. So it, it is. But this is the cherry blossom that never dies. This is the one that you get to keep forever, to get the pass down through generations. This isn't to showcase the inclusions. This is just showcasing how translucent, translucent this material is. is. And that's where the light penetrates all the way through and the occlusions seem to disappear. Wait a sec. Yeah. Oh, my goodness yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> how beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, my That's goodness. coming up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, well, make sure you don't miss out. Make sure you check okay, we'll out. Okay, stay as well. holding for this. I'm going to th sh take you to that clip of film about the score at Agate launch that is taking place tomorrow. When we come back, I won't be here, but L will be here. We've set the precedence. They've got to do crazy deals now. You've got the towers. You've got the drums. It's going to be sensational. Do not miss it. Um, this will tell you a little bit more about the legendary launch we've got coming up tomorrow. Good luck. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa and there are already rumours that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material and you're not going to want to miss these opportunities. Just giving you a heads up, this Sunday we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. That was the most perfectly timed uh, VT ever as I knock over my coffee. Um, welcome back, everybody. Make sure you keep dialing through and checking out for your beautiful six millimeter rounds. But up next, Oh, of all the strands, I have to say this is the one I'm pretty excited about. It is the only one, and I'm going to draw your attention to Anne and Sue's beautiful piece, uh, amazing necklace here, where you've got all the, all the sizes, sorry, of your rounds, but then the feature, look at the feature beads, which are these gorgeous statement drums. I love this strand, and I'm so hoping that Roscoe is going to tell me that there's a big quantity. A hundred? Is there? 240 carats of this amazing gemstone. Look! Is anybody else thinking as well this would be great for... Like, my husband would wear this. He would absolutely wear this. For sure. This beautiful, deep, strong, quite masculine like colours. I'd agree, I think this is my favourite strand of the, uh, of the showcase. Richard straight away has bought three. Amazing, Richard. Um, we have been given permission from Dave to continue these amazing deals as well on this incredible parcel. He's a very busy man, is our Dave at the moment. He's here, there and everywhere. Um, but we're so grateful for him bringing across this opportunity, launching this amazing natural gemstone. At £149, I think we've all appreciated now and realised that that's an amazing, um, a, an amazing deal. If you look at the quality of that ring that, that Dave showed earlier on, which was kind of brown, which is not ideal, really. Very pitted on the surface. Um, what you really want is a much, there we go, under magnification, you can see that one, that pitting effectively. Not ideal. You know, we don't want any gemstone to have pitting, really. You want a smooth, perfect, uh, flawless polish. Look at ours under magnification, under UV light furthermore. Bigger carat weight, better quality, currently even a better price point. And we're going to take ours under £50. I love this strand. I'm going to have to get one of these. These are so cool. Here it is. You're getting a full traditional jewellery maker strand. You could make this bracelet and then some. The towers are coming back. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Alongside the cyan red cord would be quite cool, wouldn't it? How about using this in amongst your jadeite? I think it's 
Funny, especially because you've got that, that sort of like dual aspect to it. So you, you've got your jade out by day and you've got your eupolite by night, haven't you? Oh, it's fascinating. And what, like, you know, the reason why I mentioned Alexandra earlier on, um, Hannah, was because that's really what attracts us to Alexandra is the fact that yeah, it colour changes. Yeah, change, yeah. And I that's mean, what attracts us to your colour change garnets or any yeah. other colour change gemstone is because, ooh, look, it changes colour, you know. Um, it's impressive. It's fascinating, it isn't really it? It is, yeah. But this isn't this isn't just a slight colour morph. It's dramatic. It's it goes from yeah, yeah. It goes from this kind of traditional, beautiful cashmere steely grey to something that literally looks like lava. It's so cool, and we're doing it for just forty nine ninety nine. How many did you say? Sorry, Roscoe. We have just over 100 available, Anne, West Midland, Suzanne, Janice, Richards, Multibore, amazing, getting three. Susan, new customer, Gloucestershire, Hello to you, Cambridgeshire, West Midlands, you're there as well. You can get, this is the biggest carrot weight, I'm right in saying, aren't I, across the entire strand of the, uh, yeah, of the, of the new Eupolite uh, parcel that we have, which was super limited. You've got to remember, of all the strands of Eupolite that we were able to launch for you today, there was four. There was four. That's it. That's all we actually had. Um, this is probably my favourite, though. I just love the quite, quite dynamic, you know, those... Um, sorry. Yeah, Dave was supposed to stop here. He did go lower. Yeah, but these are probably more wasteful, Ross, because you've, you have to make... To make a rondelle or a drum shape, you have to make the round, and then you have to sort of cut a percentage off the top and the bottom. But... Dave did a great deal, and he did a great deal, I think, because he had quantity. Is that right? We've got quantity. Not quite 300 quantity, but we have got quantity. We're going to do a great deal just because Dave did. Why not? <laughs> Anything Dave can do. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm not going to say we do it better. <laughs> I'm not going to say we do it better, but we can match it. We can absolutely match it, but we need to see you there on those phone lines. Use that 30 seconds to either add it to your baskets. You don't have to check out straight away. Make us, uh, let us see you on the phone lines. If there is the demand for the, the, the passion for this gemstone, you know, I don't know. It conjures up images to me, and I know Wayne is still in the gallery. It conjures up images of, to me of the, 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 the lava the lava monster that you see, Qatar, isn't it, or something like that. You can see this power, can't you, Luana, within this yeah. beautiful gemstone. We are going lower. We are going to match that amazing Dave Trost deal on the first strand that he brought. But this is bigger. And it's a more wasteful shape because you still have to cut it in your rounds and then basically lose a percentage off the top and the bottom as well. £17.49 on your split payment. So you know that you know that's too low. It's a, it's a rule. I don't know if it's an unwritten rule, but it's definitely a rule um, that we're not meant to take anything, um, add anything to split payment if it's less than £50. Isn't that right? Yep. Sorry, what is it? I beg your pardon. See, that's how well we, we abide by those rules. Um, it's actually 69.99. That's what officially we're meant to do. 34.99, but your split payment of 17 pounds and 49 pence. Amazing. So cool. So cool. Hannah, would you be using these alongside your afternoon kits? Um, I don't see why not. I mean, I, I quite like the fact that you can, you've got different uh, sort of sizes of the of the, the uh, strands you've got. So you could do graduations again. So because I've got long line mm. um, necklaces and with tassels on the end, you need a slightly larger um, stone at the end of the tassel so that it hangs nicely. Yeah, and this um, would. And it, and it absolutely would. Yeah, you, you could, it would. It would, it would balance it, it out beautifully. Like elephant it? tassel. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing. Make sure you do check out though, um, because we had 100 and it's, yeah, 100 is a, a, of Eupolite, which we rarely ever see. The towers are coming up. Now, I fully, fully predict that these are going to fly out the door very fast. Um, they have both been available on pre order. Um, the large one, I'm just going to borrow that blackboard for a second. The large one is flying on pre order, so do be quick on this. So, 55 in terms of quantity of each and I'll put them alongside one another so you can get an idea of the scale it's just so incredibly exciting isn't it 
so 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 exciting so what is so exciting about you polite well here's a gemstone which we uh, as dave said the story we knew it we'd people had walked across it um, and it wasn't until a single light source that was shone across the shores did we see this an incredible phenomena effect where the gemstones almost lit up like lava initially can you imagine that you'd be terrified wouldn't you yeah, all of a sudden you'd, the floor wonder, turns to lava you'd wonder what you'd discovered or what was happening yeah so it's slightly panic <laughs> or are you surrounded by yeah, something like, which is wow. not going to do you uh yeah yeah but this is a perfectly safe gemstone it just has this amazing magical ability whenever we bring you towers in any gem because we decorate, you know, we've, we decorate ourselves with adornment. You know, this is an adornment for your home. As soon as we, yeah, let's start that 60, 60 second clock. And that's going to count down to the graphics appearing on your screens. Please don't wait. If you've got your heart set on owning this, is gonna, it will be an on-screen sellout. I'm fairly confident of that. I'm going to bring you the large tower first, and then we're going to bring you the smaller tower. So, I mean, there's lots of beliefs uh, attached to your beautiful gemstones, aren't they? You know, many people believe that um, sort of your, your crystal pendants, for example, they're often this shape but pointed the other direction, and that's to direct the energy of the gemstone um, towards your heart. I mean, this is something that I know that many of us have collected over the past sort of, what is it, what do you think, five, six years? But ne have we got eupolite? I, of course I don't. Have you got eupolite? No, I've never had Any it Any eupolite in your stash? No. No, not me. So this is a collector's dream opportunity. Well, in 10 seconds, we're taking it even lower, launching for the very first time. Even lower than you would expect is my point, is what I'm thinking. Because, you know, the strands alone, that was super duper affordable. Something like this, which is a sculpture. Yeah, I'm not surprised there's multi-buyers getting involved. I'm not surprised there's, and our in-house designers got this, M Michael and Miranda, Peter and Sharon, Elaine multi-buying, Dorothy, Janice, well done. We only have 55. £149 for this beautiful work of art. And the gemstones, this is going to sound quite blasé. We've brought you selenite towers. We've brought you, let me see, quartz. We've brought you amethyst. Yeah. Citrine. I want to say citrine. I think we've done citrine. We might have done maybe a couple of rose quartz. Yes, we've done but they're more far significantly more abundant. You know, quartz is the second most abundant mineral on this planet. We are talking about one of the rarest minerals on the planet to be bringing it, to be able to acquire 400 carats in this beautiful tower. It is going under a hundred pounds though. It's not stopping here. The largest in terms of stature, it stands about 10 centimetres, that, that, yeah, 9 to 10 centimetres, beautifully faceted all the way around, you can see. And again, using your UV torch um, on, on the surface of this gemstone, you'll see that amazing, amazing magic. And it, it, it just transforms, doesn't it? You'd be lucky sometimes when you look at your Alexandra if it, if it does anything at all, whereas this... It's so immediate, it's not light trickery. All I need to do is get my UV torch to the surface and you will see, here you go, you will see it literally, there we go, if I turn in that direction, see it light up and glow, this beautiful fluorescent red. That's not treatment, that's how this gemstone uh, 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 forms. We're gonna take this under 50 pounds for you today. Well done to the collectors that have already got involved. Well done to every single one of you. Sorry, I'm not showing this very well. Um, every single one of you that has already made your confirmations, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just going to do this for, as well. Try and turn it around, show you the entire, entire fluorescence, even on the underside, look. It's just fascinating, isn't it? Totally natural. Very rare at 49.99 or 24.99 on your split payments you know what to do shirley jane well done to you cornwall worcestershire you've got yours i've got carolyn in oxfordshire congratulations as well ah uh, i'll never tire of looking at something like this we've got the smaller tower coming up 
Just amazing. Totally and utterly natural. The smaller tower is coming up. One for the collectors and connoisseurs. Do you know, Han, you know, we think of jewellery, obviously, as jewellery makers. We think of jewellery for gifts and presents and things like that. But what about for those people that don't necessarily wear jewellery? And I've got uh, Tom, I find really difficult to buy for. Yeah. So well, even though he's my husband, and I'd like to think, think I know him better than anyone. You know, so people who are really hard to buy gifts for, this is something just different cool. that, that they're not going to have, are they? No. Cool. It is cool. It's different. I like it. Ross is saying in my ear that 55 of these were available on the launch and for whatever reason, 20 have gone. It's not as many as we'd hoped. Okay, so look, look, we are reactive and, and I know our gemstone buyer's in the gallery, or he certainly was. Is he still there? Yeah. So listen, the way we gauge it in terms of the popularity of the gemstones and the gemstones that we buy is by the call screens. And if not enough go... And look, we shouldn't be going any lower. We've tried to, we, you know, Dave has, has portrayed absolutely the rarity. It's, it's found in what? A few locations, a few locations around the world. Diamond mines, you can find in uh, multitudes of locations. You politely find it in a couple, a couple of mines around the world. So we've portrayed the value, the price per carat of this gemstone. But for whatever reason, it's not as popular as we'd have hoped. So we have to be reactive. What that means in terms of buying, moving forward, I don't know. None on order, not buying anymore. There we go, he's just said it in my ear now. Okay. We have to be reactive though. Not enough to sold today and it would be completely pointless for me to bring these towers to air if only 20 sold. So make the most of this opportunity and like I said, we can, uh, you know, it's live TV. Can I just say about what about Father's Day? How cool would that be on Father's Day? Let's give some you polite this gemstone that literally glows like like molten fire. How cool is that? It'd be like if there's some other dimensionary kind of thing or like a like worldly. Yeah, we get excited worldly, about yeah. your Moldavite, don't we? Because it's got yeah. little bubbles inside. Yeah. We get excited and I love Moldavite, don't yeah. get me wrong. We get excited about Ruby Fluorit's fluorescence ability. We get excited about gemstones like your, I don't know, uh Sphene, because it's hugely dispersive. This gemstone literally looks like a ball of lava. It's, it's cool. It is cool, isn't it? It's one of those things that I bet you could do, um, you know, if, if you were a teacher or if, or if you had, um, like, you know, children that would be interested in it, you could teach them about it. It could become their show and tell and they could yeah. teach like this whole new generation There's a story. about this amazing gemstone. Very cool. Well done. We've gone way lower than we were originally planning. So well done. Um, you can get this home today. Gosh, split payment. Look at that. That's absolutely astonishing. $14.99 or just $29.99 uh, for a 400 carat Upolite tower. Obviously, the towers are rarer than the strands. Obviously, because you need one large piece um, as opposed to sort of multiple little pieces. Let's bring you the smaller. But when I say that, though, it's not tiny. Um, there's 55 also. And we'll say it out loud. Again, it has to have a kind of, well, it doesn't have to, but, um, you know, it tends to have a knock-on effect from the previous tower. Um, so this one's 150, uh, 150 carats. Six to seven millimetres, so there's the difference. Uh, six to seven millimetres in its size. And I'm going to price promise it under £20 for you, lovely jewellery makers. You know what to do. Straight away, you've got collectors getting involved. It's a lovely little item to have sort of around your home. You know, when you, um, I don't know, you might be watching TV and some fluorescent light might see this gemstone completely transform. Just cool in that wonderful state statement uh, tower shape. Kelly, Fife, Peter and Sharon, Michaela and Miranda, hello to you, sorry, Michael and Miranda, beg your pardon. Uh, Janice, Mary and Jerry, hello to you, Gloucestershire, Judith, Vivian, Moira. We only had 55 of these available. Price pledged at under £20. I don't know, we, well, there's no you polite move um, on, on, on order. Um, and there's uh, no you polite being purchased moving forward. We've just, I've just heard that literally live as we speak. So, but you know, we can get excited about it right now. To be honest, even, uh, even if these were 
were on screen sellouts in a nanosecond, you know, it's difficult to get hold of. There's only three known locations, and, and Dave sort of highlighted to us that the USA location would not be anywhere near at a double figure price point. Well done to our collectors and connoisseurs. Really lovely to see uh, to see this gemstone on our screen. And it wasn't until Dave mentioned, you know, the booth in darkness that I knew exactly which one he was talking about. Because you want to remember there's multiple tents over in Tucson. You've got the AGTA, which has got all the really expensive jewelry shops. You've got, and there's different degrees. You've got ones which is all about high-end jewelry, one which is much more affordable or beaded style jewelry. Then you've got your rocks and crystals and fossils. You've got all of those. And you can go to all these different shows around the city. But there was one, and it was probably one of the biggest tents that was just went it was it was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters long in its length you could you couldn't see the other end of the tent it was that vast and marquee they're huge absolutely huge and generally when i said we walked well over twenty five thousand steps per day is an understatement um but yeah you isn't it funny how you remember immediately that one booth which is in complete darkness why was it in darkness because it's eupolite now we've just realized the large tower was meant to be 49.99. You can get the pair, the pair for that price tag. Is that right? Oh gosh, yes it is because you did that for 29.99. So you can get the pair of Upolite towers for 49.99. That's amazing. Okay. And that was meant to be the price of this one. How incredible. This fascinating gemstone. And it's a conversation starter. Isn't that one of the many reasons that we love this, uh, love Mother Nature's treasures? Because they have beautiful, cool stories behind them. Down to the final 15, well done, Jane, Susan, Carola, Muriel, Virginia, Gillian, uh, Beryl, Dorothy, Chantal, Margaret, Cheryl, Gloucestershire, Kelly. Kelly said, I'll tell you what, I'll have two. Thanks. That's lovely. Nice gifts. I struggle with so many people on gifts. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the people you can't buy for normally because they, they've got everything that they, they possibly want, but I bet they haven't got a Upolite. I bet they haven't got the little sort of talisman no. um, towers, you know. Back in the day, I can remember, for, the, for that very reason, I struggled to buy... I was think I really stuck on what to buy Tom. I just bought him a little dinosaur tooth. Aww. little dinosaur tooth. We yeah, very appreciated that. I mean, so cool. Make sure you stay with us. Now, my goodness me, we've been raving about this masterclass all morning. Our only downside is that we do not have enough. There's, what, 58, I think, of two of the colours and 78 of the silver. Um, these kits are beautiful, and I have to tell you, the jewellery is some of, the fa uh, some of my favourite jewellery that's ever been created. These are simply stunning, Hannah. Um, <laughs> it is all about those lovely elephants. You do get the beautiful strands to go alongside. Can't wait to step into this masterclass. Join Hannah and I after this. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Hi all, Alison Terry here. Just giving you a heads up. This Sunday, we've only got the Amber Dragon scales back. They're incredible. Join us on Sunday. Don't miss out, they fly. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I can't tell you how much I love this jewellery, Hannah. It's it's so beautiful. Thank you. And it's I'm gonna lean it sorry, tilt them towards you. Yeah, they're a little so much little so close. I have the immense pleasure of joining all of our amazing guest designers on a regular basis and admiring all of their beautiful creations on a regular basis. Hannah, this is up there with some of my favorite with some of my all-time favourite. Stunning! <laughs> What's not to love? A big voluptuous tassel yes <laughs> beaded tassel as well the most beautiful parve set pendants Lumps, yeah they're so gorgeous aren't they they this screams firstly i'm going to say it's got that kind of indian jewelry vibe yeah um we tom and i went to uh, um friends of ours they're uh indian and they celebrate the, their celebrations are just wonderful they do see. it well don't they they really really yeah. do <laughs> and the, and just that the whole traditional outfits were just absolutely beautiful all the embroidery was absolutely beautiful and it was very much a lot of you know these long quite decadent tassel obviously yeah. all the multiple bangles as well up the arm so stunning I wish this show had actually been prior to last weekend. And then I said, Hannah, I don't know if I can borrow it. <laughs> borrow it to go. Um, to yeah, just to go to that. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, these are beautiful. Oh, thank you. So beautiful. <laughs> but. Limited. Yeah. I'm so sad about the quantity. Aww. I'm so, I'm genuine. Genuinely, if you were to ask me, if I was a betting person, which I'm not, but if I was a betting person, and I'm going to say this, and I'll relay it back upstairs as well, do you know what we should have bought? Do you know the quantity that we should have bought? And it might not have been pos possible, so this is not um, a criticism at all. We should have bought at least 500 of each of these. That's a lot of flumps. It's a lot of flumps, <laughs> but I'm fairly sure each and every single one of those flumps would have found a home. Aww. Well, do you not agree? Do you agree with me? Oh, well, I mean, I'm biased, though. I, I love... Elephants You're not. All I think, my life. <laughs> I think everybody loves elephants. Yeah, yeah I know you, you collect them, don't you? Uh, yeah, I've got forty-two elephants at home. What's not to love about an elephant? They're beautiful creatures. Yeah. And they make, you know, much like 
I'm getting a bit of a Cartier vibe to this. Ooh. Um, because Cartier, of course, do that, the, the Panther, the yes. Parve set Panther. Yeah. Um, they have got, I think it's called De Panther. It Cartier De Panther. Is, yeah. They do it in a watch. They do it in a... Um, my my mum actually, um, like I said, has got has got, and I used to work in the jewellers. And my dad treated mm -hmm. my mum once upon a time to a Cartier bag, and it's Cartier Panther. Beautiful. It's literally the circle of the Panther. So it's getting that kind of vibe, but also a little bit of a Van Cleef and Arpels. Well, I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> I love them. Do you all agree? Text in. Because I'm fairly confident these are going to sell out. We need more. We need names as well. That's what I was going to oh, say. Oh, text in for your names. Yeah. yeah. What, what should they be I called? know. We said them earlier on, didn't we? Stanley and Edith. Oh, oh, but they're the mollusks, though, aren't they? That's right, they were the yeah. mollusks. Okay, text in. I don't know, but these are so beautiful, are Hannah. I, 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 I genuinely <laughs> can't praise them enough. Which colour, Hannah? We're going to leave the silver to last. Okay. Which colour do you want us to show first? Uh, I've left my tweez. Oh, no, I haven't. Maybe the gold? I so want this kit. <laughs> I want this kit. They're all available. I think that's risky, Ross. Silver's got a, a bigger quantity by about 20. But it's always the most popular, isn't it? But 20 of them was gone. I think that's risky, putting them on pre-order. So you get your gold hematite in a metre long length strand. You get these beautiful four millimetre hematites as well. You get, oh, you almost, get you almost, baby flumps. You almost <laughs> overlook these little guys. Come on, hang on. What were you saying earlier on, Hannah, about my nails? Hang well, on. I, I, yeah, I just wondered how you coped with stuff. Oh. With nails, I have to have mine really short, otherwise I get annoyed with them. The minute I, I tell you what, let's do that. Keyboard before my finger hits the keyboard, it annoys me. <laughs> look at look at them. Aren't they the most Aren't sweet? They adorable? And they're double sided as well, little baby elephants. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, he's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Well, they do, don't they? They roll on their backs. Baby flumpty. Oh, Hannah. <laughs> oh, look, stop it now, Elle. You're making a right pig's ear of this, aren't you? Um, <laughs> all your beautiful hematite, but then, oh my goodness, the star of the show is that parve set elephant. It's an illusion pendant, which I, I just love. So, Hannah, this is a tassel top, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's quite a sizable tassel top, which is why I went for a big tassel. Because love it. I think it, it sort of warranted it, really. I love it. And then if I show you the reverse as well, you can see where um, and how you strand it. The fact that it has got a double bail means that it's not going to flip over so yep, easily. Yeah, it'll stay facing forward, yeah. Look, there it is. You can see that double bail. Oh, my goodness me. The love of this kit, Hannah. It could, I, I couldn't love it anymore. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So, flying out on pre-order. Um, we've got 58 of the yellow gold. I think equivalent quantity of the rose gold, 78 of the silver. They will sell out. Like, I confidently say that I think if we had 500 of these, then that might be, yeah, you might be all right there. <laughs> might be all right, but only just. Wow. More flumps, please. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm not complaining. I love a flump. I think they're cute. You'd expect to pay a much higher price point for something like this. Genuine gemstones, beautiful hematite, parve set, this gold-plated, stunning, stunning elephant. Look at the detail of them. Look at the beautiful mo uh, marquee-shaped eyes. And they're exactly the same, by the way, the rose and the silver. So if you just basically want to shop ahead and guarantee. Yeah, long strides. You've got a meter in the eight mil. And then, sorry, six mil. And then you've got a 38 centimeter in the four millimeter. The only way to get hold of the elephants is in this kit. So they have been bought complete. And you get the two little miniature elephants as well, which are double-sided. And if we look at Hannah's amazing necklace. Yeah, so on, on the gold one, I've included them as part of the necklace. And, oh. and on the silver, I've, I've made separate earrings to just showcase the fact that they are there. <laughs> oh, Han. They're cute, aren't they? Just, it, that, I like it because he's almost hidden. And then you go, oh, and gosh, And then you just yes. get that little bit of, oh. We're not stopping there, though, Han. Oh, 
Oh, are we not? No. Are you going to show us how to make these beautiful? I, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make the, the, the sort of the embellished tassel and then how you attach that to the flump. Amazing. £34.99. Goodness, oh, goodness me, that's me. absolutely that's... amazing. I love it. I love that big statement tassel. I love the beading all the way around. I love, I love the elephant. I love the little miniature elephants. I love your hematite. It's just gorgeous. This kit is stunning. Your ju your jewellery is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Um, we've got it in the silver pl uh, silver plated. We've got it in the rose plate uh, rose gold. Sorry, uh, plated. But again, very limited. Do sh I would recommend you shopping ahead because fifty eight is. Is, is a minuscule quantity for us really, um, especially on a, a Friday afternoon. Monica's got two, well done. Tina, Sarah, Cheshire, Maker, Isle of Wight, Barry, Joyce, Maureen, Lynn, Margaret, Wiltshire, mm -hmm. Julia, Ke uh, Keith, hello to you, Valerie, Kate in Kent, well, uh, sorry, Gwent rather, um, Anne in Pembrokeshire, Sharon, Pauline, mm -hmm. Mary, why well, don't you? Pauline, you've got yours. That's the quantity that remain. You know, I wish we had, I wish we had, even 200 <laughs> would have been good, wouldn't it? Would have been good. We still, they'd have still sold out. 200 was still sold I out. I mean, it's, it's great. I'm maybe, fairly maybe sure they would have done. Maybe we can revisit flumps in the future with other gems. More flumps! Like that. Oh, could you imagine a jade? But particularly this design, <laughs> no. It's, it's how decadent that design is. How about this? And I know it would be a different price point. How about that in silver? With Ooh. topaz? Or gold-plated sterling silver as well? Very nice. That would be lovely too. Very nice. It? And it would probably be a bigger, a bigger it, price point. It, it would be because they are they are big. Yeah, big, big pieces. Yeah. So we're helping with the affordability of it as well. But thirty four ninety nine, unbelievable. Any questions that you might have for our lovely Hannah? Do message in. We are live here in the studio, and I would strongly recommend shopping ahead on the other colours. Um, yeah, sadly, fifty eight. I think it's 59 and 78 were the quantities that we had of um, all three of the kits. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but don't worry, our call centre will get to you. I'll keep you updated on the quantities. We'll get to the other kits in a few moments' time. Um, Hannah, but take it away. These kits are okay, beautiful. Okay, so I have to say thank you to one of our viewers for, for um, telling me about the tassels they make. I can't... The problem is, I'm, I'm going to say Mandy Alexander, but I'm not sure if it was actually her or not, mm -hmm. said... When you're making a, a nice chunky tassel, um, she, she wraps the cord around 50 times. So I've, I've been going about 45, 50 to get the bigger tassel and it, and it looks so luxurious. It's gorgeous. It. So um, I've started off, I've got a couple of my um, I'd like those cords. in my home. Um, I've got this sort of, so, these are just, so I've added, obviously I've added things to the kit myself for, for my stash, but um, I, it's all things that we've we've either got here or we've sold in the past on Jewelry Maker. So um, I've got two different colours of my um, cord. I think they're probably a 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Um, the black one, I used the uh, 0 0.9 and just did one colour. Um, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to tie myself a little knot here. Um, and I'm just going to use a little pin. And if you've got something like a knotty do-it-all, you can absolutely do this on that. If you don't, this is kind of the makeshift way of getting the same effect. So that is just to kind of give you a little anchor point so that you can start weaving. And then I'm going to run this, so I hold it in my hand, and then basically you're trying to get both of the threads through without dropping all the cords. And I've got two um, T-pins, you can't quite see that one because it's under the graphics, but, but there are two. And whatever distance you put here is twice the, the length of the tassel. So you've got to be mindful that the tassel is going to be about that length, perhaps a little bit shorter. So that's how you gauge how long you will want it. Can I, can I move that slightly? Lovely. Perfect. That, just, just about. There we go. So I'm just literally going to start um, weaving the cords around my T-pins. And you do have to help the cords so that they don't pull the T-pins out of place as well you could probably do this on a macrame board as well so you, ju you just start wrapping where am I at one two three four I'm not gonna do the whole thing just just give you the idea but if I start off with a smaller amount and then show you the technique and then I do my blue peter bit and go to one that I've already made so you keep going with this until you've got quite a nice sort of sizable amount I've lost count already. <laughs> so I'm just going to go by eye. So 
So you keep winding this, winding it, winding it, winding it. And this would only be very skinny if I took this off now, but I think I will to show you how you get to the next point because there's quite a lot of beading involved. Oops, missed it. So you keep going until, until you've got about, I would say, 45 or, or 50 um, passes of, of thread around like that. And then take a little piece of um, either the same cord or you can use um, beading thread, not beading thread, um, fire line, wildfire. I've got a needle somewhere, put it down. There it is. Get like that. So if I just wrap this underneath the middle, this, this brings your tassel together. So I'm going to pass that around a couple of times underneath and then going to do a few knots in the middle just to secure it. And then once you're, once you're confident that's secure, you can uh, snip away your anchor point to about the same length as the tassel and you can snip away the leftover bit there. And then you can pick up. I guess if you've got the knotty do-it-all tool, this is. Uh... That's that's when when they sort of first sort of told me about it because I because I'd made some tassels before, but it was the first time I'd done it. Yeah. So I got sort of the idea of how, but then I, I, one of the, our customers uh, messaged in and said to get a nice chunky um, tassel. They use that sort of many, mm. about fifty passes. So you've released it, and then you need to fold it in half. Release the tassel. Release the tassel, and you need to just position it so that you get a nice kind of um, smooth shape at the top and then using the cord that you've, you've attached it you're then going to wrap that around several times until it's secure and then wh what I tend to like to do is actually use the needle and push it through the center of, of the, the braids as well to secure it in place before you tie a knot so if you do it in a few different directions obviously it would be much thicker if you, if you do it for the 50 times but this is just a demo point of view and then I can just do a little hook it underneath the um, cords that are there or your threads. Again, this gives a loop, so you put your hand into the loop, take hold of the needle and pull it back out through the loop. And you can do that several times to, until you're confident that like, if you trim that away, it's not going to spring apart because you, you need that to stay secure. So I'm just going to take that off there. Um, at this point, um, it was a tip from, I believe, Susie, our lovely Susie, was when you're working with this kind of cord, it wants to do that. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is dunk the whole thing in water, yep. squeeze it tight, and then use another piece of cord and, ju and just tie that round the end and then leave it until yep. it's dry. Yeah. And then if you do that, that um, it, it, it helps it straighten out. So I, I've actually, with the ones I've made, I've dunked them twice. Once when I've started making, and then again after I'd finished, I dunked it and then tied it and then let it hang and dry straight. Um, and it just helps. So here's, here's, here's a thicker one that I've um, already made. And you can see it's got the tassels around there. And um, incidentally, when I cut that, I've no idea if it's actually going to stay straight or not. It probably it might need another dunk. It might not. Um, so when you've got to that point, again, working with a needle and thread, I'm then going to use some of the beads that you um, use for your, for your main necklace. Um, and you want eight um, beads uh, separated by a spacer bead. So I, I found that if I'm using about 45 passes of, of this um, thread, both colours that is, um, and then eight of my, I've got little bicones, I'm not sure if they're three or four mil, and then I've got an eight O seed bead, and it just gives me a, a nice sort of um, circumference around the top of the tassel. So, so you then wrap that around, you, you go through it a few times so that you're, you're nice and secure and you know that it's all anchored um, neatly. And then you need to start to build that up. So um, what I was working on was the idea of like little sort of triangles on top of your, um, your slightly larger beads. So I've got some 11 OC beads um, and I'm, I think, is it two or three I've picked up? I'm just gonna have a little squiz. I think it's two, and so two of the 11 O's and one of the eight. And two of the eleven. Three, rows. I think. Have I got three? Oh, that might be. I mean, on the actual. Oh, um, I beg your pardon. The beaded tassel, yeah. Don't your business out. So, um, so what you're trying to do is make like a little sort of um, hat that sits oh, on, okay. on top of. The, I mean, I've used bicones. <gasps> you could use it. You could use a round. The gold one's got rounds in it. Oh, um, Hannah, that's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, so you thread that down. So. Um, so 
sorry, I should have said, like, make sure you're exiting the, the thread um, from your uh, slightly larger bead first, then add two 11s, one eight, two 11s, and then make sort of a loop back through that same bead so that those beads then sit like a little um, hat, if you like, on top of it, like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that all the way around. So, so two of those, one of those, two of those. And I've passed the needle through so it's coming out of the next bigger bead, not, not the spaces in the middle. And again, I'm going to make a little loop, pass the thread all the way through until you're coming out of the next feature bead along. And what that'll do, it gives you a little hat on top. So I've got to go all the way around. So one, two, and an eight, and two, and then again, make my loop. Sometimes you can get it all the way through in one go. Sometimes you just need to do a couple of beads at a time. So that might be because there's a knot in that one. So just make sure it's passed through. That one's got stuck. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a pull with some flat nose pliers. That's, that's going to be a challenge on the next pass through, actually, because there's a knot inside that um, bicone there. So bear with me. So again, passing through that one. Oh, it went through better that time. And it's, I mean, it's quite a satisfying thing to stitch up because you do get that little um, kind of like fancy... I don't, know, I don't know if it's Indian or if it's Turkish or if it's you know, Moroccan. You get that lovely mm. little sort of embellishment going on. It's beautiful, isn't it? When it regardless. I liked it. <laughs> lovely colours that you've chosen in, this, in the cords as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, obviously, I mean, I've just gone, I've gone with things that I thought would complement the, the elephant. So... I was thinking if I'd got something that was a bit kind of rose goldy, I knew I'd got the bicone, so I thought, right, well, I'm going to try and team something with it that's going to be sympathetic. Yeah, I know it works, Anna. Um, there are literally five of these left. Can I just give you a stock update? Because the call screens, um, there's Janice, Lindsay, Lynette, Mary, Cheshire, Karen, Jackie, Susan, Maker, Jane, Cheshire. You disappear off the screen. Loads of you are still in, the, in your basket. Um, let's bring you the rose gold colour now, which includes... Um, Beautiful cubes of black spinel. This is the kit that you're demoing yes, with right is, now. Yeah. Um, you get lovely cultured pearls. So if you look at Hannah's entire board, you'll see yeah. how it's perfectly laid out. And pan out. Um, uh, yeah, can you see? There you go. There you are. So this is the kit oh. that Hannah is actually working with right now. So you get black spinel, beautiful pearls. You get your two tiny little elephants as well, the same as the ones that were in the... Um, I say tiny, they're not in minuscule are they um but beautiful and then you have this wonderful uh, parve set rose gold uh rose gold plated base metal tassel um he's stunning he's absolutely stunning you can see as well first thing that i noticed hannah is the well not the first thing the first thing i noticed was how beautiful it was but second thing was actually that tassel top is actually easy because you've got sometimes yeah. I, it's really tricky to attach them, isn't it? I've, I've had some that have been quite, quite petite and you've had to sort of like actually bend the wire with your fingers or, or whatever so that you can actually tuck it through yeah. um, or have something like, I don't know, like a featherweight head pin or something to try and hook it out so that you can, you can actually get the, the thread over the bar and out again. But then when you do it like that, it disappears. Yeah, and yeah. Th this, this one's lovely. I mean, I did start off trying to stitch straight to the bars and I actually thought, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need a bigger tassel. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So I thought, right, no, cut that away again. And then I thought, right, I'm gonna go back to the, the making the tassel like I did the, because I did bag charms before and I really liked them. And I thought, that's that kind of chunky thing that's gonna sit nicely because you've got that lovely sort of flayed kind yeah. of trumpet shape. Beautiful, 34 pounds and 99 pence only. Um, love it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got exactly the same quantity as the yellow, by the way, 58. Um, these are going fast, it's proving to be very popular. I'm not surprised actually, because the rose gold with the black and the pearls, I just think lush. Look, just be, I've never said lush on air before, I don't think. <laughs> but it is lush. Yeah, well, you're allowed to. Oh, yeah, you, can tell, <laughs> you can tell I'm excited about these kits. Oh, I know, I love it. It's a lovely buzz about it, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, beautiful. Um, I did go very Welsh, didn't I? Do you want me to go even more Welsh? These kits are absolutely <laughs> fabulous. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
you like him the most? Oh, he is so good at that. Uh, should, should <laughs> well, you should be, yeah. Um, back to you. Okay, so um, the next step is once you've got all your little sort of like hats over the top of your um, slightly bigger beads, um, you then, when you've gone all the way around, make sure you go through your um, 8 o seed bead and up through until you're exiting through the, the point of one of the hats, the bobble of your hat, if you like. Um, and then between each of your, in this case, black beads, you're going to add another set of two 11 O's, one 8 O, two 11 O's, and you're just going to go straight across the top like that. And what you're doing is, is effectively it's netting, um, but you're going, to, you're going to create a little um, kind of tassel top by doing it. So this, this is the, the second half of the, the net, and then you put your feature bead back in. And when you put your features back in and pull it, it cinches the whole thing together. So I'm going to go through there. And it's, they're almost like little flying saucers, to be fair. Okay. So again, just passing through, keeping the pattern the same. So if you've not done it before, I'm sure you could try. And it's quite a rewarding thing, you know, once you've got the hang of how to make a little beaded cap on and a tassel. And this is, you know, what really appeals me with, to me with this, Hannah, as well, because sometimes seed beading, it looks very fiddly and, you know, you, you've got to hold this tiny component and work in like a yeah. tube, et cetera, but you've actually got something to hold on to it's, with that tassel. Yeah, it's pretty helpful. Yeah. So, so I'm, this is kind of the step up again. So this is the last one that I'm going through and then I'm going to pass my needle through until it exits the next 11 o. So that will be um, the middle section of one of your joining pieces. Does that make sense? So yeah. I'm not sure it does. But I hope it to. does. I know what you mean. Okay, and this one is where you have to trust the process. So now all we're going to add on is one of the um, bicones or whatever you've used as your feature bead here, and you're going to kind of zip up the central um, eight o's. So in all the sections where you've just added one in the middle of your section, that's the one you're looking for. So not the one that's here because that's going to be the middle of your netting, but the next one. So it's kind of every other one. Just one there. If I can pick it up. It's trying to run away from me. And then not the next one, but the one after. If I just pull that slightly, you should see how it's trying to sort of bunch the rest of the stitching together. So not the next one, but the one after. So if you get yourself in a bit of a pickle, basically you're trying to get your bicones to line up either side here. Okay. And then another one. Oh, I keep catching those T-pins. Let me just move those because I'm going to do myself a mischief with those. So again, looking for the middle and pull it slightly. I'm kind of cinching as I'm going and then another one. And each time, every time you add one and then you just pull it tight slightly, you're forcing the, the other beads out. So you can get this little sort of um, flying saucer shape appearing. Okay. Give that a little push. And I keep going round and nearly nearly round that loop. I should say I think I've got um, a size 12 needle that I'm using just because some of the um, cubes later have got a smaller drill hole and pearls obviously have a smaller drill hole, so it just helps you. Right, so this is the this is the step up again. So again, I'm looking for not not the one straight after, but the one after it, which is going to be the first one that you added the new bicone behind. And it will be tricky to get the needle in that one because it's on an angle now. If I can force it out a little bit. There we go. Like that. Right, now I'm just going to help it. I'm going to push that out like that. So to reinforce that little bit. Oh, what's going on there? That one that's tucked itself underneath too far. Just manipulate it a little bit. And then I'm just going to reinforce this row. So now I'm going to go through just the bicones and the um, eight o's again. It should be easier because they should stand slightly prouder. 
but again you might not be able to get through many beads in one pass of the, the needle. So again through those ones and just trying to reinforce it because you're going to have um, quite a lot of weight of um, gemstones and things hanging from it um, as part of the tassel. Just trying to get out through there. I don't want it to go through that 11 -0. I'm just, just battling with it a little bit there. There we go. It will behave itself. Get in there. And then once you're once you're um, confident that they're all hooked up, you can then start to make the um, the sort of the downward um, kind of embellishment, that, like the drape of the tassel, if you like, that makes it look so fancy. Oh, it's gone through the eleven o again. Come on, there we go. Have I gone through all of them twice? I don't think I've quite got through all of them, so I'm just going to make sure I have. Before I move on. Okay, so I think that's fairly, fairly close. And then, so I'm looking to cinch it in. I'm just going to sort of help that little shape. So you get like a little do donut, if you like, of um, of beads, of gemstones, and you have these little points here. And then at this point, um, what I have found is a little bit more helpful so that the whole thing doesn't slip when it's got the rest of the weight on it, is if you just stab your needle straight through the tassel and out through the beading on the other side, it doesn't matter where, it just means that it's going to stay. So hook it over part of your stitching and then through again. It just means it's going to sort of anchor that um, beaded section to the top of the tassel. Otherwise, once you've got the weight on it, it might slip down. It might not look quite as you'd hoped. So at that point, we're then going to feed our um, needle back into the stitching. So find an, an appropriate place where there's a bicone and then you're going diagonally into the middle. So what you're trying to do is get your needle to the, to the central row of um, eight O's that are sitting proud on the outside of your flying saucer shape. These would be nice in your house as well, Hannah. Yeah, you could make light pools and things like that. Oh, you? can you imagine? That's really cool. So now you're going to you're going to add something else in into that gap. So it might be that you. Oh, I don't know if I can add a pearl. Is that going to be what? too I might, big? I oh. might put this one next to you so we can see the. So you can see where I'm getting to. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Okay, I'm going to go. For, I've got a slightly bigger bicone that I'm going to put between these. Um, just because it fits that gap. So you're, you're looking for the central row of the 8-0s now, the 8 -O seed beads, and you're literally going to add in one bead between each of those central beads. And this is going to be like the outermost point of your embellishment. And pass that into there. Going to feed that through. the way around getting there obviously I've, I'm, I'm just using um, bicones from my stash but you could use pearls in this point you could use some of your other gemstones you could use some of the cubes if you fancy it's just what is personal preference it's just whatever you think looks nice it's quite dramatic with the bicones there actually just passing that through and then as you go, you just want to make sure that the little diamond shapes underneath the um, embellishments are, there's, it's almost like a little sort of plinth, a little place for, the, for these little beads to sit. So there we go. I actually wonder if they might have been slightly better with the smaller ones in the middle. It's gone, I've gone a bit dramatic, but then, hey, it's me. <laughs> You've got to try these things. Right, so just manipulating that into place. And then once you're happy with your sort of embellishment, you can then start to make the, the downward strut. So I don't know if you want to... Yeah, let's bring the next kit in. Yeah, by all means. I'm just going to reinforce it um, and tie it off. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? I, uh, the, the, these kits are massively over-allocated, but they are still showing as available. This one 
Well, firstly, silver plated is always your most popular. And um, there's your big, beautiful parve silver plated elephant with that magnificent tassel top. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? There's your two little mini, mini elephants. And it comes with a massive strand of, I'm just going to pop the elephant down for a second, um, of beautiful uh, neon appetite. But this is, this is, do you remember this cut? It's the star cut, isn't it? Yeah, you get your star cut and also your matte satin uh, glass pills of three millimeter size. How beautiful are these kits? Absolutely stunning. Do you know, I think we could really do an a collection of these. We could do something like a monkey. Oh, so you could nice. almost have like the tail that sort of swings round. Yeah. Over. You could have giraffes, absolutely. You could do rhinoceroses. You could do like a whole... You could, yeah, you could do a giraffe with like a really tall. Um, so, so the, the the trumpet bit at the bottom would have to be the would be the long section of his neck, and then yes. a little head on the top. <laughs> How amazing! Yeah. I, I I just love the idea of doing like a whole collection of them. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, I think I think they're absolutely gorgeous anyway. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Well done. Um, okay, we had just to give you a heads up. We only had seventy-eight of the silver. We had a limited quantity, on it, and they're very close to selling out already. Ross is saying in my ear, um, "Amazing, good, yeah, this will sell out as we expected, Hannah." Um, imminently. Back to you, lovely, if you're ready. Okay, so I'm I'm just working my uh, needle back down to the lower edge. So all, all I've done is I've just sort of reinforced it slightly. I think in hindsight, if I was to do this again, I'd, I'd probably use smaller beads here, though. So the lovely. same size as that, and then they'd, they'd perhaps oh, be a bit I more. Oh, I like it. Do you? So it's quite a flamboyant one, this one. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Well, let's be honest, these are flamboyant, yes. aren't they? Yeah, they are, they are. Um, so I've just brought my um, thread back down to the, to the sort of like the, the original row of beading underneath. Um, and then what I'm going to do is um, add on the first of the downward tassels. So um, I'm going to start right. off. Sounds like a yoga move, that does. Yeah, a downward tassel. Right, ladies, <laughs> can we just relax into your downward tassel? <laughs> <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, too yeah. many punchlines. Yeah. All right, yeah, carry so, on. So um, this, <laughs> what I want to do, so you know how you made the little sort of the, the little hat with the, with the three beads um, or the two beads earlier and then the 8 and then the same again and it went around the bead? We're going to do that off the bottom but have it slightly longer. So this time there's going to be three of the 11 O's and then an 8 O, and then later on you'll end up with another three that join it back up. So you have like the sort of a downward point. You can kind of, you can kind of see it there. On the, on the tassel, but we're only doing half of it and then you're adding the whole tassel before you do that. So I've made myself a little pattern up here of things that I think look nice. So I'm going for another three 11 O's. Oops, well, well if I can get them on the needle. Eight O, another, another three 11 O's. And I'm just alternating so that I've got a little sort of expanse of the, the beads before I then go into some of the heavier gemstones. But also what I want to do is make sure that the, the length of the tassel is as long as this when it's, when it's cut. So you just want to make sure it's, it's kind of where you've tied it off, really. It's going to be about that length. Okay, so when I get down here, I then can start to use some of the other gemstones that we've got. So I am taking a bit of a gamble because sometimes the drill holes aren't great. That's why I've gone for a, a smallish needle. So I'm hoping this is going to work. So I'm just adding graduated sizes of my cubes and then alternating with my seed beads in between like spacers. Okay. Come on. Oh, it went, it went on, good. So I know that's still not long enough and I want a little bit more of a flourish on the end here. So I'm just gonna add a few more. So I'm gonna use the same beads that I've used for the tassel top and then some of the slightly larger versions. I know I'm slightly off screen. I'm coming back into it in a second, sorry. Um, just once I've picked everything up. So I'm, I'm kind of tapering so that the beads slowly get slightly bigger, slightly heavier towards the end of the tassel. And then when you're making this, you have to remember that, that this um, section here is going, going to be slightly shorter because you've got, you're going to move it across to the next um, 
to the other side of that bead that it's exiting from. So it, it will be slightly shorter than you think. So I reckon that's about right for this length of tassel and it gives me space to, to cut the ends off yeah. without any difficulty. So I've added um, a, small, a small seed bead on the end, an 11 on the end, and then I'm going to skip over that seed bead and then I'm going to pass the needle back through everything, back to the, to the top. And again, this might take a little bit of persuasion to get the needle back through some of these gemstones. So would you recommend using a, a 10, a size 10 needle? Um, I'd, go, I'd go smaller, I'd go for a 12 if you've, okay. if you've got one. Um, depending on what you're working with, obviously some of, so the gold um, kit was, was um, quite big drill holes. It's just, it's purely because these um, cubes have got a slightly smaller one. Mm. And pearls will have a smaller one. Um, there we go. You but can. a little bit of persuasion. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes that works. Sometimes you snap the needle. <laughs> Don't panic. It's it's not uncommon. <laughs> and then you can just start to feed them back up. So I'm just passing these back up the line. Try not to miss any of them out because it will make a kink in your tassel if you if you do. And then when you get to the 8-0, you want to exit that. So you don't go through the original three 11 seed beads. Um, and then instead, what you're going to do is you're, you're going to pick up... Can you see where I am? Yeah, you're going to pick up three more of your 11 O's, and you're going to make the other side of this little V. So I'm going to go through... I'm going to go through that, that little bicone, if I can. Like that. And then that creates your Look at that. shape. So then you work, you work your way through until you get to the, the next bicone and then you do the same. So you start with your, your three little beads at the top, the full length of your tassel. So copy the same order that you've done here yeah. and then come up and then it goes around in a loop until you've got them all the way around. And then once it's secure, like once it, it's all, all the way around, you can, you can finish it off. If you've got enough of your thread left, mine's possibly a bit short to do it, you th I would then um, pass the needle straight up through the middle of the tassel. So it exits at the top here. And then this is where you can get hold of your flump. Get your and, flump. and you'll find that you've got this lovely little sort of crossbar here. So you need to work out which, which is going to be the front of your tassel and make sure you line your elephant up accordingly because you need to hold it in position like that, and then you, you literally, you pass your needle through so that it, it hooks over one of the crossbars. Can you, you can sort of see that, like that. Hold it in place and then go through the tassel from the other side and bring it forwards. But you need it to be somewhere near the top because you don't want to see those joins. So you're creating loops. I'm sewing here. It is sewing, and, and then on the other side, Balance it so that you're going over the other side of the, the, the crossbar. Make sure that loop doesn't get caught on the bottom. And then pass it literally, literally through your tassel top. Yeah? Amazing. Like Hannah. that, like that. And obviously you do, you do that as many times as you feel you need to, to make sure that that is secure before you then feed your needle back down here somewhere and tie it off. And then it's all, it's all quite hidden. So for these ones, if, if you... If you, if you fold it to the side, you can kind of see the joins in there, but you don't really want to see them. So you can then sort of mess about with a pin. You can plump out, plump out your um, tassel top by sort of encouraging it out like that. Yeah. Amazing, Hannah, absolutely beautiful. Wonderful demonstration as well. Thank you so much. Now the silver sold out, yellow gold sold out, rose gold, there's still a few of them, but not many, not many at all. Um, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous kit. That's right. I should just say on, on the on the back of the elephants as well. It's like when you when you're threading this on. I've just added. I've got three eight o beads in between. Um, yeah, the loops, just to hold it there. Just so that it stays completely flush. So it's not gonna it's not gonna try and twist or anything like that. And the, and that is all literally just threading. Perfect. Thank you. Eight o. Did you say? Um, three eight o's will fit. Three eight o's. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Let's squeeze in a few more items between now and the top of the hour, shall we? Just before the close of the show, because I've loved those kits. How about some gorgeous silver plated? So they are precious metal. Here. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, precious metal plated, gorgeous uh, corded slider bracelets. One pound fifty each. That's amazing. It's absolutely that is amazing. amazing. 
And these are in the opposite direction. Does that make sense to you? So instead, normally our tassels kind of point in the same, the tassel goes kind of like that, if you know what I mean. They're both down in the same direction, whereas these are horizontally. So um, great opportunity for you to give, create more of a relaxed piece and also, I think, very much unisex. Yeah. Again, all of your lovely colours. These are huge at the moment. So many of the big designers are working with corded bracelets. Um, and it took us initially quite a long time to get them into stock after much nagging. And believe me, I did. Yeah, yeah. Much, well, much, much I mean, nagging. They're, they're, they're so easily, easy to wear. They're so, like, again, unisex. They're yeah. ageless. Yeah. You know, that it's something that can be used by anybody. And they're £1.50. That's uh, amazing. Leave that with you again. Make sure you check out your baskets, everyone. Let's bring you some essential findings, shall we? Okay, rose gold. So if you want findings to go alongside your masterclass kits, if you're happy at this price, start dialing through. Um, oh, the graphics are taking their time. Yeah, there start dialing through. You get loads. So much so, by the time I by the time I get everything out, it's probably going to be. Uh, yeah, you get hoops. You get mag. Here we go. Look at that. So you get length of chain, head pins, eye pins, feather weights, crimps, crimp covers, spacers, jump rings, multi, -clo uh, multi uh, um, row clasps, uh, spacer packs. Um, hoop earrings alone, can I just say, if you were to go into, pop into somewhere like H&M, would be more than four ninety nine. I'm yeah, sure they of really it. would. And there's just clasps those... that are, are fabulous as well. There's big slider clasps with the loops on, so you get like you can do multi length. Um, These ones. Yeah, you can do cuff bracelets with them. You can do multi length, um, you know, triple triple necklaces with them, and they they just hold them perfectly in, Perfect. the, right, in the right positions. Great. Four ninety nine. Goodness me, it's not often that we get to bring you uh, findings. It is one of those little cheeky add it to your orders. I might as well. I know I'm going to need findings. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. Definitely. And I am so guilty, Hannah, of getting so caught up in the. In, in the excitement of beautiful gemstones and forgetting about findings. It, yeah, it, it just, it stops you in your tracks, literally. If you yeah, haven't you got findings, you can't, you can't, you haven't you can't carry on. Yeah. No, and yeah. it's frustrating. It is frustrating. Especially when, you know, you've got your creative juices flowing. You know, it, you can't, can you? It's, it stops you in your tracks, as it, you just it said. It does, it really does. And then it goes into the drawer that never sees the light of day ever again. And then you don't have time again. And, no. then, and then by the time you come back to it... And you've oh, lost that, you've lost yeah. that inspiration. You've lost that little you mojo. Need your, you need them in your stash. You definitely do. And I'm as guilty as any <laughs> <laughs> um, of doing that. Well done. Let's bring you that same findings pack in the yellow gold colour. So, again, if you need your findings to go alongside... Hannah's, <coughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, I, so I've used Ellie I've used crimps. I've used crimp covers. Yeah. I've used toggles. jump rings, toggle, toggle clasps. I've used seed beads. I've used a few spacers. You could do the, the um, tassel with chain if you wanted to. You could. You absolutely could. Instead, Why not? instead of doing all the beading, you could, you could just add chain. You to could the box. mix it up. You certainly could. Yeah. Why not <laughs> do all of the above? How beautiful would that be? So in total, one pair of ear, uh, uh, shepherd hooks, one pair of lever backs, two toggle uh, toggle locks, okay, 10 jump rings, 10 uh, head pins, 10 featherweights, 10 eye pins, 10 tube, crimp tubes, 10 crimp covers, 10 spacer beads, and one metre of anchor chain. There's all loads. for 4.99. Yeah, you get, you get so much in these kits. It's, like they're, they're, like they're, it's just essentials. And yeah. it's like kind of... If you've got them, you've got them, right? I don't know why, but we used to see show, we used to see findings regularly on the show, don't, or, or or in every single kit. We, we did used to have it standard that you got a small findings pack in a kit, in and, every and kit, then, and then people um, were slightly inundated with, with findings for a while. So, yeah. so they, and they were saying, "Can I just buy head pins? Can I just buy clasps?" So, so they just taken <coughs> to take them out. Again. Which, which I get. Yeah, I totally, yeah. totally get that. But now it's gone to the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> we don't see them at all now. It's a fine line, it's a fine balance. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, check out your baskets, everybody. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, have we? Okay. Are we going to start with some Olmec jade? Oh, fabulous. Oh I tell you what. Well, my if goodness. you got hold of that beautiful black jade eye earlier on this morning. How, oh, oh, yes. Wow. Oh, this is a beautiful colour. Do you know, it's not often I would say this, Hannah, but it's, uh, it's a teal. It is a teal, isn't it? That's beautiful. Olmex normally, it is, a dis well, mind you, I suppose that is a teal, but it's a darker teal. Oh my gosh, if you've got the silver kit, that's going to go so well with it as oh, well, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, totally and utterly natural. If I had the time, then obviously we would talk about the riding as a wonderful husband and wife team, the fact that, you know, they rediscovered this gemstone, the lost treasure of Guatemala. 
um, that was quite literally guarded to death um, until the, uh, the locals sort of, uh, that civilization, if you like, sort of died out. Um, rediscovered very recently, actually, in the 19, uh, 1980s, and the only location on this planet that, that sources this beautiful, distinctive Olmec blue. If you pop along to the uh, GIA, uh, you see, when asked the question, does jade form in blue and, and pink? They say, yes, it does. Rare, rare examples will be sourced in blue jadeite from Guatemala. Certified completely and utterly natural here. I mean, look at that beautiful translucency. Look at the quality and the fine texture. It's not coarse. You know, we've shown you uh, previously photographs of coarse Guatemalan jade, and it does become quite opaque in actual fact. Ideally, much like your... Uh, <clears throat> much like your Kotan or much like your um, your Burmese, you will absolutely uh, see that level of translucency. At 499, <clears throat> it's not our price point, but these are last in stock opportunities. So good luck to each and every single one of you. Wow. That's a very distinctive Guatemalan jade oak colour as well. I mean, isn't it? I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it looking quite so teal. I yeah. Think. I mean, it's lovely because you get the different sort of tones and it really highlights the ones that, that have got that, that depth to them. But I just, I think they're stunning anyway. But I love the story that goes with it. I Me love the too. fact that it's literally a hidden treasure. And Husband and wife team. Yeah. That really discovered it to the world. And, then, and, and even when they did discover it, nobody believed nobody them. Nobody believed them, yeah. No one believed them. But yeah, the fact, yeah, it, it is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful story behind it as well. A story that dates back literally hundreds upon hundreds of years. Um, this level of rarity. We've said it so many times, you know, Olmec Jadeite, Guatemalan Jadeite, is not a gemstone that we should be able to access with money out of a cash machine. No, no. Um, well done. Um, just so you know, just because we were talking about the findings, so what Roscoe's going to do, he's going to ghost load a load of findings for you. So what that means is you might not necessarily... I, I haven't physically got them here in the studio. But we're going to up upload them um, onto the website so that you can secure yours if you need to stock up your stash like so many of us here. <laughs> yeah, it even happens to the jewellery maker crew <laughs> yeah. and the guest designers. So have a little look on those as well spacer beads i know we're uploading some spacer beads which would be a really lovely addition to these kits as well yeah definitely. Anna, it's been wonderful thanks for having me it's been and my flumps <laughs> and your flumps we love your flumps i love the flumps we too. need more flumps <laughs> don't you think and i think we should do flumps giraffes chub chubby unicorns and monkeys and monkeys yeah chubby Chubby unicorns, rhinoceroses, I think we should definitely be doing those, shouldn't we? We definitely should be. <laughs> Save the chubby unicorns. Right, thank you so much. Tune in tomorrow because we are literally launching that most amazing variety of agate. David will be joining me. Um, thank you once again, darling. Thank you. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye.